up at night, yeah Make all the demons quiet, yeah We were built to thrive, yeah I think that we've all had enough What keeps you up at night, yeah Make all the demons quiet, yeah We were built to thrive, yeah Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Sovereign Soul Unchained Mind, coming to you 250 miles above your imagination from the International Fake Station. I've got my good friend, Sum Ting Wong, behind me here to make sure that I toe the line and do not upset the Communist Party of China. So how is everyone tonight? I've already got somebody backstage here. We're just going to freestyle it. We're going to talk about all kinds of crazy shit going on in the world here. We got bridges collapsing. We got solar eclipse doomsayers coming all over the place. There's all kinds of crap. Red heifers being sent from Texas over to Israel. The altar for the burning of the sacrifice of these red heifers being built. Oh my, my, what strange times we live in. With no further ado, I'm going to go ahead and bring Stinky Cash up onto the onto the panel with us here tonight. How you doing, Stinky Cash? What's up, my brother? How are you? Um, finer and frog here split three ways. How about that? <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> so there, I just lo loaded up the fucking board there for a second with a few things. Ain't that a lot of stuff going on? We got yeah, this man. Stuff. Comet coming the devil comet supposed to be around with this eclipse going on and uh we just had this big super moon thing i guess there was a lunar eclipse somewhere as well lots of signs in the heavens man right so the lunar eclipse happened a few nights ago during the full moon and then yeah. you know 14 and a half days later it's going to be a new moon and we're going to see the solar eclipse if you're especially if you're along the line of totality which yeah. anybody watching this stream <laughs> right now, I'm telling you, it is worth driving several hours, several hours out of your way to go to the line of totality and watch this eclipse. It is an experience like nothing else. And you're not going to get another chance for 20 something years. So do it. Make a road trip. Absolutely. That's what uh, that's what our plan is, is uh, uh, we're going to Ohio to watch the eclipse come through. And that's a, I don't know what we figured it's going to be about a five or six hour drive normally, but I don't know. I expect maybe there'll be a little bit heavier traffic and whatnot. I'm not worried about it. Um, there, there will definitely be some eclipse traffic. Uh, that's a real thing. I experienced that seven years ago. So do you, do you think there's, what, what's with, is that the reason for, do you think these, uh, states of emergency that all these places along the uh, path all the way from texas up into new england they're closing schools they're 
Uh, the FAA is putting saying there's going to be travel disruptions with aircraft. I, what you don't fly at night ever? What's up with this? You know? I don't know. I don't know why they would be closing schools unless unless they're just trying to say that they they want to give the kids an opportunity to to observe the eclipse. But they could do that while school is open. So well, what a great opportunity to push their globe nonsense at the school. Come on, kids. <laughs> we're gonna. I mean, I can remember that there was one came when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. and they showed us on tv and everything and in school how to make a uh a viewer to be able right. to see the eclipse by using like a, a box a and putting a piece of paper in the right. one end of it and a hole in the other end and everything and they had you know it's very important you don't look at the eclipse with your bare eyes or anything like that and you know, I got to thinking as I got older, I'm like, you know, there would be a lot of people that have been blinded by eclipse. <laughs> you know, I so I agree with you. And seven years ago, I remember looking at the eclipse with my bare eyes. I didn't go blind. I think they, there's a sinister reason why they tell you to use the glasses that block out 99.9% .9 of the light. And they tell you not to look directly at it because they don't want you to see something. They're well, hiding I, something. I think there's more to it than that. And I think it ties in with this blocking out of the sun that they're doing, too. I believe that the sun is directly related to your consciousness. Okay. It's part of our natural circadian cycle. I mean, until the industrial revolution and this idea of being governed by the dial of a, of a clock, we were pretty well governed by the circadian rhythm. And we've been taken off of that. This is why even people to this day, you know, third shift people that work nights, in order to sleep, they have to black out their room. Trust that sun me. is giving energy to you. And I'll tell yeah. you, I get boost in consciousness when I sun gaze. Yeah. And I'm assuming that there's more to it, just like there's more to the six foot distancing than people realize. It wasn't mm -hmm. about, about bugs jumping back and forth. That just happens to be your three foot radius of your heart magnetic field. And if you're not in the proximity of someone else's uh, electromagnetic field of their heart, you're not communicating. Oh, uh, yeah, I, to I totally agree. You know, I, I read a meme today that said before the electric light bulb, the average human being would sleep 10 hours a night. Sure. And this whole sure. eight, eight hours or, or, or even less of sleep, that's a very modern thing brought on by electricity and, you know, artificial lighting and stuff. Yeah. Well, it was uh, even to the point where at that time, uh, a woman's menstrual cycle was governed by the moon. It's supposed to still be, but... It's supposed to be, but it's they, not. We've been no. taken out of our, our natural circadian rhythm. This is why people yeah. are going crazy. This is why people are so nutty. I agree. I actually think, I noticed during COVID, you talk about getting thrown out of our, our circadian rhythm, rhythms. I noticed during COVID that any time I had to walk into a building and they would hit my forehead with one of those, uh, you know, laser thermometers, mm -hmm. and they would do other people too, everybody was coming up cold. Everybody was coming up like 97.5, right? And I remember as a kid, human beings were 98.6. And so it, to me, it's like in, in 20 years, the, the, the human being as a whole, we've dropped about one degree. And what is heat, right? It's vibration. So if we're running colder than we used to be, it's possible we're vibrating at a lower frequency than we're supposed to, right? Well, there's other medical shit that's uh, going on now, too. I mean, with this Mandela effect, now our heart is in the center, not on, right. the, right, not on the left side. Um, our kidneys are up under our ribs now. What the fuck? You know, I mean, there's a, there's a bunch of weird shit like that in a temperature, too. But I think you might be onto something with that because... What was that? I was reading earlier on Flatsoid. I got this thing from space.com that said that uh, the uh, that, that, that they're going to have to adjust the clocks because uh, the rotation of the Earth is speeding up. <laughs> oh, I, I heard it was slowing down. So, yeah, slowing down or speeding up. They're okay, going to have to right. add a, like a leap second or some kind <laughs> a of A leap like second. I'm like, what the fuck? Come on, man. 
but yeah, I think that we're seeing some really strange things. Like, you know, I'm almost 60 years old and, and just until recently, I'd never seen a smiley face crescent moon ever in my life. I'd, I'd never seen that. And now I see it in, you know, every other month or so. Oh, where the bottom of the moon is the crescent. And it's yeah. like, oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. It looked like a, like a Cheshire cat or a sm or a smiley face. And I'm like, that's not a, right. That's not or how it looked. Or, or uh, like bullhorns. Yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. That's so uh, there's some crazy stuff going on with all this. And I think also I just remembered, um, not that it's related, but it's just another thing that's happening that's a, a, a rare event. These cicadas that only come out like every 20 oh, some man. years, they're coming out this summer. They're coming out this spring. It's it's actually worse because there's there's two types of cicadas, and I think it's like one comes out every seventeen years, and the other comes out every thirteen years. Like somebody in the chat can correct me on the numbers, but there's there's two different types. They come out in yeah. two different periods, and and it overlaps this year. It's a common uh, factor this year, so they're both coming at the same time this year. So it's going to be like doubly as bad, and it's probably going to, you know, hurt the crops, hurt the oh, farmers. Absolutely, man. And uh, the price of food, you know, uh, vegetables and stuff like that could go up. There might be a shortage, but uh, you know, who knows? I mean, it's sort of some biblical shit going. It on. It is biblical know? shit. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> boats, boats crashing into bridges, yeah. like. Uh, <laughs> oh my God! I know, and there's so much about here. You know, I, I there's so many. Um, boat experts and bridge engineers on facebook today it was just amazing i just i didn't know there were that many <laughs> well God. see the problem with that bridge right that bridge wouldn't have collapsed had they simply factored in the curvature of the earth when building it right in gravity and gravity mm -hmm. so yeah. because they didn't factor in the curvature that thing crumbled uh you know like a, like oh, a yeah, pile, of, right like a pile yeah. of sticks <laughs> Yeah, I, I I have to say I believe that was deliberate. Absolutely, it falls right in line with all the rest of the things people don't understand. What an important uh, route that was, uh, that bridge, mm -hmm. supply chain. It's not just about the container ship, babe. It's right, and and, and we've heard we've heard the official narrative, and then we've heard them deny that it was a terrorist attack. But they, but they won't deny or even talk about the possibility that it was an internal controlled demolition of a bridge that nobody wanted anymore and that, that they wanted to replace with something better. It's, 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 it's in, New, in New Jersey, you know, we have a special term for that. We call it, um, I'm not going to say it, I don't want to blow up your stream, but it's, it's uh, the J word lightning. Oh yeah, Jewish lightning. I've heard of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Well, well, you said it. It's Jewish yeah. lightning. Just like 9-11 well, was. Here's, here's the worst. Here's the worst. It was, it's not necessarily to have something new there, but to destroy what's already there. I mean, we look at the number of rail, de, 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 train derailments that have fucked up the supply line. We had the closure of all the docks due to the protocols of the last few years that mm -hmm. interrupted the supply chain. We've had food processing plants and... Uh, uh, places like where they uh, have eggs, many you know, produce eggs and shit, mysteriously blow up, get hit by airplanes, catch fire and burn for no freaking reason whatsoever. And that's put a strain on the supply chain, as well as the rail derailments, disrupting all of the fertilizer transfers to the agricultural areas around the United States to totally disrupt time for planting. You understand? Mm -hmm. So this is this is a coordinated effort to uh, to limit the supply chain to a point where see here's what it's what it comes down to they they need you to need them I want mm -hmm. you to want me that's what they're after okay they want you to need them so when you're struggling and can't handle it anymore and the government says hey we've got this nice warm bowl of soup and a warm little shed for you to stay in down here at this camp. There's going to be a lot of people go, yeah, fuck this. I'll go to that. But it's going to come with stipulations. Even if it comes down to a handout on the street or something like that, you're going to have to succumb 
to certain stipulations in order to be able to get those quote unquote benefits. Yeah, you this will you. you will own nothing and you will be happy. That's right. Well, we own everything and just say that shit. That's what they're saying, basically. And uh, no, it's it's look, everything is voluntary. Everything is voluntary. Now, you may be coerced, but you can only also you're allowing yourself to be coerced. Now, you know, what's you know, what's bizarre about that during during COVID when they kept using the word mandate and mm -hmm. and mandatory. Yeah. And then Man, I looked, and, the, and then I looked up the the real, the true definition of the word mandate, and 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 mandatory. And we've all been taught that the word mandatory means like you have to do something. It's right. mandatory. And when you look up the definition of the word in like a Black's Law dictionary, it actually means voluntary. Yeah. The word it, mandatory means voluntary. Well, so it actually is a strongly worded request that is only valid upon agreement by the yes, requestee. Exactly. You worded it better than me. So I'm just like, yeah. So it's 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 exactly what is word magic and how they've dumbed us down and we don't even know the we don't even know the words we're using when we're using them half the no. time. This is why I suggest this book to people all the time. Yeah, me word, too, brother. Hey Word Magic by Word Paul Magic. Chang. Hold on. I'm, I might have to turn on my camera for this. Yeah, this is fantastic. This book is fantastic. Um, like here's a chapter here called The Connection Between Babies, Batteries, and Prisoners. Yeah, there you got it. Yeah. Seems to be there was somebody else had this and talked about it on Flatoid today. That's why I got mine up. Mine, well, actually, mine just happened to be right here next to me on top of I've got it right here with. Let's see in this stack right here. I've I actually, a, I actually posted a video on my channel a couple days ago where I read the back cover of the book, like the synopsis. Right? I think you should actually maybe do that right now. Sure. Read the back, read the back cover for the audience because it is, it is inspiring and enlightening and yeah, yeah. So it yeah. says here it says, "Is there more to words than meet the eye?" Let us tumble down the rabbit hole to explore the world of magic worlds words and legalese and i will show you proof that there is more to words than meets the eye this magical journey will teach you how words can be used to empower or disempower you once you learn how powerful words are and know how to wisely apply them to your life you can effectively use them to exercise your rights manifest your desires overcome your fears achieve spiritual freedom and motivate kings and governments to bow to you with awe and reverence what is word magic? Word magic is the art of using sacred sounds and symbols, the hidden forces to direct and control energy to produce certain desired effects or marvels. All words have magic properties. However, certain words have more magic properties for the reason that they carry more energy and intention. This is why during magic rituals, certain words are used more than others. Because word magic uses sacred sounds and symbols and hidden forces to direct and control energy. It is one of the most effective tools for achieving desires, programming the mind, or changing reality. Its magic power to reprogram the mind, causing reality to change, is one of the reasons that it is heavily used by corporations, such as religious institutions, banks, courts, and governments. Some of the word magic techniques that are used by corporations are shockingly revealed in this enlightening book, the empowering knowledge of the word of, in word magic, the powers and occult definitions of words has the potential to unlock many doors in your mind, allowing you to explore a hidden world where you can use words to shape matter, control your destiny and reprogram your mind. This enlightening book is not your average book because it explores magic and the powers of words to the core of reality. By reading and exploring this empowering book, you will know how powerful words are. Furthermore, you will know why using words wisely is important for achieving success and freedom and restoring your kingdom of God. Mm. Yeah, let me man. just let me just um, let me just kind of go off on a weird little tangent. But like like uh, someone said, like they don't believe in magic. Let's let's talk about the power of words. Let's say you go to the doctor for a well visit and the doctor tells you you have cancer even though you don't 
but he's told you 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 do. Now in your own brain, you think you have cancer, and we know the placebo effect has power. You you could literally create the cancer with your own mind because the doctor spoke mm -hmm. it into existence. So to, 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 to think that the way words can affect your emotions, which can affect your physical body, mm -hmm. I mean, magic is real. And it's not right. what you think it is. It's no, it's, no. It's people wizard. Think it's it's, it's yeah. people think it's Harry Potter floating right. stuff and casting you know Latin spells, <laughs> but it's 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 really just manipulation using words and double yeah. speak and using so what's already there naturally. It's 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 harnessing and using what's already there, having yeah. the knowledge of it. Yeah. Let me give a shout out to a lot of the people that have come in here. Yeah. I, I failed to do that right off the bat, um, and that's my bad. So I want to welcome everybody here. We got like 98 watching all together. I think we got a couple over on C on the uh, 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 Rumble side as well. But it looks like in here I got Nick, Angela, Baby Carson's with us. Thrash Lift Smith, uh, taking back Eden is with us. Good to see you, my friend. Chicago Cubby Bear. Uh, I see Mr. Super Sidewinder. Malcolm Sheen is with us, and we've also got Jehovah's lovely daughter. Barbara, how are you, my dear? Daniel Becker is with us. Renee Bernays, good to see you. Yes, reading from Word Magic. That is an awesome book. I recommend it. It isn't very expensive. I think, what, what is it, like nine bucks? Something like that on Amazon? Uh, it doesn't really say. Sometimes I used to be able to read the UPC codes, but I don't do that anymore. So, got Elite 333, Peter Within. Carrie Woolery is with us as well. Let's see, the Akinator. I like that, the Akinator. Salud, he says. In REM, in REM, Rabbit Eye Movement. Who spells which spells? Let's see, who else we got in here? I uh, got uh, Julio Lewis with us, too. Good to see you, my friend. Oh, my God. And we'll probably Anson Howard, Shawnee B, Gwag. That's all y'all in there. So I saw a lot of you over there watching the Jaren thing. What would you think of that? Did you watch it, Stinky? Um, no. Tell me what was going on. What is the Jaren thing? Oh, okay. So on Jarenism, he started using, I, I, he and I kind of developed together a, uh, a um, new kind of method for uh, running the debates. Where with, it's, with, uh, the bu with the buzzers. Yeah, 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 yeah. I watched, the, I watched your debate where you were with Dawn. Right. And that's the last time I saw it. Yeah, so they're using that format. It seems to work pretty good. I think what each side needs to realize is the other side realized it tonight. You are on a timer. <laughs> so make your point and, and be done with it. Save your time, right? Bre brevity is the soul of wit. Absolutely. Right, and, Absolutely. You, and, and being concise. You know, there's a lot of people out there that, that use a lot of words to say very little, you know, and I'd rather say very little, you know, use a little words to say a whole lot. You know, just be efficient. Yep. Yep. Um, but well, they were just, they, there was a French guy. He was a French Canadian guy. So uh -oh. his English was kind of limited, but he did, he did a rather good job. But the whole thing was he got into an argument with McToon, I guess, on Facebook. Um, and, <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, I know. <laughs> the name McToon makes me laugh so much. I know. Well, he wants it MC tune, but I don't give a shit what he wants. Right, right. No, he could be Mick Mick too. That's so yeah, funny. Yeah. So I guess they'd been arguing about a hockey rink, and this guy, you know, said that no, a hockey rink is level, it's totally flat. And Mick Toon was says, Well, you have to come with some measurements. Now, this is what gets me. I've heard these guys several times say, Well, do you have any measurements of flatness? And I'm like, Level is a measurement of flatness, dumbass. <laughs> what are you talking about? Measurements of flatness? No, but but level means curved. Yeah, sure it does, right? I mean, so I hear him going on that, but I, I mean, I probably would not argue with a Canadian about hockey to begin with. No, and he'll probably knock your teeth out if you do. <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, but I, having grown up in Michigan, and hockey's pretty popular there as well, I never got into it, but I would go watch games. I've been to some Red Wing games and whatnot, and also like local leagues. I had some friends in school that they were on hockey teams, and I would go watch their games. And uh, 
no, man, that's if there's bumps in that ice, if there's if that ice is not level, if that if it's not flat, you have problems, especially when you got a, a puck rolling along that wants to have a tendency to get air anyways. Don't but give no. it a ramp. But that's what made uh, Wayne Gretzky so much better than everybody else, because he knew had a factor in the curvature when <laughs> passing that puck to his teammates. See, that shit's just uh, insane. You got a little bit of a dip somewhere in that fucking ice. That puck <laughs> yeah. is going to go crazy, right? Nobody's going to tolerate that. There's something like that going, and that's why they bring the Zamboni out between periods. Right. Okay, it smooths out all the gouges in the ice. It levels it right out. It cleans that ice. It cleans up the blood and the teeth, you know, all that good stuff. But it makes it perfectly level again. And Toon sitting there, or uh, uh, fucking FTFE, he was going on about, well, no, at the edges, it's got to be curved for drainage. And I'm like, you dumbass, the drains in the bottom of the pool they fill to put the fucking ice in. <laughs> you know? Yeah, the, the bottom of that thing underneath is, is curved, yes, but the, the top of the ice is level. Holy sheep shit, man, where's this guy coming from? But he just goes on and makes stuff up. I mean, the best thing with me was when he said that he had a, he was his empirical evidence was showing me a picture of gravity right. holding air. I oh, saw like, that. Wow. He he showed a video that had inconsistent curvature throughout yeah. the video, right? And that was his that was his proof. And yeah, look, <laughs> those Zamboni guys would lose their job if the ice was curved. No shit. No shit. That's an incredible machine, too. When I was a kid, I got to ride on one because one of the kids that I was friends with, he was on a hockey team, but his dad was also the guy that drove the Zamboni around. We had that. We had a, a ice arena in my town. So. I'm curious. I'm curious to know where that word comes from, because that is a great word. I think it's the guy's name that came up with it. Was that makes Z Z <laughs> All right. Way to go, Zamboni. Like it's it's almost like a negative sounding name. It like is a, like a slur. Like you're such a damn bony guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Stupid flur. <laughs> he was like the he was like the Italian town. You know oh, the village. He was like the village idiot in Italy. Let's look him up here. Um, oh yeah, we were looking at some. What was this thing? Uh, Theologian embarrasses entire. Oh okay. So I can. How do I make that go home? I don't know. We'll but why you look why you look this up? I will say about Mick Toon. I think years ago Mick Toon wanted to debate me, and like you know, I've never debated anybody. I've never really had much interest in it because I don't really see the point. But uh, <coughs> I said to him, you know what, my friend, the day you get more subscribers than I have is the day I'll debate you, right? So then years went by, and Mick Toon grew. And he finally passed me in subscribers. And I guess he, he mentioned me in a video. He's like, well, stinky cash. I've got more subscribers than you. Are you going to come debate me? And all of a sudden, his, his anti-Flat Earth army attacked my channel with comments. Like, when are you going to debate McToon? When are you going to debate McToon? Oh my god, I know. It's like And it's like, bro, Mictoon has already lost so many debates to like Austin Witsit. There's nothing he can say that hasn't already been addressed. If it he would just be using the same old debunked arguments that which means he's disingenuous. You know, like if he's using arguments that have already been debunked and he's just willing to repeat them over and over again. It's like then what's the point? I know. And it's like, here's another thing that I see him doing. And I kept putting it, the chat of this thing in there. Doing, they're always talking about these measurements. And I said, those, they're calculations. They're not fucking measurements. Exactly. You're making yes. calculations, not, not measurements. Just because your calculation says it should be something doesn't mean that's what it is. That's, yeah. that's another one of their tricks. So this thing says that an ice resurfacer uh, is a hand push device for cleaning. Then they also have driving ones on a sheet of ice, usually in an ice rink. The first ice resurfacer was developed by an American inventor and engineer, Frank Zamboni. There's a picture of it. Nice. I was a picture. I was picturing someone looking more Italian, but I, I was too. I was too. He looks. Uh, he looks, looks kind of like Jewish. Yeah, he does. He absolutely. <laughs> I was gonna say that. Um, He's a Canadian French Jew, a French Canadian Jew. 
Paramount, California. Let's see, Paramount is City, Los Angeles. Okay, so a, a guy develops a, a thing to smooth out the ice in a place where they never have ice unless you make it. Wow, that's crazy. Um, so it says the first ice resurfacer was invented by Frank Zamboni, who was originally in the refrigeration business. He created a plant for making ice blocks that could be used in refrigeration applications. As the demand for ice blocks waned and the spread of compressor-based refrigeration, he looked for another way to capitalize on an expertise in ice production. In 1939, Zamboni built the Iceland Skating Rink in Paramount, California. And to resurface the skating rink, three to four workers had to scrape, wash, and squeegee the ice. A thin layer of water was then added for the fresh ice. This process was extremely time-consuming, and Zamboni wanted to find a more efficient way to resurface the ice. So oh, he worked on developing... What's that now? The little water that squirts out the back of the Zamboni. That's my favorite part. Yeah, yeah. So it's, he, so, it's just so soothing. Like It's so satisfying to watch a Zamboni. Anybody who's watched a Zamboni knows exactly what I'm talking about. It's just satisfying. Yeah, it is. It is because it, yeah, because it smooths everything out. It's so clean looking when it's and the drivers. The drivers are just usually really good at it. Yeah. You know? So he says, uh, worked on it uh, in 1947. He built a machine that could shave, wash, and squeegee the ice. Oh, so just automation destroyed jobs. You see that? Mm -hmm. See what happened? He does For look like Alan. He does look like Alan Dershowitz. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, he does. Chicago, oh, you're, Chicago Cubby Bear. You're, you're, you're yeah. wait a second. Let's, let's look at this. Guy. And, and 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 Jonathan, I am your friend, Josh. <laughs> yeah, he does look like Dershowitz. Because <laughs> all all Jews look relatively the same. But have you seen Bruce Springsteen? The what dude looks just. He looks like Woody Allen now. Dude, yeah. Well, that's what a, a lack of testosterone and, ve and a vegan diet will do to you. I'm like, what the hell, man? So let's see. He was uh, so he patented this thing in 1953. Let's see, how does it actually work? Ice resurfacers are generally composed of a snow container, hot water tanks, a wash water tank, the conditioner, and a and a board brush. An internal combustion engine or electric motor of the vehicle is responsible both for propelling the resurfacer and also powering the hydraulics that control the various functions, such as lowering the conditioner or raising the snow dump. Most of the actual resurfacing components are contained in a heavy device at the rear of the machine known as the conditioner. The conditioner is hydraulically lowered to the ice surface its weight providing the friction necessary for a large, sharp blade, similar to those used in industrial paper cutters, to shave off the top layer of ice. A horizontal auger conveyor collects these ice shavings or <laughs> snow and funnels them up a vertical auger at the center of the conditioner. The shavings are then carried upward and sprayed into a large snow container, which takes up most of the volume of the resurfacer. So that would be this do you think the do you think the old school Canadian hard headed hockey players like they were like really anti Zamboni in the beginning like well we don't need that thing that's for that's for that's for cowards you know yeah right well think about all the buggy whip manufacturers that were you know marching in front of Ford Motor Company because they were lost their jobs nobody needed buggy whips anymore you know they were all done. I want to. I'll show. I want to show one of these in um, in action. Let's see if we can find one. Let's see if we can find. Maybe one. like on an maybe on like an NHL rink. That would be good. Let's see a video one. Like I know the Zamboni comes out between periods, right? Let's see here. Here's a, here's the one. Here's one. And you know they, you know they paint the ice white. Really? Yeah, I learned that at some point in my life, and now I'm repeating it. And I hope it's accurate. There you go. See, you stuck that away for this moment. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's see what we get with this here. Whoops. Wait, let me go back here. 
Where's the curvature? Seriously, a remote controlled Zamboni would be even co cooler if there was like no dude on it. Pimp on a blimp. No audio? What? Y'all can't hear it? No. You're not hearing any audio? I thought I thought my phone was malfunctioning. It was so quiet. Okay, all right. Wait a second. There's we have a problem, Houston. Let's do it this way. It makes me think of the wedding singer. Oh, that's a that's a great line. No, not the wedding singer. No, no, Happy Gilmore. There you go. Let me see. Can um let me stop sharing that other and I'll do this one. Now you should be able to hear it. First to do an NHL. There we go. Now we're good. This one can flood an ice surface 200 by 85 in about 12 to 15 minutes. And chances are, if you drive a Zamboni at a local rink, you do a lot more than just that. We're in charge of the whole building from resurfacing the ice to anything mechanical to daily janitorial. When I first started, it took me about three months to get proficient with the machine. So when you go it onto the ice, the first thing that you'll do is you'll put your conditioner down, you'll turn your augers on, and you'll bring your board brush out, and then you will turn your water on. So you have to make sure that you do it in a proper order. We cater to the kids a lot where we're waving at them. You know, they want us to honk the horn or... or <laughs> To, Don't forget to, to factor in the curvature. We're here to entertain as well. We're not just here to work. Anything that we can do to make our user groups or the public feel more welcome, we do. This machine cost us about 185000 So after learning that this machine is worth as much as two Mercedes S-Class luxury sedans, I was a little nervous to drive this 4,000 kilogram beast onto the ice. So what does an ice resurfacer drive like? Not like anything else you can think of. You sit behind the rear wheels and there's a huge hood looking thing in front of you called a bucket. This adds up to give you pretty bad visibility when negotiating the corners of the rink, but experienced drivers always seem to know exactly where the corners of the machine are. The Olympia I'm driving is full of batteries and motivated by four electric motors, one for each wheel. Top speed of this one is limited to about 7 kilometers an hour, but that actually feels pretty fast on the ice. Traction is extremely limited, and you can actually feel the back end stepping out around tight turns. Operator Scott Dick says that driving this thing can take some real getting used to. The first time I thought, oh yeah, it's just going to be like driving a car, thinking you're going to breeze through it. But it bites you in the butt really, really quickly. There's a lot of different moving components on this. You have to be aware of what you're doing, where you are, coming on and off the ice. There are certain things that you really have to watch. Local rinks are essential to hockey. Everyone that goes pro started by playing in a rink much like the one in Okotoks. But I wanted to see how ice resurfacers were used in top-level hockey. And for that, I went to the Scotiabank Saddle Dome in Calgary on game night. Here, the Calgary Flames would face off against the Vancouver Canucks. Hockey at the highest level. My name is Edward Vyshetsky. I am a ice technician here for the arena. Been here about just my 10th season now. When it comes to the ice and maintaining the ice, we have four, like myself, and three other ice technicians and running two teams out of this building. There's a lot of ice time being used on a daily basis. Essentially, like any four-wheel vehicle, yes, it's like driving another vehicle. But as you can see here with the long hood, uh, you can't see in front of you. Um, so you're taking into point your wide spots, your length, when to turn, speed. It. I like that. It looks all clean and shiny after it, gets, after it goes over it. It's so cool. You know, like you know, it's like, what? Friends listen to endless love in the dark? <laughs> There's another thing, it doesn't go as fast, obviously. 2,500 RPM, top speed on these Zambonis, you'll get about 
seven and a half miles an hour tops. We're under the fine tooth comb, so to speak, as to maintaining our ice accordingly, as well as the machines, because um, Murphy's Law can prevail. Like they always say, you know, if something's going to go wrong, it's going to be at the worst opportune time. And when it goes wrong, it can go oh, very shit. wrong. What and happened? An NHL there? game in Pittsburgh in 2008, an ice resurfacer blew a high pressure hydraulic line and sent red fluid spraying all over the ice. Yo, to prevent pauses. embarrassing and costly game delays, the Saddle Dome keeps a backup Zamboni in addition to its two regular use Zambonis. My favorite part of the job is just driving and doing the ice, whether it's a game or by myself in my whole little world and maintaining. So I guess overall, I just. Love the, all aspects of it. <laughs> My name is David Witherspoon. I'm ice technician, they classify us as. I prefer game nights. I mean, during the day it's okay, but during the night you get 20,000 people in the stands, the music's going, everything's just hopping, so it's, it's pretty exciting. I really enjoy that part. Yeah, we got about 230 feet to drive from our flood room to the Zamboni gate. We have to drive down the hallway, we have to go in, you have to dump all the snow out of your bucket, turn the machine around, fill it back up, get it ready to go for the next period. On the back of this one, we have a LaTeX laser leveling system. We have a fast ice, which- Oh, 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 oh what oh, kind oh, of fucking oh, leveling oh. system? A laser leveling system, Yeah, and, and uh, McToon and, and uh, FTFE told that guy that a laser is the wrong type of uh, instrument to be leveling ice because it can, the refraction well, of the cold air isn't isn't pot that and uh ftfe brought it up and then even um shit for brains um uh, mc tune went and backed it up with some kind of fucking mathematics and there he just <laughs> said it if you're using a goddamn laser level i wonder if the laser factored in the curvature and the refraction and everything oh yeah right? the, re the refractive gravity yeah. Yeah, they they specifically told that guy because he he showed an experiment that he did using a laser and a distant object on you know with a ruler on it, showing that there was no deviation in it from one end to the other. And they were saying, "Oh, well, you're using the wrong kind of thing to uh, because that ice has a high refractive index and blah 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 blah." And here's a guy that runs the fucking zamboni saying, "Yeah, it keeps, it keeps, it keeps <laughs> level with a laser leveling system." Dumbass. I mean, it's like literally Alan Dershowitz himself is telling you that the Zamboni, yeah. you, you know, like Mr. Zamboni himself yeah. is like, this yeah. shit runs on level lasers, my friend. Right. Oh, my God. Well, we just busted their argument out the fucking water. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'll have to send this. Let's see. That's at the 530. I'm going to put it at the 530 mark. And I'm going to send this to Jaron about that yeah. oh good yeah yeah that is that did we just stumble across that yeah yeah that's amazing that was, yeah, that was just one, you know in case people didn't know what a zamboni is you know that's Here's how people with that's how people with adhd learn new shit yeah man yeah man that's what I, that's that's me man i smoke and i know things <laughs> we smoke and i'm 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 hitting my pen too and it's like yo zamboni is a cool word yeah zamboni is a cool word let's watch a video about zambonis yeah let's find out a little bit more about it you know and how how good are, well we found out that they use a laser laser leveling system right and all Just of a sudden two large spray bars that are either simultaneously controlled or independently. So you can either run the top one, the bottom one, or vice versa. With the laser system, it, it's really good. If Even if your floor is uneven on the bottom, it keeps your top surface level. So when you're out there doing a flood with two machines, it actually does a little bit of a better job cleaning up in between. The machine itself is easy to drive, but all the underneath, the, the how much to shave off with the blade, how to work the augers, uh, how much water to put down, how fast you have to go. It's obviously not something you could pick up overnight. How long does it take to take a guy from zero experience to NHL Zamboni driver? I don't know how some of the other NHL buildings work, but usually here, we usually like to train a guy for about a month or so before they start driving. One thing that surprised me was that Zamboni operators at any level weren't exactly crazy hockey fans. For the most part, the operators are people who just happen to be working for an arena or municipality and found themselves driving a Zamboni. But more than that, these people really love their jobs. And can you blame them? They get to go out there and be the team that everyone roots for, the Zamboni. For Driving.ca, I'm Clayton Seats.
So that's pretty cool. I got to send that to Jaron now. <laughs> Tell him to go to the 525 mark. That's amazing. Here's, if anybody wants to clip that, I'm going to put the link in here. Yeah, so you know who you need to send it to is, is the robot polisher. Yeah, right. Just, just right? let that guy clip it up. Make a zam like make like a two minute Zamboni video. Absolutely, absolutely. Not everybody. Hold on, let me do my. Uh, not everybody can be a robot polisher. Let me see if I got him on. Angela, baby Carson, what's up? I do, I do, I do. I got him on Messenger. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna send that to him. Go to five twenty five. Um, MC Tune and FTFE said you can't level with a laser. Oops, on ice. There we go. And I want to copy that real quick. I'm going to say copy let me go over here to facebook real quick i'm gonna say paste there and let me pull that up again this copy bring us back over now he is aware <laughs> so too bad for you guys guess what you can't I, apparently the, the the laser isn't affected by the cold enough to fucking <laughs> Dumbasses. Yeah, the cold bends the light. Oh. Act of gravity. Oh, no. Listen, man, these guys. Cavendish. Are... Yeah, Cavendish. 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 Baking dish. Pizza dish. Deep dish. Oh my god, I know. Mellow dome. I've heard a lot about this mellow dome. Uh, mellow dome's cool as shit. What's up, mellow dome? What's going on? Good to see you, my friend. No longer on the balls here. Um, no longer on the ball has the true earth wiki. Have you checked that out? Let me pull that up real quick. Let's see where's my favorites. I gotta find it here. I really do need to organize my you know what's one of the funniest videos of all time is Owen Benjamin's uh Globe Earth Sniper. Oh, I know I have that. Yeah, I have that. That makes me laugh every freaking time time dude i just i just can't get enough of that there's just something about just factoring in curvature just it's just it's just hilarious to me so here's the uh i put it in private chat too the truth nice. that's what uh no longer on the balls work works on oh nice uh, am i yeah, am i a, it, am i a, am i a part of that what is that you can be you can what, be what is welcome to true earth wiki this yeah, is the main it's... page for True Earth Wiki. This is the most complete wiki of all things related to our realm and the cosmos, including scientific facts and theories. Very nice. Yeah, and there's more and more going up on it all the time. If you go over here to the index page, like it says right here, uh, frequently asked questions, cosmos, earth, uh, FE, content creator, scientists, discoverers, shills, etc., <laughs> agencies, one of the agencies, space agencies, observations. Um, so, like, if you was to go over to Earth, right? And in here right now, they got a category of Antarctica. This is still being worked on, right? It's still under construction, but you've got. Uh, let's see. If you go to Antarctica, then it brings this up about Antarctica. Freemasons at the South Pole, Thule Society. All this shit. It's really, a, it's really a comprehend. It's really, and it's getting better all the time. Oh, dude, we're getting so much more organized and just coher, just making the best coherent arguments. And uh, it's the, the community's come so far in, in nine years. Oh, yeah. It's incredible. Uh oh, what's this? Mars asteroid impact creates two billion craters. What's this about? Hold on. Just ran across this. We might have to. Um, okay, I'll just agree to it. Okay, so where am I? Oh, yeah, there was another thing. There's this thing they're saying that people are coming down with um, where uh, 
it's it it used to be a rare condition where people can are seeing other people as demons what yeah and this thing is called prosopometema for popsia or something it's a rare disorder that makes people think they're seeing demon-like faces everywhere with people's eyes and mouth stretched out, ears pointed, and deep grooves carved into their faces. Um, and I'm sitting there going, they're saying, yeah, more and more people are having this. And I'm like, maybe more and more people are actually seeing the ones that are demons. Like, it's like straight out of They Live. Yeah. The veil's yeah. ripping, man. The yeah, the veil. Ripping. The veil. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Well, that's con con confirming to me. Let me show you this craziness. Ah, uh, giant Mars. There it goes. Creates vast field of destruction with 2 billion craters. An asteroid struck Mars uh -huh. 2.3 million years ago. Oh. Throwing debris across the region. Now, is that Mars years ago or is that Earth years ago? Now, I listen, I think whenever they do stuff like this, I, I don't think it's random. I think a lot of it is word magic. Mm -hmm. Mar Mars isn't just their ball planet right mars is the the what is it the roman god of war war yeah so i so you ha almost have to try to read their double speak that you know you have to get the esoteric out of the exoteric you know so they got this picture i guess they said it's thro through debris across the region of the planet equal to four times the length of the grand canyon Holy crap, look at that. I don't know. Maybe that means that we're going to war and two billion people are gonna die. Like, you know what I mean? Maybe they're they're trying to convey a message. Because we might. know because we know what, what this is is bullshit. You know, well, how in so, the fuck would they know how long ago? Over right. two million years ago. Um well, uh, yeah. because duh. the speed of light, they and they have the telescope <laughs> so they can see back in time. Spectroscopy. Regrab a fractalax. Yeah, 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 yeah. The spectroscopy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got the regrab a fractalaxical index in the uh, the grab a grab a get gravimetrical uh, flux capacitors that respond to it's what travel. makes time travel possible. There. That's it. That's it. The flux capacitor. God damn. So, this is the stuff that makes you over two million years ago, a giant asteroid slammed into Mars. Scarring the surface with one massive crater and around two billion smaller individual craters. Mm. Look at that. Look at all those little tiny individual craters. I mm. can see the burn mark. Yeah. Wow. It's amazing. Uh, secondary craters appeared across the region of 1,000 miles, making this asteroid event one of the biggest impacts seen on the red planet in relative recent history. So... Nobody saw this happen. You're just saying it happened. I mean, all, all Ace News is like that. What the it's fuck always is like that? that. They always, whenever they say it's, and whenever they make a claim about anything that happened billions of years ago, how the fuck do you know that? Have a little yeah. humility. Why are all the craters like 90 degrees, you know, like straight in? They're not angled or anything. I don't see any evidence of, you know, no, a cause, debris cause field scatter. I see that texture is a result of casting. Yeah. Anybody who's ever poured metal knows what I'm talking about. When you pour metal, you can get that exact effect where you get crater-like dimples al along the surface of the metal that you're pouring. It's, it's, it's from escaped air from the bottom, not from impacts from above. Well, look at them long enough. And what are is they, the Bible? What craters? is the Bible? The Bible talks about how God casted things. You know what I mean? Are they craters or are they bubbles? It's basically the same thing. I just said craters yeah. are it's it's formed by air, I think. No, I mean it's easy to assume that those are indented, but maybe they're not. Maybe they're poking out. Look at these ones down here to the bottom. These would you know, like a bubble it hasn't popped. But yeah, I know it's it's it, yeah, I've done that. I've seen this. When you weld, too, it's the little bits of weld spatter that spatter up, too. 
crazy. Over 2 million years ago, a giant, oh my God. Asteroids massive enough to create widespread destruction like this are estimated to impact Mars just once every 3 million years. Oh. How and, would know, they know any of that? Right. And, and we have 6,000 years of recorded human history, so they can just, you know, it's so convenient. It's... <laughs> They always do that, though. The space news is hilarious. And, and I actually put out a video several months ago where I talk about how in the news, they're always saying that um, an asteroid comes close to passing Earth or an asteroid oh, yeah. almost hit Earth. And they compare the asteroid to the size of weird objects. So they'll say the asteroid the size of five elephants nearly collided with the earth and it's like why would they use why would they use elephants as like a a, a, a unit of measurement <laughs> so yeah yeah i've seen those they look like the just like geysers i know what you're saying i know what you're talking about mojo yeah yeah it's like how the fuck where's i'm gonna have to find that clip i gotta find that clip um this is just dumb i can't believe that there's actually people are getting paid to write this crap there's that many hopeful people thinking that shit is real oh my god i gotta find that where is it in my fe vids where is the old guy where is the old guy this guy he makes oh here's your i got globe earth snipers in here too yeah cool. globe earth sniper that was funnier and shit seriously you name you name an object if you google asteroid the size of Oh, I recently saw one here not long ago. We made fun of it like crazy on here. About they said there was one the size of thirty-three sheep. Thirty-three sheep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or five hundred refrigerators. Like, dude, they come up with the most ridiculous things, and they'll and they'll make it like related to whatever current event. So they'll be like, so like on Easter, they'll be like an asteroid the size of a thousand Easter bunnies. It's like what? <laughs> You're using artificial things as units yeah, of yeah. measurements to measure other artificial things. Yeah, that that's exactly what they're doing, and people will science. Just it's yeah. science. Two hundred oh, Darth Vaders. Yeah, two hundred C three POs. You know, um, twenty seven R two D twos. Let's go with all the Star Wars characters. They'll go through all of them. Why not? Oh, I can't find it. Damn it. I had this one of this guy. He's like, how in the fuck do they know that? <laughs> I was like, oh, don't, oh, don't, don't fly through that asteroid field. Older than the Earth, but hey, 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 hey. here I found it. Oh. Yeah, there's always a jack o' lantern comment every Halloween. They do oh, corny. They do corny shit like that all the time. You got that? All right, check this out. The sun may be older than the Earth, but the water we drink on Earth. Is older than the sun. Here's another example of shit that they have no idea. <laughs> no idea. But they call it facts. I believe this shit for 49 years. Oh, I love this guy. I begin to fathom how. With the way my brain works, how I ever thought that they could possibly know that water is older than the sun, which is older than the earth. How can they possibly fucking know that? I mean, just use a little common sense, just a little bit, and say the Earth had to be here before water because water couldn't exist on Earth. The Earth wasn't here. What would this be to the question? How did the water get here? Just magically pull through this space and go through our atmosphere and land on Earth? Come on, guys. Kind of. I think the official story is that water came from comets striking the Earth. The sun is. I mean, really. Stop assuming this stuff, man. Start using this little fucking thing you got called a brain. Yeah, they know how old the sun is, right? Parallax. Oh, I love it when they say parallax. That's the other one. It's like refraction, gravity, parallax. Oh, my. Where is it? I got that one for you. Hold up. Ah. The funny thing about parallax, when, when, you, when you ask them, for a proof and they say parallax one word answer it's like they 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 don't even know what that means and they don't even realize that it actually proves the flat earth so they use a proof of the flat earth as a so-called proof of the globe and that's what they always <laughs> freaking do that's what like liberals and jews are always freaking doing it's crazy 
Now, see, this shit's funny as hell, and it's a shame the guy Owen had to turn into such a turd. You know what? What? What they makes really oh, what makes Owen a turd? I, I haven't been in the loop. Oh, we'll get into that after this. I'll, I'll All right, let's. Watch. He's still a funny guy, so let's watch it. We only have one shot at this guy. Okay, a little left. Okay, now factor in the spin. <laughs> it's, it's, no, God damn it, man. Okay, what direction are we? East, west, north, south, northeast. Factor in everything. We need to know exactly the direction, the spin of the earth, and how to uh, how to uh, you know come back or else we're going to miss there's no spin of the earth take the shot retard but that would mean neil degrasse tyson is wrong and you miss every single shot when we do this <laughs> if we miss this shot our, our location will be blown we've been here for four days shitting in little cans tell me the spin of the earth like, okay down to the left 16 inches <laughs> no 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 they saw us i missed the shot I guess it was spinning a little faster than I thought. Globe oh. Earth sniper. I can see <laughs> mirage. No, no, that's the target. It must be a mirage. Wow, I've done the calculations. Eight inches per mile squared. I wouldn't be able to see him. It's a mirage. I'm not taking the shot. It's him. Like every sniper just shoots people. That's a fucking mirage. And that means Neil deGrasse Tyson, the bike thief with the answers. <laughs> It's leading me. Globe, Earth, Sniper. Okay, if you factor in the curve. If you factor in the curve, uh, this is clearly a mirage. <laughs> the best line is he says, the bike thief with the answer. Yeah. Yeah, I saw you're going to be on that show Saturday. I got that bookmarked, man. I try to make it shit half the time. It's like, I go, on, oh, there's Melodome. Fuck, I missed it. You know, it's like, I can't get it notifications from anybody the other day i was trying to get on flatsoids channel and i thought well fuck i'm not going to look through all my subscriptions so i just started typing in the search flatsoid i had if i put in flatsoids perspective hit the enter and he was like the fourth fucking thing that came up and i was like are you shitting me man and uh he won't even he doesn't even show you um he doesn't even show you the uh in my history like i'll be watching him and then i go pull up my history on my phone so i can continue watching it it's mm -hmm. not even there and i'm like this is fucked man this guy's getting shadow banned hardcore but who, 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 were you, who were you Flat, talking about flatsoids perspective oh okay i'm gonna go sub to him yeah he's really a good guy man um you'd like his show he's in south africa and uh he might pop on here later uh probably in the next little bit, we've been on about an hour. Uh, he asked if I started putting starting my show earlier. And I was like, what? And then it occurred to me, they don't have daylight saving in there uh, in South Africa. So to him, yeah, it is early. I did have to adjust my time. But if, for us, it's the same time, you know. Um, so, yeah, he and I are going to team up and... Um, do a debate on Jaronism here pretty soon. Uh, he's going to be on there on, de on, a, on the debatism show. What is it? Tomorrow or Saturday? Let me look real quick. Let me look real quick. Cause I definitely don't want to miss that. I have to set myself little reminders. It's so crazy. The older I get, the more shit I smoke, but I don't know if that's because of, um, let me see. There we go. Let's see. Lives he's got coming up. He might not have set a link to it yet. No, he hasn't set a link to it, but I believe it's, it's sometime between now and this weekend. So um whenever that is <laughs> i'm sorry if i forgot hopefully he'll pop in here um and uh and set us straight but yeah uh, uh, thank you guys they put flatsoids uh link in the chat uh so if you can go over there and subscribe pretty good show i was on there this afternoon he he like i discussed a lot of topics he and i are on the same page as far as like uh we know this Achilles heel for these guys and that's their damn gravity and their gas pressure. 
Um, and that kills the heliocentric model right off the bat. I mean, from its inception, I mean, you're not, you, you're never going to get a ball of gas to form anywhere for any reason, never. So there goes your sun that you claim is <laughs> a gob of helium or hydrogen that collected together for what, what reason I'll, I'll never. Well, well, you got me, th- it's actually, you're the one who got me thinking about the reason they say outer space is infinite is because they have to say it's infinite because if it wasn't infinite, that means <laughs> there would, there would be some sort of like edge or wall to it. And then it wouldn't be a vacuum. Mm-hmm. It would be a container. So there would be air in outer space. So they, they literally have to say that space is infinite. That way they can claim it's a vacuum. It's just like they, they, their lies always back them into weird corners. You know what I mean? Yes. So, yes. so, but then because the, they have other lies like the Big Bang Theory and expansion where they're saying, well, it's expanding. So it's infinite and it's expanding simultaneously. Light is a particle and a wave simultaneously. <laughs> up is down. Down is up. <laughs> level is curved. Gravity mm-hmm. refraction parallax. It's fucking nuts, dude. Oh, yeah. That's uh, you might not know that, but even from the inception of this show right off the bat, it's a kind of a little inside game we've got here that any time a Glober mentions gravity, refraction or parallax, you have to take a bong hit. Dude, I would be way too high for that. Oh, dude, I get wasted quick. I get because that's <laughs> but it's funny because I've watched you multiple times and I've been in the flat earth, you know community yeah, for, for i've been doing this nine years so i've heard every argument yeah. you know and it's funny you you can walk them you can lead them right into it and then you you gotta eventually it's like you know they're gonna say it you know they're it's like they they, they, they start with atmospheric gradient but eventually mm-hmm. they're like well what is holding the pressure gravity and it's like once they say that they expose how stupid they are well, that yeah, they're, that they're just puppets or not puppets, but parrots just upgrade. You know, they, it's they're not capable of thinking for themselves. And it is very interesting that um, Sav, you and I pointed out that they're not capable of steel manning a flat earth argument. Remember when we had uh, what was the guy's name? Liam or Timothy or whatever. Yeah, Tim- <laughs> Timmy. So I asked that I asked that guy to steel man circumnavigation and he couldn't do it. And then a robot polisher put out a video uh, with Witsit during a debate where he basically used the same tactic. All they all he wanted them to do was steel man a flat earth position, a simple one, and they won't do it. They can't do it. It's no, so it's bizarre. Like, it's like uh like like it would kill him. Well, you like they cannot let those those words come out of their mouth like it's uh, blasphemous, you know. You don't you don't have to agree with it to understand it. In right? fact, you ha- in fact you have to understand it first before you can make an informed opinion on whether or not you agree with it. Yep. So it's it's insane, man. Well, this is the thing that gets me too is I'm listening to these guys and they are so worked up in their math and all this other shit that's based on its math that involves presuppositions of curvature to begin with. Yeah. You know, you know, and it's like, listen, you got to get out of that fucking mathematical shit. You're not living in that. You're not living in that. You're not looking. You're just, uh, you're, you, well, the measurements, those are not measurements. Those are calculations. Stop it. It's the same thing when I try to explain to these bozos about their maps. None of your maps are right. Because it's a mixture of actual measured distances and calculated distances based on observations. So it's like, you know, and and now they're set. Now they're set. Okay. You can't, they can't change. And, and, And a lot of what you say are calculated are based on assumption. Which well, yeah, which are which are which they're backed into a corner because of some of the lies they've told, and and it I, I've done this spiel a bunch of times, but it all starts with that Copernican principle. That's like the starting point. They had to say the Earth's not special. That's how they remove God. Earth's not special. Copernican principle. We don't hold a special place. So how did they accomplish that? Mm. Well, it's like well, if the sun is going around the Earth every day, 
how do you get rid of geocentricity? Well, oh, well, you know, the sun's not going around the earth. The earth mm -hmm. is going around the sun. It's just an illusion. Well, how can that be? I don't feel, you know, and then each right. step they have to create another lie. Well, how yeah. come, how do you get the earth to go around the sun? Well, the, well you have to make the sun larger than the earth. Yeah. Well, had, well, if the sun is larger than the earth by, a, <laughs> by, by 109 X, right? Why does it look the size of a quarter? Oh, well, it's really far away. Oh, well, if it's really far away and we're orbiting it, how come Polaris never moves? Oh, well, that's really super freaking far away. If it's it so far, if it's so far away, how come I can see it? Oh, because it's really freaking big. It's like, it's all reverse engineered. Yeah, exactly. It is. And it's, this is why they've had to change their distance to the sun so drastically over this period of time, all the way from uh, Ptolemy to uh, present day. We've gone from 3 million miles to 93 million miles. That's 90 million miles of air in calculation for something that flat or, or that globe earthers claim is a very easy calculation. Oh, it's real easy. But then when you try to pin them down on it, you get idiots like Sean Hawkins yelling out there. Oh, we shot radar at it. Oh, shut the fuck up. You shot radar at the sun. Good how do you, shoot, how do you sh shoot radar at a light? Uh, yeah. I know, right? In, in oh, 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 they've done it. They've done it. You, you just deny science. That's what he's all he's got, right? Um, deny was science. Somebody said you was on Zetetic Warrior. Was that a good show? Did you uh, have a pretty good discussion? I, I, or? Um, you know, I didn't want to spoil your show and spoil oh, tonight by, by getting into it. Uh, it was kind of heated at times. Ah. He kind of went uh, a, a little. A little like uh, psycho on me, ah. but, uh, but we don't have to talk about that tonight. That's right. for another. That's for another. That's for another time. Although I know the people are interested. Yeah, yeah, I can, I can dig it. I've, I've had my experiences as well. So you know, I <laughs> dig where you're coming from. No worries, no worries. Well, yeah, uh, I think also there's some other stuff that's pretty crazy too. Is we're seeing. Um, did you hear about these? Uh, they built this massive altar in. Um, Jerusalem, where you can see the Dome of the Rock, and it's in the right place, and this is going to be for the sacrifice of these red heifers. And it's kind of it's kind of weird that I like uh, you always have somebody in your chat, Diane Red Heifer. Yeah, ain't that funny? Yeah, I got some people with some pretty sarcastic names, man. I really do. No, I thought that's her real last name, though. Oh, I don't, I don't, I don't know. It could be, could be. But they're going to, anyway, they're sending these things from Texas. They bred these things in Texas. They're on their way to 7,000 miles away to Jerusalem. Okay. And, and this is supposed to be what precedes the building of the third temple. You see, but there's a problem. There's something on the site of the third temple. Oh, I think it's what, like a mosque or something? Yeah, <laughs> I think uh, the Dome of the Rock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what kind of shit storm will that cause if they if they destroy that? But here's what I'm thinking, okay? Theory, little prediction out there. Throw it out as a long shot on our on our little pool of whatever disasters are coming in the coming month. They're going to say this eclipse and everything is going to trigger some earthquakes and it's going to be a fucking earthquake that's going to take down the te the dome of the rock. And it's going to be directed energy weapons. But an earthquake will take down the temple. And this is going to be there. Oh, look, this is our, our sign from God that we can build our third temple there now. And all these brainwashed Christians here in the West are going to go, oh, yes. On, not realizing that Israel has crowned Trump, the Moshiach. Right? Mm -hmm. They got him on a coin. This guy's walking around the world. Totally breaking protocol, walks up and just slaps the old sheik of Arabia on the back there, which is a death penalty to touch that fucking guy. You don't do that. His arm would have got to anybody else. Their arm would have got chopped off immediately. As soon as they touch that guy, he goes to Buckingham Palace, meets the queen, walks ahead of the queen, and she walks silent and submissive behind him. Who is this fucking guy? 
It's bizarre. I've seen that there's a documentary, uh, The Greatest Show on Earth about Trump. Have you seen that one? It's what's it called? I think it's called The Greatest Show on Earth. It's about Trump. No, I have not seen that. Dude, you got to look into that. I think it's on like uh, Rumble or Odyssey or one of those one of those alternate, um, you know, uh, YouTube yeah, sites. Yeah. But uh, that's wild. And they talk about how Trump has visited all these different countries, including like, you know, England. He met with the Queen and, and he goes yeah, to yeah. the Middle East and and all those world leaders take a back seat to him. Dude, that's what I'm saying. Listen, that's all in that's all in this documentary. I'm almost positive it's called The Greatest Show on Earth. Uh, when, when it comes to the monarchy, okay, and especially well, I, I know well as while while the camp, queen was alive, um, that there's there's protocol that must be adhered to. For instance, you do not reach your hand out to the queen. She offers her hand to you or she does not. Okay. You do not offer your hand to the queen. Trump did that. Okay. Another thing that's uh, really weird. If they're at one of those state dinners with the queen, when the queen is done eating, everyone is done eating. No one takes another bite. When she pushes her plate away, you're done. It don't matter if you've even finished or not. You're all done. So there's specific protocol. You do not walk ahead of the queen. You yeah, no, walk I, behind I, the queen. And then I saw them coming out. She's walking behind him and had a very submissive posture about her. And I'm wondering, man, is this guy the fucking Antichrist, man? So, I mean, you got all these people believing in him and th acting like he's the Messiah had a, a a minister. I saw this thing on stage. Uh, Flatsoid showed it today, where this minister said God talked to her and told him that he is that Trump is uh, his beloved son, and that well, he's got his blessing and all this shit. And I'm like, do, what the? F do you remember the story in the news a couple weeks ago where it was a uh, uh, I think it was an Israeli American serviceman Aaron Bushnell lit himself on fire. What no? Outside, it was Dude. an it was an American serviceman outside the yeah. Israeli embassy, and his name was Aaron Bushnell. And I'm thinking to myself, a guy named burning bush? a burning bush. Yeah, you're a truther, so it's you know you're quick to see it. It's a burning bush outside the Israeli embassy, and his first name is Aaron. So Aaron, while that's so what I was so while so while Moses is up on Mount Sinai <coughs> getting the Ten Commandments from the burning bush, right? His brother Aaron is, is being commanded by the people to, to create the golden calf, perhaps yeah, the yeah. red. Now, who's the golden calf in today's society that everybody's begging for? Trump. 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 Yeah, yeah. We're begging for him. We're asking for him. We want him because of the incompetence of Biden. Even Democrats are going to vote for Dude. Trump. And it was so contrived. This whole losing the election shit, he was in on it. Because he even said, boy, if you get this other guy, you're going to know misery for four years. He never actually right? lost. He never actually lost power, according to this documentary. Well, um, wait, listen to this, though. He didn't put up a fuss. He only put up a minor little fuss. And for the amount of rigging that we saw, and that was that was put out there for you to see, right? Because they know you idiots will go out there and do it again. No, Trump doesn't just have a golden toilet. He released limited edition golden shoes. Yes. Yeah. I've got I've got a commemorative golden $100 bill with Trump on it. Like Trump has always been connected to the color gold i mean yeah, always yeah, yeah. it's his logo i mean you ever go buy a trump uh like a trump tie you know it's it's got a who else who, who else is associated with gold who else is associated with gold yes even in alchemy okay it goes like this oh uh, oh uh, like newton the no the sun uh, the oh sun the sun yeah the sun is gold gold and so does the Christ. In fact, the allegory of St. Christopher, which is 
basically telling you that the connection between gold and mercury increases the current, whereas the Christ was gold and the sun, the sun, right? The son of God, the sun, the gold, the sun. Yeah. Right. And what was the gift present? The first gift presented to Jesus it was gold, gold, yeah. frankincense and myrrh, right? Listen, so this is all deception. What you had happen was Trump was in on his own defeat. In other words, he wanted this to happen. OK, yeah. so yeah. that everybody would be just so fucking miserable after four years of this. And it's not the president himself. He's a great punching bag. Let's put this dottery old man out there. And hell, the American public actually believed the president has all this power. He doesn't. He doesn't. The economy is not bad because of the president. It's bad because of the people that are controlling the purse strings. And those are the people that nobody pays any fucking attention to. You understand? So they got this punching bag up there. And Trump's like, yeah, OK, so here's what comes out. I'm going to come in like a knight in shining armor. These people are going to, even the people who wouldn't have wanted me before are going to vote for me now, okay? I'm gonna, and it's not so much about the votes. It's about getting the people, their hearts and minds behind this guy. And they are in a cult of personality because this guy is an excellent salesman. And what has he sold the most? Himself. He's always selling himself. Yeah. He's always and, and, talking and, about and, and, and they're going to want, they're going to want him they're going to want him to be the one in power when America collapses ultimately. You damn right. That's and then the and he's and he and he and essentially he'll be part of the you know when America collapses that's where the new world order is born. That's yeah, where yeah, the yeah. one world government and it, with Israel at its command. That's what the prophecy has always said. Or, or you know people will go along with it because they're gonna they, they, already there's people how many memes have you seen um associating Donald Trump with Christ? I've seen literally hundreds of them by these magatards, you know, that are so enraptured into this whole hold on one second. Someone said it's already a one world government, but it's it not is. it is, oh. but it's not because because it's not just about the one world government, they want enough. Official one world government, but they right, also they want, want the one. The they want down. the one. They want the one world currency, and they want the one world Luciferian religion. It's 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 more than what we have now. We're not in their final stage yet. We're leading me, up to it. Let me kind of clarify because I know where he's coming from with that. Yeah, yeah. We've been in a one world government now at least since the forties, if not before. Okay. I, yes, yeah, I, I'm right. 47. But we're under an illusion of international sovereignty. What they're going to do is put more lockdown and remove that veil. That oh, yeah, the illusion. Yeah, okay. yeah. They're going to remove yeah. that because really we, we've been under this. Everybody agrees with the Antarctic Treaty, even if we hate each other. Everybody agreed with all the protocols of the last four years, even though they hate each other, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, all of the, there's so many instances you can point at that, that show that there's too much complicity amongst nations for them to be separate. And this illusion of there are enemy or anything. Listen, it's the same thing as when we were kids. Okay. My elementary school, the Cooley Cobras, and we were smarter kids than the, than the other school a few miles away in the same district and we'd fight them vehemently and we rooted for our team and they rooted for the Bobcats and we were convinced that we were smarter and better than them and they were convinced that they were better and smarter than us and they were all run by the same goddamn superintendent and school board getting the same teachers in the same fucking books but convinced in their minds that they were actually a separate entity and not part of this one overall district and the only reason they're in there is by volition of where their parents decided to buy a house. That's it. Same thing with our own nationalities. Oh, I'm proud to be an American. What the hell did you have to do with it other than be shit out on American soil? What? Nothing. How do you take pride in where your mother birthed you? That's stupid. How do you take pride in your color or your race? You didn't have anything to do with that either. 
or take pride in accomplishments of men or women in the past based on their similarity in ethnicity to you that you still didn't do that and even though a white guy invented a certain thing doesn't mean you did you know what i'm saying this is this unwarranted and it's part of the mind control that so many people suffer under they really do and i try to break that out of people and realize man this is how they keep us separated and arguing with one another and it's not Republicans and Democrats and blacks and whites and men and women. It's us against them. And there's very few of them. That's why they got to run this fucking mind game on us, man. Because if we ever realize that if collectively, which I believe people are, but once people realize that game over for them, game over. Because all they we have to do is just take, take our ball and go home. That's all they, we have. And they they keep coming up with new ways to divide us, mm -hmm. like like masks. Think about how masks and the I mean, opinion over masks created yes. a whole new set of division for people yeah. to have. Yeah. You yeah. know, yeah. And nobody really realizing they're arguing over a purpose that it wasn't even the purpose of having it. They're they're arguing over the ethnicity of. Uh, whether or not it it stops a transmission of something or not and and that's not even what its purpose was the purpose of it was isolation it mm. took away your micro expressions that's a huge part of human communication is micro expressions and you cover up your face you've taken that away now if you eliminate the heart field and the resonance with other people's heart field which we know goes out three foot radius. And if you have a three foot radius and I have a three foot radius, that if we're six feet or more apart, we're not communicating on that level either. So we've isolated so, ourselves from one another on two important types of communication that we so use. When two, when, two, when two people hug, they're, they're pushing their chests together, like their hearts yes. together, right? Yes. So yeah, that, that field, that six foot field is like... Um, yeah, I mean, we we this is why moods are infectious. Yeah, that's you interesting. Know? Yeah, I mean, and when you get a lot of people resonating on the same mood, I mean, have you ever been to a Black Baptist uh, church? <laughs> have you ever been to a playoff baseball game? Yeah, I mean, that energy, that, that there's yeah. energy there, man, and it feels good, you know? And everybody's fucking vibing all together. That's that's what it is. That's resonance, man. We come together. We're real powerful, especially if we have the same intent. We have more power than you can actually imagine. If we could put our will and our intent together for a positive thing, <laughs> literally change the fucking world. We can make a ball go through Bill Buckner's legs and win the World Series. <laughs> or realize that that shit's just there to distract us away from. No, I know, I know. Do. But I have a whole theory that I think Shea Stadium, um, you know, where the Beatles played in the 60s, that thing wasn't just a stadium. That thing was built as a uh, amplifier. It oh, was something I when I was um, traveling, you. when I was traveling through Israel, I was in a little town called uh, Titzfet. <laughs> and there was and there was a Kabbalah artist. He had a studio, like and he painted these uh, Kabbalah image images and symbols and stuff. Mm -hmm. The guy's name was like Avraham Lowenstein or something, Lowenthal. Okay, and I and I look at one of his paintings, and it's and it's literally Shea Stadium. And I'm like, yeah. what the? I'm like, what the it's hell does speaker. that? Look at you remember the you remember the the deck speakers you'd have in your back windows? Yeah, don't they kind of look like little stadiums? Dude, I'm telling you, Shea Stadium was built for some sort of weird occult. And if you know the people who built it, they were all Freemasons, Yale Skull and Bonesmen, like mm -hmm. the Bushes, the Harrimans, the oh Paysons, the Whitneys. All those old freaking Yale Skull and Bones Freemason families were the ones who owned the team. Yeah, that's another interesting. Think thing about the hear. think about the name the name of the Mets. <clears throat> what do you think? What do you think Mets is short for? Metropolitans. How about Baphomets? That too, I guess. 
Doesn't that kind of make more sense than Metropolitans? They told us it was Metropolitans, but right. well, yeah. Super- I mean, if you were like hanging out with Baphomet, that's kind of a lengthy name. I, I mean, you would shorten it down to Hey Met or Hey Bath, you know. That's what I think. I think it's the New York Baphomets. Even their logo, that NY logo, is kind of in the shape of the Baphomet with with even horns on. Like, dude, I'm telling you, man, the New York Mets are fucking satanic. They even have <laughs> they even have orange, you know, as a team color. You know, orange thirty three. It's always connected to all this stuff. Um, all the hoaxes have orange. I don't know if you've noticed that. Yeah, man. It's, listen, man. There's, but back to what you were saying about those cathedral or um, those uh, stadiums and coliseums and amphitheaters and things yeah there's those it was modeled after, it was modeled after the coliseum in greek sure. in greece well and there again it's it's a it's a cavity resonant magnification device man. yeah you get yeah. all these people all their energy flowing in this thing and it's directly it's it's uh, reverberated directly upward directly upward so i find that really interesting you know toward the energy <laughs> yeah, brother. So I want to respond to this guy, Tony Coriolis. So the original two owners of the Mets were were a guy named uh, uh, George Herbert Walker. That's that's George Bush's cousin. And the other owner was Joan Whitney Payson. So she's from the Whitney family and the Payson family. They're all Yale Skull and Bone families. All of them. Sure. Huh. Yeah, we're getting deep into some shit here. Yeah, yeah dude. But yeah, that, so now now I'm, I'm tying a lot of this stuff together because, man, there seems to be, I don't know, is it an inordinate amount of uh, what we would call fear porn being put out around this uh, eclipse or... I'm going to see it. I'm going to upstate New York. I'm not going to... I'm probably not going to go to that Flat Earth meetup because... They're in a little town called like Salamanca or something, and they're not they're not in the middle of the line of totality. I want to be dead smack in the middle of the line of totality. So I'm going to a spot in upstate New York along Lake Ontario. It should be pretty awesome. Oh, nice. Yeah. And um it's just weird that they're calling this thing the devil comment that's gonna accompany the eclipse. Like, are you kidding me? What's with the language? What's with the word magic? Oh, I know. I know, you know, and this is another thing too, is I, I, I want to look for, I'm going to do a couple of things while I'm there too. I'm taking a compass because I want to see, if mm. compass, I wonder if a compass gets affected. I'll bring, you know what? I've got a really interesting compass device that um, my grandmother gave me. I'm going to bring that with me. That's a great idea. And I've got, I've got glasses and I've got, um, solar filtered binoculars i'm gonna do and i'm gonna film it i'm gonna view it i'm gonna do everything i can to figure out what the hell is going on up there is it is it the moon is it a third body i think it's a third body i really do listen during a new moon this is what's so really weird for about 40 hours during a new moon the moon's not even detectable not even with infrared you know where the hell is it yeah, you don't see like a black circle in the sky blocking out stars or anything like that. It's just not fucking there. You know, that's 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 what it is. It, it, by, there's people have said this for for decades that you know top scientists by the the moon shouldn't even exist. By all observable evidence, the moon should not even exist. I mean, it's just a, one of the silliest things, and it's always perplexed the hell out of me mystified me to look up and see this thing and i'm always wondering what is that what is that really why can i see through the damn thing Mm. you know i mean look at the look at the background that i have on here you know let me just take you back both of us back off for a second i mean you can see it's loosened it's always taking on the color of the background sky and what's interesting is during a full moon, the way the full moon is lit up, wow, you just glitched out worse than uh, they do on the real ISS, dude. That was that was wild, bro. That's how you know it's real. That's yeah, how you know it's real. Yeah, up here. yeah, man. But uh, anyway, during a full moon, the way the full moon is lit, completely evenly from middle to edge, all around, evenly lit. That is only possible in two scenarios. 
either the moon is flat or the moon is lit from within. Because I, yeah. see, I see spherical lights on lampposts all the time. It's spherical glass with a light inside. And when you look at it, it's evenly lit, just like the moon. Yep. So the only way for that, and think about what that is. That's a glass sphere with an internal light source. Now, what if that internal light source worked kind of like a Fresnel lens, like a lighthouse, yeah, yeah. and rotated internally? <laughs> Wouldn't that create phases of the moon as we see? You know, I'm starting to get the idea that a lot of what we're seeing up in the sky is actually projected from the North Pole, man. The North Pole. They make they make like uh, like LED lights for your living room where you can project stars onto your ceiling. Yeah. From a central well, thing. Go, go to a planetarium. Yeah, Where Polaris project. It's almost like Polaris projects the stars. Oh, cool! Eleven, eleven, eleven. Ha! Oh, uh, make a wish, everybody. Awesome. But think about this, man. You go to a, a planetarium. Mm -hmm. You're you're on a flat level floor, and you're looking up at a domed ceiling. Yeah. And it's a perfect recreation of the sky. And where is it being projected from? I don't remember where the, where the North Pole would be, right? Interesting. In the center of the fucking uh, room is of where course the projector is. is at, right? Yeah. Maybe that's what causes the aurora. You know, so I'm wondering, you know, is this like the shit we're seeing in the sky? Is that some kind are we seeing a projection from um from the North Pole? You know? Yeah. I mean, I, I, I see it as altogether possible, you know. Mm -hmm. Shit, we can't go there. That's another place they don't let you go. And like we were showing um, earlier on Flatsoids, we were looking at the uh, Urbano Monte map. And that's 1587. And they're depicting the North Pole. I mean, that's that's really something. Let me bring that thing up. I don't know if you've ever looked at that map. But it is really cool. I'll close some of these tabs because I got the first thing I would want, you know, the first thing I would ask about when I look at a map is the North Pole. Sorry about that. Is the North Pole a point on the map like it is on the flat Earth map? Like if you look at the flat Earth map, the North Pole is a singular point on the map, the center. Right. But look at a Mercator map. Where's the North Pole on a Mercator projection? Yeah, right. It's it's not a point on a Mercator projection. That entire top line of the map is a pole. So the Mercator projection literally turns a pole. It turns a point into a stretched out line across the top <laughs> of the map. You can't distort a map any worse than that. Even <laughs> so check this out. This is really badass. Um. Have you seen this map? So when we zoom in here to the north. Yes, yes, I've seen that vaguely, yeah. You know, hang on, it takes a second for it to resolution to come in. This is really good high resolution too. But if you see, this is just like what Mercator had for this North Pole map. You see the four lands here. And I want you to look, this is really interesting. Right here at the very north at zero, right? Look what's being used. It's a G, just like the G on the Masonic uh, thing. You're gonna right. have to. You're gonna have to send me that uh, this link. I, I wanna. I want access to this file. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. It's. Um, let me see here. I don't know if this will. But yeah, at some point in history, probably around 1958 maybe 1947, but right around that time, they removed the land from the North Pole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you look at, you know, like Google Earth or whatever, it's it's like at, right now the official narrative is that the North Pole is, is ocean, that there is nothing there. But, so that, but, but, on old, but on old maps, there's land. Yes. Yeah, well, here's some other stuff too. All right, so here's Iceland right here. Here's Norway. Here's a place called 
Friesland. Where hey, the by the way, that at now? By, by the way, do you remember the guy that we were on with when the first time I ever came on your show? There was a Norwegian guy on the show. Mm -hmm. uh, Osram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I spoke to him today on the phone for like oh. two like two hours. Oh no shit. Yeah, that's a great guy. But this is what I wanted to point out. You see here you've got Friesland, which it's is Friesland. gone. It's no longer on any maps at all. And right up here above the Arctic Circle, this is the Arctic Circle right here. Right here near Norway. What is that spiral? What is a that spiral? What the hell does that what what does that word mean? A virago is a vortex. A whirlpool, uh, a this vortex. Is interesting. Yeah. So this, is that, a wild, yeah. this is a wild map. Yeah, this is really cool. This is 1587. And, of course, here's England, Ireland. Right? But that's exactly why, uh, who said it? Uh, Christopher, that's why they tell us Santa Claus is at the North Pole. They have to fictionalize and fan and you know, make make the North Pole this fantastical place in our imaginations. Oh, that's where Santa Claus is located, and he's got elves building toys. It's like, no, the the North Pole is a real place. It's not a it's not Narnia. It exists, but they had to make it fantasy in our minds to like make us not even think. Who the hell even thinks about going there? Well, look at down here. Okay, this is uh, Argentina. this is an incredible map. This is where Argentina's at now, or what they call Argentina. But you see this little area right here, Region de Gigante, the, the region of, of the giants. <laughs> That's amazing. And here, where Antarctica is, it's depicting flora and fauna, plants and animals. Not ice. What's this place called? Terra Gali Galilea. C three PO uh, says C three PO Golden Calf says Santa means Satan. He's running things from the North Pole. I've always kind of said that too. Like Santa is obviously uh, an anagram for Satan. They yeah. tell us Santa is at the North Pole, so maybe that is Satan. The bearer of light, maybe he's maybe he's located at the North Pole, kind of like they tell us. And and look at the map. What is the North Pole? It's the bullseye. So, so this it's like, is, uh, I think this is Terra del Fuego right here. Terra see. del Fuego, the land, yeah, of fire. land of fire. And look at the crazy shit that they've got here. Giant fucking grasshoppers, giant rabbits. They got some kind of bird carrying an elephant. Maybe the Easter bunny is real. I mean, look at that dumb shit, man. What's going on there? Well, listen, dude. A lot of the Bible talks about hybrids and altering DNA and 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 giants mingling with with you know the, the women on the earth. Yeah, yeah. And and then but but also hybrid animals, all those depictions of of like griffins and centaurs and all those half animals i think that was real because i think these people with these ancient technologies they were doing they there's nothing really upsets god more than messing with dna he wants so he us messes. he wants us to replicate and reproduce of our own kind yeah and, but and when they start when, sure, when they sure. when they start when they start mixing the kinds together now you got to imagine though you're lonely and you're traveling here. Is that a monkey the, with tits? Through the Terra del Fuego and this little honey comes up and starts, you know, putting the moves on you. You know, depending on how long you've been there wandering around the Terra del Fuego, you might take it up, you know? So, I don't know. In prison maybe. <laughs> yeah, maybe. And what so is that it, guy? What is that guy right there? I have no idea, some kind of a It's a bird. It's a giant bird. bird. Like a like an emu. Or an ostrich or something. But this is really fascinating. But it almost looks like a half. A half and half. You see, this is detailed coastline on the other side of what we say is Antarctica with these little passages through. 
And we see this all over this map too. Little passages through. There's yeah, and why here. does why does Australia have the weirdest and the most unique animals? I know, right? Like, what the hell is a kangaroo, and why is it <laughs> only in Australia? Oh, what is this here? Terra de Vista. Terra de Vista is this little area of land here. And there again, another passage through. A passage. Uh, what is this? What's, what's the what's the what's the closest Oceano, what's the second. what's that closest landmass to that passage? Just a second. It says Oceano Australia Giacchiato. Giacchiato. Is that some form of giantism or something? I don't know. That is right at the tip of Africa. Gotcha. Right now, it, do, it does seem like the tip of South America is the preferred is the preferred way to Antarctica. Yeah, I mean, look how close. That's where the Nazis. Here. That's where the Nazis went. That's where a, a lot of Jews went. Like that seems to be. That's close to what they call Deception Island. Yeah. Yeah. Why would you name something Deception Island? That was called the Terra del Fuego, and that area. Now, there's another area called Terra de Austria, because let's see, Australia would be on the regular map would be like over in this region. Is there right? no Australia on this map? No. Bizarre. So let me see. Let me flip this upside. Well, down. I guess Australia hadn't been discovered yet in 15 something. All right. So here's where Australia would be on the map would be over in this area. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah. It's like yeah. on the well, it's on the opposite side of the tip of South America. So let's see. Go see, like go South like America. go like a, basically 180 degrees from there, more or less. Over here. Yeah, like over there. Yeah. Like where that where that where that rectangle is, that white rectangle thing, right? That's basically where it should be. This right here? Yeah. Right, right here. The, right, yeah, right in the middle of your screen. Isn't that like where Australia yeah. should be, more or less? Let me see. What the hell is that square? Yeah, it should be. Okay, so yeah, this right here would be what is uh, some, one of these land masses here. Let's see. This is the Philippines. And what the hell is it? You know, like, who the hell made a platypus? Look at all the weird shit on this. What is this place called? Hold on. Let's see. New Guinea. Brasilia. Regino. Oh, usually they have Terra Day. This is wild. Yeah, man. What is this called? It's called the 1587 Urbano Monte. Um, I put a link in the private chat back there. Gotcha. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can go to David Rumsey. And let me just pull up the main page for that. So here's if, here. If you like old maps and shit. Yeah, this, I like this map. This is a great place right here. I'm going to put this in the chat. The I don't. I don't map. think the flat Earth can be infinite, though, because for everything you've said, for air pressure to exist, there has to be a container. So at some point, there has to be that fucking dome. You know, it, you can't have an infinite flat Earth any more than you could have infinite outer space. Right. Yeah, I think that this is, I'm looking for, usually they have more of a label. Sometimes they're Terra. What am I listening to? A dog drinking water. Oh, okay. Cool. Good boy. Land of New Guinea. Nova New, Gu New Guinea. Nova Guinea. What do we got down here? Domes inside domes. Got all kinds of crazy pic pictate. What the fuck is going on there? Look at these crazy ass looking people. Some kind of monkeys. Let's some, see kind, some kind of monkeys. <laughs> this is okay. Yeah, this is the Tropic of Cap. Is that the Tropic of Capricorn? Yeah, that's probably what it is. I see the yeah. sun on it. It's it's indicating the sun's uh out the outward declination. Yeah, so I, I mean, why is the land so different now? You know what I'm saying? As opposed, I mean, this 
obviously, I mean, these people have mountain ranges and well, shit. You have to realize our brains picture the continents in the shapes of the Mercator map projection, and that projection's retarded. It is. So it's, I, it's probably this map is probably closer to the true shapes of things than than what we're used to seeing on a Mercator map or on a globe. Why are the shapes of the continents almost identical on a globe as on the Mercator map projection? That shouldn't be. A globe, the North Pole is a point. A Mercator map, it's a whole line. It, it would it would distort the land even worse. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, so Australia should be up here where my pointer's moving around, right up yeah. in here. Yeah, I agree. And what do they have there? Like, what is what is that animal? Well, let's see. They got some kind of fucking half dude, half fish thing going on. Like a merm people. See, that's what's so crazy is that there's, you know, it's not just, I mean, there's detailed mountain ranges and shit on these. You know, like they 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 look this over. Where there's different types of of uh, plant life that they depict. So, you know, what the fuck are they talking about? Nobody's been there and shit. It's unexplored. That's a that's a load of crap. But yeah, this is great. This is a great map. To, I like it. I like the. Off. I like how uh, detailed it is. Oh, I have a replica of this. Uh, this is very certain, high resolution. I have a 30 inch by 30 inch, but the original is 10 foot by 10 foot. That's, That's why I say that David Rumsey uh, map collection site is awesome, man. You can find so much, uh, so many different maps. You can even find maps of the county you live in, you know, going all the way back. I mean, this guy's got everything. What is this going on up here? So they got the sun, yeah. and they've and they've got the wandering stars following the sun. I think. Look, go go scroll back up a little bit. Are those the wandering stars, the planets? Yeah, you know, yeah. Okay, so here's the circle of Mer of Mercury. Yeah, because because the wandering stars circle the sun. As the sun circles the earth, they're all on their own timers. So they all circle at different speeds. And when you plot their different positions day after day after day after day, they'll, they, they create that beautiful symmetry that you see, like the, those flowers of life patterns that you see from like Venus. Um, the Tycho, the, I think it's the Tycho Brahe model. The Tychonian uh, system. That's true. I've already I've already proven that with observation. I just uh, I have no idea how to make a video about it. Okay, this is saying something about the sun, soleil, luminaire. The okay, the luminara, and the luno, moon. See, I, I gotta I gotta learn more of this fucking. It's almost lab. we're doing pretty good though. I think. I think with, with how many people are in this right now, I think together oh, we could put our brains about, together. Something about an eclipse. It's, I think this word right down here at the bottom might refer to can you can you Can you zoom in on that even more? Uh, no, but now we're losing. Uh, yeah, ecl eclipse. So, so here's what it starts out with. And I'm, I'm Terra, La Terra, Quando, the. The time Dalu of the Earth, Luminala, which would be stars, luminaries, and Luna, Vedena, Vedenos, Ven, Vedendosi. What is that? Vedendosi. Taburo. Is... Yeah, we got to figure out some of these connecting words, but a lot of it. Lu Luna? Come on, chat, help out. You know, uh, who's the genius in the chat that knows Latin or whatever right? this is in? I don't know what language this is. 
Italian? What is it? I don't know. There's something about the luminaries in the eclipse. And it's showing this, what's going on here in this little chart. See, that's another cool thing about this, too. You got all these little controls up here where you can, you know, change your orientation. Right? So like so Earth, Earth, Earth goat tress. It's almost like I don't like I don't think this, the, the moon reflects sunlight, but I think the moon gets its charge from the sun. Right. Because the sun is the sun is positive. The moon is negative. Right. So it's almost like the yeah, moon. Yeah. It's almost like the moon gets charged and discharged from the sun. Well, wait a second. Now I never noticed this before, and I don't know why. But look at this down here. Now all through around down here, I got these different royal figures and whatnot, right? And reference the different armadas that belong to different kings and things like that. But look at this bird down here. Who the fuck is this guy? He's got a real special little place on the map. I mean, it really kind of stands out, doesn't it? I love that. I would love that on my wall. And and I think we have somebody in the chat that's working on translating that for us. So Okay, um, cool, cool, cool. Earth goat tress, I believe. So what is this telling us? What if it's the opposite and the moon charges up the sun? I mean, I just don't think that would in, oh. intuitively logically that that doesn't really make sense because the sun is always the sun where the moon is always you know growing and and you know it's charging and discharging it's the guy that made the map that's incredible urbano monte okay well he deserves a special place on this this is awesome <laughs> yeah yeah i like how he included himself on the map so much so much detail. You think this was made by a giant? Oh, wow. I don't know. Like, do you think, like, like are the giants the geniuses? You know? <laughs> God, you know, well, there was a whole thing of the book of giants. And it said that the, the world was ruled by these mighty men of renown. And that the, what about that the uh, men could not sustain them anymore. So they started devouring men. Maybe there were giants in, in what's now New York. And that's why they're the New York the Giants. New York giants. <laughs> yeah. Because not just football. There was the baseball giants, too. Maximo. Somo Pontiff Maximo. Op Optimo Maximo. He looks... Uh, little bit small haddish but i don't know maybe noses were just hard to draw he hadn't sharpened his little crayon for this but man this is really detailed yeah yeah i love looking at this thing i can get lost up in this god dang thing for hours. i'm gonna spend i'm gonna spend like a good hour on that probably tomorrow oh it'll be longer than that i guarantee you i guarantee you man once you start fucking around on that thing and looking at stuff and you're like what what is this and then you'll see some words and an intrigue and you'll try to translate it out and you'll see wow yeah that's crazy. And I see a lot of geographic. I mean, it was obvious that they had been to these places. And let's face it, if you're commissioned to make a map, you can't just put whatever the fuck you want to on it because these, these people that commissioned you to make the map are powerful people that rely on this accurate, it, it, somewhat accurate information so that they can have trade, avoid war, um, all kinds of shit. And if, you know, you're depicting mountain ranges and woods and shit in a place where it's not, you're going to end up with your fucking head on a spike. You know, there, somebody's going to say, you fucking lied. What are you pulling? You're working for our enemies. You're trying to get us lost, you know? So, uh, what year was the printing press invented? Oh, God, I don't know. I was, it a, was it after the map? Oh, no. I mean, they, these people were actually hand-drawing these maps, man. Yeah. This was quite an art. And it, what gets me is how they could do it and be as accurate as they were it's without any kind of aerial 
or we assume they didn't have any kind of aerial reconnaissance. You know, but you can't tell me that that nobody went up in the air before a hot air balloon, and or that the hot air balloon came about recent. I mean, I'm sure there have been people trying to figure out how to get up in the air for a long fucking time, and realizing that they hey. We, even just hot air balloons. I think that shit, that technology has been around a long time, man. Mm. Where's our translation in the chat? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What happened? We're waiting. Yeah, we're waiting. Where's my translator? We could use Google Translate. Is, shouldn't C3PO be the one translating this for us? He might be doing it. He might did be get, doing it. Did you, did you get it, though? Oh, yeah, right. That's right. That's what his job was. Wasn't it? <laughs> Good one. Oh, I see what he did there. Yeah, this one, this got me intrigued was this Virago when I saw that. And I know, of course, Friesland, it's on the Mercator map, Friesland. And now it's no longer on the maps anywhere. And of course, up here we've got uh, this is Iceland and then Greenland up in here and then of course you're coming back down into the americas this right here could very well be the fertile crescent right here the gulf of mexico you know noah's ark was made of a very specific material gopher wood and this is the only place in the world where gopher wood comes from hmm it's kind of interesting isn't it so I don't know, man. I've been looking into, you know, I keep seeing all this shit. I'm, it's getting closer and closer to us going for this uh, trip for the eclipse. <clears throat> and every day I'm seeing more and more fucking bullshit going on the, on little headline alerts coming up, you know, about, oh, there's going to be, uh, the FAA is warning that, you know, there might be delays in travel and shit. And I'm like, airplanes don't fly at night i mean you're gonna have like four and a half minutes of nighttime what the fuck is that a problem why is this a problem and this is why i want to i want to see because there's some interesting effects that go on during eclipses um i think there's more to it than just this visual that we get i think that one i think it's going to be a boost in consciousness i think that uh There are other effects that take place. I agree. That's why I want to see in the electromagnetic field. I mean, that's why I want to see. I'm going to have a compass, and I want to see if that compass is affected by the. Uh, so I noticed. The I noticed something interesting on your screen. Can you Google? Yeah. What, look, can you Google? Hold on a second. Yeah, Iron Horse said that. I was just about to say that. Folk what? Folk, pendulum goes backwards during an eclipse, man. Is that a, is that a joke? No, or is it, they say that it does happen. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So, what do you want me to? Google? So, if you Google, if you Google, uh, what what location is going to have the longest totality? Mm, I don't know. Let's see. To totality can be anywhere from I think like two minutes to maybe upwards of four minutes. But but uh, there's going to be one town specifically that they're going to say has the longest totality. Oh. Ah, uh, Texas. Texas. Oh. 4 minutes and 26 seconds. Interesting. Stuck in Texas. And isn't there, where's that place they call, uh, uh, I think where the X crosses is a place called Rapture or some shit like that? I think, I think that of the two eclipses. Yeah. I think it, the two eclipse paths cross in Carbondale, Illinois, if I remember right. Oh, Lord. That's a vacation spot, isn't it? <laughs> And why is this one going to be wider than the last one? If the last one was 70 miles wide, would why would this one be wider? 
So, all right, so let me think about that. So the last one occurred in August. Mm-hmm. So the sun would have been, you know, just south of the Tropic of, of Cancer. Mm-hmm. But, but not at the equator yet. Somewhere between Cancer and the equator, right? Well, I'm saying from a globe standpoint, right? If you're looking at it from a globe standpoint, we're using the same light source, same object. Why would its shadow be different? That don't make sense. It shouldn't actually be smaller. Well, than they're the gonna object. they're they're gonna say doing. they're gonna say that the distance of the Earth to the Sun is different in in <laughs> April as it is in August. That's what they're gonna say. <laughs> Let me see. I'm trying to see what uh, or the path of it. Let's see detailed maps of totality for the 2024 eclipse. Here we go. Let's see what they say. Ooh, that is pretty detailed. So, how wide is this thing going to be? Let me bring. I think this it's up. roughly the. I think it's roughly the same, but it's not exactly the same. It's bigger. It's going to be like like two the last or three one was seventy miles, and this one's going to be seventy four uh, or something. I think it's close, but it's but it's not exactly way bigger. Oh, uh, way. That's why. That's why I was kind of. Let's see. How big is the shadow? Okay, here's some. Click on a map below to expand for a larger view. Um, that doesn't give me. Well, there's kind of a difference, a distance. So this scale down here says that that little line down there at the bottom is 50 miles. Yeah, that's going to be well over 100 miles wide. Judging by the scale on that map. So that's quite a difference. Really quite a difference. Let's see if we can find out. Um, let me... San Antonio. All right, let's see. Ethan knows why. Why does Ethan know why? Okay, Ethan, let us know why. Pop on up here. <laughs> Tell us. We want to know. Stack your odds. Da, da, da. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask it another question. Magic computer, answer me. That Riddle me this. All right, so. Uh, okay, how... Wide will the eclipse shadow be in April 24? 108 to 122 miles wide. And the last one was 70 miles. <laughs> That's... That's a huge change. That's a huge change for an object that's supposedly uh, a, within a set distance of 237,000 miles, right? And uh, a sun that's at a pretty well set distance average of 93 million miles. We're not changing that drastically to cause a shadow change of that much. And plus, here's what gets me. Even if you run that ratio right there, you're still going to see that if you had a lunar eclipse, which is supposedly their shadow going over the moon, right? The ratio is going to come out to be that it's anywhere between 10 to 12 percent the size of the moon. The shadow of the earth on the moon should be running the same ratio where we got the same light source and the same objects, the same distance apart from one another. So that ratio should at least work out within close to one another, and they don't. Not even. So that's pretty crazy. 108 to 122 miles wide. Okay. Well, we I'm gonna do. Some... I'm gonna do some more thinking about this um, from like a flat Earth perspective, for sure. 
because I guess I haven't really thought about it. Like, why are the paths in different directions? Why are the shadows different sizes? Yeah, I mean, well, they'll tell you, oh, there's a number and a penumbra, and uh, and uh, <laughs> let's see. Here's where I'm going to be in Ohio. I thought this was going to give me a map, but apparently it's not. Uh, come on. Ah, here we go. There's where I'm going to be. It's going to be awesome. I'm going to be right in it, man. <laughs> it's going to be cool. Oh, look, it's Brenda. Hi, Brenda. How are you tonight? You're muted, by the way. Yeah, I know. I always come in muted. Oh, okay. I didn't know. Sometimes people don't know they're muted. I, I can run a PC. Okay. Oh, well, have you guys got... Um, Already talking on the, about the eclipse. What what sort yeah. of prompted me to come in was was you were talking about the eclipse. Yeah, yeah. yeah you got, Are you excited? Uh, well, I, I'm sad because I I won't be able to see it. Oh, oh no! Then. Why not? Well, I don't have the money to travel to Texas. You don't have you to, don't go, have to, to go, go to where Texas. do you live? Huh? Is, where is, do you Texas live the, is Texas the closest point that you live? Well, there's a few uh, Glovers going down there. I think uh, my, uh, Mike Toon is going down there. I'm in Minneapolis with Mike Toon. I'm going to Ohio to see it. I mean, I won't get to I see it have, for as I long. Don't have but... money. Ohio would be much closer to you than Texas, I feel like. Yeah, yeah. I don't own a car. Oh, yeah, no. That sucks. That I'm sucks. poor folk. Yeah. Damn, that sucks. Oh, well. It's over with. So you guys Stop. got... Stop spending gotta... so much time on the internet and better your position in life. So you guys got um, <laughs> predictions based on the based on the flat Earth. Uh, can you predict or even explain a, a, a solar eclipse? I don't yeah. know. I'm going to go look at one. Well, see, yeah, that's the thing. It's when solar... Solar... something goes in front of the sun and blocks it out. Well, it's solar ecl solar eclipses have been predicted long before anybody had even invented a heliocentric model mm -hmm. it's they don't even today they don't use a heliocentric model to make predictions of eclipses they use the sorrow yeah, they cycle they, no they, they use what's don't. known they use what's known as the sorrow cycle which is a geocentric system no. that does not rely on the heliocentric model in any way shape or form there's not Geos some magic there's not like a 3D computer model of a heliocentric model. There literally that they use. is. There no, they're literally. Is. So send me that link to that model. I would love it. Yeah. yeah. So um, number one, geocentrism is not flat Earth. That's a globe Earth model. I've, I've heard you say that on other YouTube channels. Because I've heard it's you say it's true. It's diversion. It's exactly what Wits had said it's not. to you. It. Bro. How is it diversion? It's it's people thought that the Earth was the center of the universe long ago but they th didn't think it was flat they thought that was, was one cold. that was one type of geocentrism but that's not the type we're talking there were people that believed the earth were flat and the center that's all that means yeah you're, you're literally you're literally playing, listen you're literally playing semantics we're here having an actual words like, have uh, meanings right so so geocentrism uh, and what does geocentrism mean that the earth is the center it doesn't imply a yes. shape at all. That it, it means that it the doesn't sun, imply a shape. Break down dude, the word. It does hey, not just imply relax. a shape. Just, just calm down. Just calm down. It doesn't down. imply a shape. Geo, earth, centrism, center. No shape yeah. in the word, brother. It, or, or, or sister. They meant, I'm sorry. They meant, they, under, they believed that the earth was a globe and they thought that the sun, moon, and planets revolved around the Earth. That was one type of geocentrism. There was no type of geocentrism where they thought the the Earth was oh uh, the God. center of the universe. Flat Earth isn't just isn't just, a geocentric... just every just every ancient civilization no. that has ever no, been. No, yes, those are from the Hebrews no. and the Greeks and the ancient Egyptians and no. Mesopotamians and Babylonians and everybody who's ever existed, brother. What are you talking no, um, about? Thinking. Thinking that the Earth is flat, with the foundations of the Earth below, and and the springs 
um, coming up from below from the abyss and having a dome over the top. That's not a geocentric model. It's the Earth center. Yes, that's, it that, is. No, it's, it's a type not. of geocentric. I know what you're doing, and it's simply diversion and semantic. It's kind of pathetic. No, it's not. It's a pathetic way to approach an argument at no, best because everybody everybody understands what you're doing. Nobody, no. you did it. You did it in a in a conversation with Witsit in one of his streams uh, just a couple weeks ago. I humiliated him. You're like, I no, you, him. no, you you humiliate yourself on a nightly basis, my no, friend. You say that, and you're like, oh, geocentrism. So you accept the globe? The, you accept the globe? You sound like a loser when you say stuff the, like yeah, that. I don't care what you what I, what you think. So the biblical, um, ancient Jewish cosmology is not geocentric, right? Sure it is. It's completely different because it doesn't have the sun, moon, and planets going around the earth. Sure it They're does. They're attached to a firmament. The, Egyptian, the Egyptians didn't have a... They're not attached to a firmament. They're in the firmament. That would and be they attached, make a circuit. Wouldn't it? And they, have you even read the Bible? A long time ago, yes. A long so time ago. They so, be... you, so you know that the Bible and, and, and other uh, books that are not in the Bible, like Enoch, it literally talks about them being on a circuit. Can you define the word circuit for me? A path. What kind of path? Um, not necessarily a circular path. The so definition path. of circuit. A roughly right. circular line, route, or movement that starts you... and finishes at the same great, place. Great. Why don't oh, you, so why don't just, you so, show can me? You concede, so can, can you concede this one point? You're so triggered. You can't let I'm not, no, 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 no. Can, can you just concede? Because your, your voice is so gay. I don't want to hear you just talk. Just pause. Dude. Just pause. Take a pause. Why don't you show just me. concede simple Take points? A, just be quiet. You don't even accept basic words, bro. Show me on the, on the Judeo um, cosmology map with the uh with the with the foundations of the earth and the dome overhead show mm -hmm. me the circular path of the sun around the earth so first off the the word geocentric does mean earth centered it has nothing yes. to do with the shape however the first geocentric idea that was put forth of course and it was just a dumb fucking argument to bring up in the church was of a whether the globe earth was stationary and the sun went around it or whether or not the earth went around yeah, the yeah. sun. Thank you for okay. thank you for m making my point for me. So I, I uh, yeah, this can be exemplified a little bit. These you these literally movements. just said globe earth. Okay, d good. That's fine. What yeah, is the fuck? Thank you. So what? Thank you. But here, globe earth. Yeah. Okay. Yes, yeah, that's what theory, it's a theory. It's a yes. theory. Flat it's Earth a theory. is not a... The, okay, the various... so are you going to let me finish talking? You came in on the muscle, Brendan. There was no reason for that. Uh, I was okay. not on the muscle. Right. Now you were kind of on the muscle. But let me finish what I was saying. It still does not denote anything about a side, a size, or a, I mean, a, I'm sorry, a shape or a condition. It merely is in reference to whether or not the sun moves or the earth moves. That's all. Okay. So geocentric. No, it's not about whether or not the in, sun moves or not. It's not it about is. whether or not the sun moves. What no, does it geo is. mean? What, is, what does geo mean? It means the earth. Okay. What does centric mean? It's the center. There you go. Okay. Does it yeah, say anything? Does it mean anything? The earth anything? is not Wait, the center. The in, in, in Wait your a second. We're just discussing on whether or not. Wait a second. Before you get all freaked out. So it's geocentric. Not. Does the center of what? The Earth is mean. kind of towards the bottom of that dome, isn't it? It's no, no, what the bottom. It's not the center. Of, the word geocentric, what is that meaning? The center of what? The universe. The universe. Yeah, and in the geocentric and in the um, flat Earth mm -hmm. cosmology with the dome, the Earth mm -hmm. is on the bottom. No, oh, my it's God. Not the dude. dude, your attempt to play semantics is so pathetic, bro. It's so are, pathetic. Words have meaning. Are were you talking about words from, do words do have meanings? And you're are you talking about meaning. from a plan view projection or from an from a side view projection? When you look at the um, the typical um, Jewish cosmology, okay, I'm that I see you, with so, that I see profile. with it has like foundations. It has the abyss underneath. Okay, so the, the profile. The 
yeah, the, the profile, profile view. Yeah. Okay, is the profile yeah. view is that a th is that a three D representation of what we're talking about? Because what's well, you missing? You can imagine it in your head and turn it. Well, you head. could, but you also are not seeing the. Uh, you're only seeing a, a, a profile orthographic depiction. We have we're not seeing yeah. a plan view. The plan view would be a top-down projection of that object. Sure. Do you have are you that? Familiar, are you familiar with how like uh, blueprints work? How yes. they do have, you, do you a, have a, a top, graphic projection? Do you have a top-down view that corresponds with your cosmology? Well, yes, of course. Yeah. What is it? It's the flat Earth clock app. Flat, yeah, that or that's you not, can, that's that, that doesn't depict the Earth. Yes, it does. Yeah, it absolutely no, it does. It what are you talking it about? That's not a, this, that doesn't depict the Earth. And no, what way does because it depict the Earth? It gets the continents and the distances all wrong. Oh you well, that's that. because there's no there's no actually true Says accurate who? maps, Brendan. Says you know who? why? Do you who? want to know why there are no true accurate maps? Are, are you saying you can't figure out the distance between Sydney and? Wait, 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 wait. How would you measure the distance between Sydney and Santiago? Perfect. How would you measure Perfect. that? Perfect. Huh? You no. drive. You drive. You can't drive that distance. He would drive. Yeah. You don't even own a car. You would drive. Did they, have, is there a, did they build a bridge? Did they build a bridge that you I'm unaware drive. of? You could drive that distance between uh, the length. You think that people wait, have wait, 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 wait. That's not what I ask you. How do you measure the distance between Santiago, Chile, and Sydney, Australia? I'm talking about between Sydney and Perth. I'm talking about okay. how, how do you? Oh, I'm, I'm not even that. talking about. I that. know that you want to. And I'm about to tell you why. Because it's not I'm, correct I'm on your to, map. All right, I'm about right? to tell you why. No maps are correct. Okay, uh, they actually are. No, they're not. Yeah, yeah the globe. No, they're the globe not. Model, no, they're not. The globe model is correct. It's accurate. No, it's not. It absolutely is. No, it's not. Well, you no. can just say, no, -uh, that's all you did. Well, in no, your I'm debate. just saying it's not. That's all and you I'm did going in your to debate touch. with. with, uh, well, you, with can, you can keep talking, or yeah. I can explain to you why it's not. Well, explain why. Okay. Because you're trying to mix calculated distances with actual measured distances. What's okay? the difference? What's the difference? Well, that What's just the shows difference between that you're a calculated not very bright. Now, no, I'm, I'm, if I, I sit here correct. and I go, wait a second, if I sat here and I go, okay, now to that lamp looks like if I put maybe six or seven of these right here in front of me, it might reach that lamp. So if this is this big, now is that an actual measurement or if I take yeah. something and physically measure it? No, that's a calculation. Calculations yeah, wrong. are not, cal shut up, Brenda, when I'm talking. Calculations are not measurements. Uh, measurements are physically taken. Calculations are done by making observations and calculating them. Yes. Okay? Can I calculate and therefore know the distance no. between two places? Not with any, yes, I not can. With any certain degree of accuracy. Calculation no. How do you do that in the knowledge. South? How do you do that in the South? How are you going to calculate the so distance? So if I have... If I have two measured distances of five miles and two miles, where, I can where, add what five measure? and two. I can right. add five and two. Those and are seven. measured distances, and, Brenda. Those are right. measured distances. How did you measure those distances to start with? I, th I drove. Okay. How do you measure distances in a vast sea with nothing, no you landmark? Can fly. Nothing. Huh? You can fly. You can fly. <laughs> yeah. You can fly. Can you can fly. fly. You can fly. Or you can take a boat. Or you can take a boat. Still, yes. how do you know how far you've gone? A distance is speed over time, isn't it? No, not necessarily. No, but it always is. Current. Distance is how not you speed know over you time. Even move? So you don't know how distances across the ocean are calculated? Yes, I do. How? Distance is speed. Speed over time. No, no. speed. No, yeah, kind of. They know you how to calculate what? your speed from distance Speed over time. Speed of what? No, what are you talking about, Speed over about, time. Bro? How many, okay, if you're speed on a boat, of what? speed of what? A... Speed is the variable you're looking for, you idiot. No, it's not. You know oh, your speed. God. How do you know your, <laughs> speed, you know your speed, speed on water? It's called knots, dude. You don't yeah, know how do you get that? What's a, why is a knot? What's a knot? It, it's, a, it's a specified, it, you toss a rope, the rope has knots in it. No. Right? And that's no. literally where it comes no. from. 
they wrong. would toss a rope overboard that's a, that's and, a myth. and it has no, not that's a myth no it isn't yes it is no it's not it's based off stellar navigation observations no that's where you get a nautical not, mile that's from. How, yes that's not yes, how it originated yes 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 yes, yes, just yes, lying. yes hey hey can we can we mute brenda and just go to like google or chat gpt and just and just get an answer i don't like to like the debate things that should just have like black or white answers you know, look, like just like that. No, no. Look up the origin of nautical miles. I'm curious. I don't know the answer. I would love to know the answer. Apparently, it's about knots in a row. I'm not talking about nautical miles. I'm talking about speed. Knots is a measure of speed, you fucking moron. Based so the, what, they had a rope tied to the fucking dock in England, and they knew how fast they were going all no, the way. No, you America. fucking what the clown. Fuck are you talking about? Did a clowns? transgender just call me a fucking moron and you a fucking yep. clown? Did that just yes. happen? Yes. Do you not are you were, post or pre op? Yes, it? because you are, because you're so stupid, you th you think that knots are some are like marine miles? How fucking stupid are you? Okay. How, uh, right? uh, back again. How do you know how many knots you're going when you're in the middle of the open fucking ocean, Brenda? They tossed a rope overboard. They don't they, have a rope on board. How do they yes, know they how did. fast? They had what, ropes I, in the 19th century. Absolutely. Oh People have had ropes God. for so, centuries. So you are that, a clown. What if you're in a current? You're what a if clown. You're, what, if you're, what if you're in a current? Can you stop? Can you guys give me the... the right. The, so uh, you're just floor? a fucking clown. You don't I know anything, but you're just a contrarian. Okay, okay, so right. just stop. Just stop talking. Let me speak. The term "knot" in reference to currents is defined as one nautical mile per hour. Oh, it's used to measure speed. Oh, nautical. that's what I said. That is not, not what you said in the water. water. Yes, nautical uh, knots are a measurement of speed. Speed yeah. over distance. There you go. Right, right. Based on what? Not a rope, oh Brenda. God. Not a rope. Based on Brother, what? you called there. me a fucking moron when I literally was just Here. spewing <laughs> facts. And you're talking about knots and a rope. I Here, think your me... AI... Dude, Brenda, your AI glitched and you read the wrong definition, bro. No, I didn't. So not until the mid-19th century, vessel speed at sea was measured using a chip log consisted of a wood panel attached to a line or a reel and weighted on one end to float to the water surface. Uh, the chip log was cast out. The line allowed to play out knots tied at a distance. Um, what was the distance? 47 feet from each other passed through the sailor's fingers and they would call out uh, the knots. That's where the that's the etymology yeah. of the word. That's the origin of the yeah, concept. The etymology. Of that speed. The etymology. Yes. Thank you. So yes. you're, just, you're, you're such a contrarian. You have to correct people when there's nothing to correct. It's bizarre. No, you were wrong. I was right. Knots are they're literally knots in a rope that's thrown overboard. It's a it's a unit of measurement of speed. Yes, oh that's God. what I said. Which is what I said. No, that's what I said. And you no, you me didn't. A you didn't. You, you said it was something tape. else. That's not no. It's it's all on. Yes, tape. you did. You Brenda, said it was something else. Recorded. I said it's speed. You said it was about a rope, and I said it's a yes. measurement of speed, and you called me a right. fucking idiot. Yeah, you're yes, a, oh because you are. No, I'm right? not actually. Because, you're a trans it, fucking gender, bro. Uh, hold on, that's irrelevant. Stinky, stay off of that, right? Yeah. Well, I, I, you're right. making me. Well, I didn't come here to de debate with someone with a. Wait a, a second. A Hold on. Right. Right. I, I just, just cry. Just, you can just, just cry stop. about you it. You guys got to do stinky feelings. Stinky. I came here to get a pillow. I came here to talk to Dave. And then you cry talk, into the pillow really hard. I didn't come here to talk to a mentally ill man. I want to talk to my friend Dave, not this mentally ill freak. You're a freak. You're a freak. If we yeah, could yeah, that's, just that's get that's the great. emotions all out of this on everybody's part. I don't okay? care about okay. anything that you guys say because you're just trash. So okay, well, yeah, I'm yeah, trying so to I'm trying to I'm trying to rationally talk, and and there's no reason for any emotion in all this yeah. whatsoever. Oh well, yeah, what I'm is. trying I'm to being... point out is that your speed over time, you're kind of right, and this is why they ran into kind of right. It's literally what 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 the definition is for distance is speed over time. And if All you right. think it's if you're Either trying what? to trying to do something else, it's just you being Either a contrarian. Because listen, Brenda, if I if my ship was in a current, 
and I was actually not moving at all. I was just going the same speed as the current is coming at me. And I throw my rope in the water. It would indicate that I was going a certain speed. And I would calculate that I've gone this and distance. But did I really thing. go that distance? No, you I didn't really, really think go that distance. That sailors, so now, as I'm trying to compensate for Brenda, the speed of the ocean's current. Brenda, shut your fucking pie hole for a minute and let me talk. Now, these distances and everything were based off of observations. This is why they use these yeah, sections, just like right? Flight, right? Right, right. Just like Brenda, Brenda, I'm still fucking talking. Nobody cares. Yes. Literally his channel cares. and his show. <laughs> so, God damn it, just relax yourself for a goddamn minute. So you have to base these distances off of, yes, as you said, time and movement. But it's based off of time, movement, and observations of the stellar points in the sky using a sextant. Now, where we start yeah. to run into problems is once we get past the equator. Okay, because we're already calculating distances based on observation, not actual measurements. They're calculations. Those are all measurements. Observations. Brenda, are Brenda, what did I just say? I'm still talking. Nobody cares. Okay. Nobody cares. Now, once you get down to the to the equator, now you start to have a problem because your fixed point, that being Polaris, is no longer visible. They and so don't one of the problems Polaris that they ran the into, way. one of the problems that they ran into is because as you pointed out, Brenda, time and speed of movement. Now we don't have a, a, a stationary reference frame like Polaris anymore, and we only have some of the known constellations, a few of the few new ones, and we have some some of those constellations. So we had to work out a way that we could keep time accurately on these ships. And of course, right. the most preferred way of keeping time was with a pendulum clock, but of course that's not going to work. And a spring clock wasn't accurate enough because it would start to slow down as the spring got looser. So this is where the quartz clock, the quartz clock actually started to come in. Yeah, and then they had to, not, they had to, the they had to make observations that. of the movements of the constellations based on the amount of time it took for them to move and added more to their calculations. It was really quite an ordeal. So much so that they had to come up with a royal society called the Royal College of Longitude. This is a real thing. And they yeah, are. I know all this. This is boring. Well, if you know all of it, why the fuck do you say the dumb goddamn shit you say? Well, I didn't say anything dumb. You said, you said all how do you know the dumb difference? Shit. People you throwing said, no, fucking ropes overboard no, and counting knots. Right. You, you eventually agreed with me. And Stinky Cash agreed with me. You tried to pretend that what I said is what you said. You're trying to gaslight. That's oh what God. you do. Brenda, and, you right, really, so we know you, the distance. Brenda, Brenda, I'm just going to say the this, distance Brenda. between you are Earth really an immature and, person. And, How, old and Santiago? Are you? How old are you, Brenda? I, I'm 66. You're 66, and you act like you're about 14. Well, I don't care. You, are, you have a very childish mentality. No, about I, I couldn't. No, care no, less no. You're you very childish. You're very childish. I don't care. You're an you unpleasant think. person. Don't care. I bet you have a very, very, very small social circle because you're kind of a turd. Uh, no, I, I'm just fine. It's just only on the internet when I talk to. Um, well, why uh, are you? Why like do you? you? Why do you want to come talk to me? Uh, because it's entertaining. Why is it entertaining? Are you an evil little creature that gets off on being a dick? I, I'm I'm not. You, well, you obviously are. I, this, I, you find I, this entertaining. You find it entertaining to go on people's shows and be an yeah. asshole. Why would that entertain you, you just, to go on other people's shows? Are you going to cry some more? An, I'm not crying. Is You're it, just an asshole. Crying, I'm blaming you off for what you are, Brenda. Just, just stop crying. Right? I'm just pointing out what you are. You're um, an evil little miserable fucking person whatever you think i don't you have a miserable little fucking life don't you don't have so, a car you're probably on welfare so i mean i don't so care many, you're, about you're your opinions dismal, none of this has to dismal, do dark little creature this none of this has to do with how we know how far it is 
from oh, Sydney, shut up, Brenda. You don't know Santiago. fucking shit. You, you couldn't find your own ass with a map and a flashlight. Shut the fuck so, up. So none of this has to do with how we know the distances on the air. Yeah, well, which was what started how we know. We don't and, know. And I embarrassed you. don't know. Just now. You've been told. I know what You've never been are. any further than we a couple of states else. away. You have no You're life just experience. crying now. No, I'm not crying. Yeah. No one's just crying, like Brenda, just like you. on Jaronism, you and and Don cried and cried and I cried. I know you we did. cried and cried and cried. There it we are. It was embarrassing. Uh, you know, I gave you benefit of the doubt. And Other said flat that earthers, acted, and I acted that you acted about 14 years old. I want to take that back. You're about more like 12. Other what? flat earthers think that you're shills. That's how bad you are. I don't give a fuck what anyone they thinks. They think Brenda. that you're deliberately when making you flat earth. Will you ever bad? understand that I could give a flying rat's ass what any other motherfucker on this world thinks of me? Yeah, but they I think real, you're deliberately real making flat earth you look, make bad them look bad because you're so incredibly stupid. Oh, like I know. Women yeah. think you yeah. make them look bad, Brenda. Brenda. That's what they said in Jerry. You're, you're, a, you're an old man. Them. You're an old man tucking your balls and wearing women's clothes, coming on shows, being an asshole for entertainment. And you want to tell, say, other people are embarrassing or other people are stupid? Dude, do you have mirrors in your home? Yeah, you are a, a, just the most pathetic thing I've ever You're an obnoxious, in my life. evil little creature. You're obnoxious. You're hateful, you're spiteful, and you're just a weirdo. And you gave the only up reason on I life. let you come on here is because you're so goddamn entertaining. Because it, what the fuck? Define irony, really? I mean, and you just make the globe look so fucking good. Are you done? You want to talk yeah. about other people? Fuck off. So, so I just so. I just explained to you how we know the distance from yeah, yeah, yeah. Sydney how you calculated, to Santiago. How you right? calculated a yeah. distance. It doesn't matter. If you calculate. Observations, which you didn't fucking calculate. And you it doesn't matter don't if I know did it or not. Shit because you moron. don't even have a fucking car. Why don't you have a car? Probably it, a drunk driver. It doesn't matter. Right? With it DUIs matter. all the time. Yeah. You're right. a failure so, at life. Uh, we know the distance. From you South know San shit. Diego. How do you know? Stop talking. You don't know shit. Stop you don't talking. Know. Yes, you You're a failure at You're life. Just, You're a 66 yeah. year old loser so much without a car. Years. So you many years. Money. Money. How do you know that? So how do you many know tears. that? How do you know right. that? Tell me how you know that, Brenda. Oh, I just look it up in, in a map, on a map. So whatever somebody else told you is what you know. That's my no, point because, exactly. Because you don't know are, shit. Yeah, it's because they are reliable. Are they? When was the yes. last time? You, when was the last time you traveled between Every those two cities? Every time I've used the map, the map. When, when was the last reliable. time you Brenda, traveled? You between haven't those left two your cities, basement Brenda. in years. Every time I've used a map in my entire life, it's been reliable. Yeah, I've been How long ago right. was that, Brenda? When was the last time you matter. used a map? When was That's the last time the you point. used a map in your real life, Brenda? That's not the point. The, the point is, it's reliable. Basement, you fucking loser. That's not the point. You can still cry, but maps are reliable, right? Are they? When was right? the last time are you used they? one to right? go between Santiago think... and the other place? Yeah. When was the, the last time reliable. you left your fucking town, so, Brenda? You don't know you anything don't about You don't use a map for nothing. You ain't so using a map all for irrelevant. shit. Bro. Brenda, you're transparent. So we can figure out everything so many about tears. you. So many tears. You're so, see-through. Maps are reliable. Reliable? Uh, Are they? When was the last distance? time you used How a map? How can a map be reliable on a sphere? Because you can you can measure distances on a sphere. Oh my God! No, you can't. Yes, you can. How? How do you measure a distance on a sphere? You can drive. You can sail, or you, you can, can drive fly. across the ocean. What did I say? Sail or fly? Oh, you can sail. So, how do you measure distance over water? With, with a uh, knots. Remember. No, you, you this is so was, circular. Bullshit. Speed over bullshit. time. Bullshit. So speed, speed over time, time is speed bullshit. Of the sky over time. Huh? Speed of the sky over time in conjunction yes. with your location. That's when also was the how you, you measure distance. When was the last time you used the map, Brenda? When was the last time you used the map? It's been a long time, but that doesn't yeah, mean it's not reliable. Like it. <laughs> what did you do? Mean use the map to reliable? get to the fucking grocery store or something? Does that mean that they're not reliable, moron? 
I don't know. I never used a map to go across, but I know that it's not accurate. Talk about I know why it's not map. accurate. You've never used a map. A Is that what you're Of course I've used a map. Yes, and they're reliable. I travel on land. I travel on land. You don't use a map to travel on the fucking ocean, you retard. Yes, you do. No, you don't. You use marine charts. Those are maps. You use marine charts, not land yes, maps. Those, those are maps. Fuck. How it's fucking chart. stupid are you? It's a chart. Yeah, that's what that's what they are. Yeah, 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 yeah. Based on what? Yeah, factor in the curvature. Based on what? Where where are you where do they base these locations from in the ocean? Where do they base them from? They base them from the They're fucking sky, moron. They're based They're on based measurements from the sky. From the sky, you fucked hard, and they're not measured. No, no they're, they're first laid out uh, with ships on the ocean. <laughs> oh, shut, the fuck up. shut the fuck up. You don't think ships could measure distances? No. You don't think ships can measure distances? No. Why not? Because they, there's what is there, what are they measuring with? You think there's a guy on there? I told rope you out there. They're Speed holding over time. There? Yeah, it's a sky. giant tape measure. Speed over time. Yeah, there's a guy right. standing at the back of the boat with a with a big rope. Right? If you know, so if you know how fast you're going and how long it's been, do you know how far you've gone? How no. do you know how fast you're going? Yeah. Yes, with on a boat with. Yeah. Yeah, how how do you know how fast you're going on water? It's measured in knots. Well, so what if you're in a what if you're going retard? against the current? What if you're going against the current, Brenda? Now what? Do you really think that sailors for hundreds of years have not been able to compensate for for ocean currents? Yes, they have. Yeah. They know that they, there's they, ocean you currents. know how they told their location? By looking at the fucking sky, you retard. They can account for a ocean oh, current oh, and oh, you just adjust. They didn't account right? for nothing. They didn't account for nothing. They, yes, they of course you did. They, they knew their location based on the fucking uh, sky. Not on some well, yeah, they, they had some guy yeah. throwing fucking rope out the back of a boat and shit. So you don't Get think that that's how here. that's that's how people measured time hundreds of years ago? You With throw rope. a log overboard, the oh, log yeah. is attached to a rope. The rope has knots in it every uh, forty-seven feet, and you call out the knots. What if you're in a current? That they can then they can adjust for that. How would that? How would you know? I'm not a sailor. I don't. You I might don't be know. going. You I'm might not a be going Actually, slower than the current. You You're could actually like be one. traveling. Yeah, backwards. they might be. Yeah, they might be. And you wouldn't know it. Yes, they would. No, they wouldn't. They adjusted for it. No, adjusted for what? How would they know? They had to go by the stellar navigation. Shut yeah, they up also with use, your yes, they also no, use sextants. No. Sextants were invented in what? Yes, it's not a what, speedometer. A sextant is a speedometer, like Brenda. A sextant huh? isn't a speedometer. The, the knots are. <laughs> yeah, that's literally a speedometer. It tells you how fast you're moving. Okay, so Brenda, you think was that the there was a guy? Wait a second. Parachute. You think that there was a guy that stood at the back of the ship, measuring his speed all the time with they a rope? They toss out. Shut toss the fuck out a log. Out. Get the fuck the log out has here. a rope attached Get to it, and out the here. rope has knots every forty-seven so feet. This guy was back there all day, all day, guy, three shifts. They had three shifts of guys out there. Three shifts of guys, eight hours a day, fucking throwing a rope over the edge, sitting there checking the speed and shit. And say, okay, Charlie, your shift's over. It's time for your friend Ahab over here. It's his turn now. Okay, well, shit, I lost count. Fuck, I got to start over again. Pull the rope back. In. <laughs> Get the fuck That's out of here, how they did it. Jesus Christ, man. That's not how they did it. You're just exposing how deeply ignorant and stupid you are. No, right. you expose how deeply ignorant you are because I've looked oh, into this, I've studied into this, I know exactly how. No, you don't. These, yes, I do. I just told you how. It's no, based you off of you told a, me what? I told you that the the distances across oceans are calculated, not measured. It doesn't matter if yes, you calculate. It yes, if, it matters. A hundred. If you calculate, it matters. You, if you add two yes. and two, that's a calculation, right? It's a, no, no. Two no. plus two is a calculation, right? Yeah. Then yeah. you know that you've got four, right? No, because we only yes. the two. Wait a second, Brenda. What two? What you just had two in your head. Two what? So there is no four. Your imaginary two plus imaginary two equals imaginary four. It doesn't matter. Two yeah, plus two it matters. is a calculation. It matters. 
knowledge. it matters. Okay, that's a calculation, what you just did, and it's fictitious. Right here, right here is an actual fucking measurement. I have two, and I have two, and I put them together. Now I got four. That's a physical That's not a measurement. measurement. That's a that calculation, is. not a measurement. I'm showing it to you right there. Yes. How many is there? Yes. How many is that's there? That's a calculation. One cigarette equals one unit. How many yeah, that's units addition. do I have? That's a How calculation. Many How many units? How many physical units am I showing you right here? Four, right? Yes. Th okay, that's a calculation. Your where's your four? That's a calculation. Where's, where's your four? Where's your four? Show me the four you came up with. Th it's that's a head. calculation. You understand, right? So if you don't have... If you have too many moving variables, it's very easy to miscalculate. You only have very two variables. Easy. Very Speed easy. And this time. is why. Tell me, tell us about the, the Royal College of Longitude, please. <laughs> you only have two variables. No, tell Speed tell me time. about the Royal College of Longitude and why this was such a difficult task for them to uh, set up this coordinate system. Tell because me why. Measuring time is very, what, because measuring time was very difficult. So mm -hmm. eventually the Swiss coronagraph was invented in order to tell accurate time mm -hmm. so that they could accurately um, estimate the distances. Mm -hmm. uh, that estimate, they estimate. Thank you, yeah. Brenda. Yeah. Estimate based on stellar observations that yeah. were even less accurate when they got in the Southern Seas. Thank you so much, yes. Brenda, for that admitting that. That doesn't mean you don't know the distance. <laughs> Woo. Right? Right? Woo. My speedometer. You don't know the Prove my the speedometer. Distance. My Prove speedometer in my car is an estimation. Prove the distance between uh, Santiago. You don't own a car. What are you my talking about? My speedometer in my car you don't is own an estimation. A car, Brenda. The odometer in my car is an estimation. You don't have a car, a car Brenda. You haven't it's even tried relevant. your shoes in months. Stop talking about a hypothetical car you don't own. We're trying to stick with reality, not your fantasy. Well, You're a, a man reality. without a car. You're a man it's without a, a car who doesn't tie his shoes. You it's haven't left your basement. No. Yeah, your delusion is reality. Your mental no, illness isn't. is reality. Oh, no, yeah. so it's a reality that odometers are estimate your distance. They don't they're not absolutely accurate. When was the last time you drove a car, Brenda? It does it's irrelevant. You just said it was irrelevant. <laughs> they took that windowless van away from me. <laughs> you just said it was irrelevant and then you asked me about it. How many it's children irrelevant. have you or have you lured in? So your it's office? irrelevant. All uh, of this is irrelevant. Easy, it's you. just you crying. This is just you crying You're because crying. I showed you that we can know the distance you from just, Sydney you just, to San how Diego. Can you know, how can you know something that's estimated? Huh? You just got done telling me it was estimated. Better yeah. ways to estimate. Estimations yeah. are not measurements, dumb shit. Yes, they are. No, they're not. Because Absolutely I can estimate how I can estimate how much money I've got to spend from the stuff that's in my grocery yeah. cart. Is it going to be right? Is it going to be exactly right when I get up there to the fucking checkout? No, because it was an estimation. Is an estimation mean you don't accurate? Know. No, an estimation is not accurate. Thank you for admitting that. You can that. estimate distances and you, you can, can know estimate that. You shit. don't have you to can have estimate. an estimation is not a fucking measurement. It, it's yes, it is. No, it's a guesstimate. Yes. That's fine. It's it's no, still, it's not it's fine. It's not a measurement. No, it's not a measurement. If you guess, not. if you guesstimate measurements within yes. precise measurements and mix them together, there your shit's not going to line up correctly. Okay? There are no absolutely precise measurements. There are there no. Are. No, there's not. Yes, there's not there a are. single. There's not yes. a single tape yes. measure that is absolutely We're accurate. We're not talking about a tape hey, Dave. measure. That's Dave. exactly what you're talking about. You're no, saying no, no. if Dave, you put they, up. If you put up a, a, a tape measure up against, say, a, a, a length of wood, a board, mm -hmm. you're estimating because oh. it's not going to give you an absolutely perfect measurement. It's going to give you something close. Okay, oh, stop yeah. talking, Tranny. The definition of estimation, a rough calculation yeah. of the value, number, quantity, or extent of something. Yeah. Not the yeah. rough measurement. It says yeah. specifically a rough <laughs> Calculation. Should we look up the definition of the word calculation? Calculation a is still a mathematical determination. Yes. It's not a measurement. It's absolutely it's a, a measurement. It's theoretical mathematical. Math is done on paper. 
It's the it's theoretical. You, you try. Yes. Addition. Addition is done. On, well, you probably have to use your fingers and your toes. Right. The right, rest right, of right. us can just do it in our heads. Yeah. I got a 720 on my SAT math section. But I can I can take my I pants down if I have to get to 11. Right. So the point is that calculations are measurements because all measurements <laughs> involve calculations. You have denied the basic definitions of over uh, what? Five or all six measurements. Words now. All measurements involve Can you define the word woman while we're at it? Don't. All, all measurements involve Thank calculations. You. It's just basic Matt Walsh, what is a woman? And I'm, and I'm, know, and I'm embarrassing I'm you, showing you. To go there. I'm not showing you. To go there. This, this all listen, came from you word, claiming. The, best thing, the, the worst thing you could do right now is give this thing an opportunity to be a martyr. Okay. Dude, he's, he's already yeah, yeah, a martyr, bro. Yeah. He did that. So all you're, all you're doing is showing how what 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 low moral character you have moral <laughs> character low moral character right <laughs> your 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 moral degenerates you reject basic truth which means you have no morality no, no i don't yes right? you so, do because you don't even believe in man and woman so you deny yeah, so the I don't care about any of this. Of this God. You can try to derail it to something else. You hate God because you hate yourself because your dad hated you. So no, you hate your how, dad. That's not how atheism yeah, you have works. a terrible relationship with your parents. Actually, and it's, and it's caused Re yeah, you do. Regardless of all that. Regardless of all that. Actually, I don't. Brenda, you have been wrong on the definitions of these words. You, I mean, no, you I'm have not. Categorically wrong. About what? What the this, uh, that an estimate is not a measurement, that it is sure an it is. estimate, it's a rough calculation. Of yeah, that's fine. On, and when you are doing it using um observations, um, then you're also throwing a little bit more air into the mix, okay? So, um, so my using... point being that these distances across ocean based off of movement. Especially in the southern right. seas, and it shows that and your map movement is of wrong. this movement of the sky. Right. So and, this all shows, and, Dave. All of this boy, shows you just that your have map no self control, do you? You have not got one fucking lick of self control, do you? You can't no, let a fucking guy just want to get a breath you. out before you got to start twisting your fucking panties Keep up. Keep crying. Your Keep crying, little boy. Jesus Christ, right. are you so this capable, is all, this are you all capable show of a fucking discussion or not? That the distances on the map you claim are wrong. They're on all maps, they're wrong. No, they're not. Yes. No, you yes. have to show that. Prove it. Prove yes. it. Prove, Prove that it. they're correct. It's your claim no, that they're you correct. Claim that they're wrong. No, you're claiming that they're accurate. No, you have You're to claim claiming that they're you accurate. That they're I'm telling wrong. you that that based on research into the whole coordinate system and how it's come about, that that it is not accurate. How do and you know that? If you did just a little bit of research into yeah. it, you would find so, out why. So, so tell me, how is yeah. it that all maps are wrong? Because of just what I told you. It's a what? mixture of actual physical measurements mixed with calculated distances. You understand? Brenda so is killing the race. Some of it is estimated. Great parts of it are estimated, while small amounts of it that we call land are measured. This is why they keep you confused with nautical miles and statute that, miles. You don't think that people can measure the distances between, uh, say, ports on the ocean? Between How far? Sydney and, 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 and Chile. No. You can't measure that distance. How would you measure it? I just, we've been through that the last half hour. No, no, you're wrong though. How? How am I wrong? How you all right? First off, you have nothing for reference while you're yes, in the you ocean. Do. What? Speed and time. Well, wait a second. Mm. If you're in a mm. current and the ocean is going in you this in the opposite direction as you're sailing. Right. Doesn't even matter okay. about the current. And I told how you, would you how that's would going to give you a false speed on is that water? Gonna, hold on. So that's going to give you a false speed, isn't it? So they can compensate that for that. Then you just subtract, right? How would they know? How would they, would they know, know by taking uh, making other observations? Like what? Name one. Like like celestial observations. All right, wait a second. How do they know they're not in a current? 
because they make celestial observations. Well, what, right? With yeah. the sextant. Uh huh. In right? your in the and south. so they can tell that they yeah. they might be uh, a drifting, right? Uh -huh. Compared to some other previous. All right. Uh, so uh, is that is that going to be a calculation or is that an actual measurement? It's going to be a calculation. A calculation and a calculation right. based off of observations or estimates is not a measurement. It doesn't matter. You still yes, know. It does matter. It does matter. It absolutely fucking matters. You're talking you to calculate someone a who distance, has done you know the distance work. It matters. If you it calculate matters. a distance, that means you know the distance. No. Yes, it does. Not until you've actually measured the distance do you know No, the it doesn't have to. If I'm yes, in my car, does. I know yeah. I've gone 60 miles an hour. Yeah. and I've How do you know that? How That's, do you know that? Hold on, wait a odometer. second. Hold on a second. Brenda, How does the you're odometer physically, work? wait a second. You're physically measuring because your odometer yeah. is directly connected to your wheels. And yes, every and, so many rotations the, of your wheel makes a mile. Yes, and the log okay. tossed out the back That's of the ship. That's a physical, physical measurement. To the ocean. That's a physical measurement, dipshit. Yes, it's a physical measurement. When you toss right. the log out, it's connected to a rope. Yeah, yeah, that's a yeah, physical yeah. And you're in a current. You don't know how fast the current is, so you don't know how to adjust it. You don't know. And they're not doing your that. Your wheels Brenda. could be spinning. Your wheels could be spinning. You might not know that. No, you would know that, Brenda. No, you, you would wouldn't. Not see it. Yeah. How you would you know that your wheels are spinning? Because you would not see any scenery going by. Right, like I said, on the boat. So how do you know in the ocean? You don't have any frame of reference. Yes, you do. You have right. celestial navigation. Yeah, measure. right. And once you get past the equator, you've lost the the pole star. So this you makes don't it use even just the pole. You just don't use just Polaris. I know that, but that's your anchor point. You can use other objects as yes, but reference. now they're all moving, and you're moving. And you have to know how long you've been traveling. That's why they needed a coronagraph. And how much yes. they've moved in that period of time. Yes, that's so why they needed a coronagraph. So you're estimating, Brenda. You're estimating. This that's is why fine. Southern, this is why Southern navigation was a problem for so long. Yes, I know that. Mm -hmm. Well, it doesn't then matter, what the fuck though. are it you talking about? You so it's not measured, dumbass. It's it fucking still calculated. Because we do have coronagraphs. We've got what? Coronagraphs. Chronographs. We've got watches. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. They need so are they physically measuring the distance or are they calculating it? They're calculating it. Based and it's on... not a physical fucking measurement. You moron. It, it absolutely is. No, why does this why does Brenda keep saying coronagraph and not chronograph? Chronograph? It's not a coronagraph. It's not you a big deal. You can't even say dude. the word right, you fucking moron. I just wanted it, to get that in. It's not a big in. deal. Just don't you worry about it. You said it wrong five times. Chrono from Greek. The show. Chrono. Yeah, just don't worry Chrono. about it. It's not a big deal. Don't worry about it. I just don't know the words I'm using. Yeah, you and just I, don't I, get your I panties in a bunch over it, little girl. It, it's called a chronograph. and it's It doesn't matter. Greek. Chronograph. It does. No, a corona is a crown. It's a chronograph. So it's a graph. Wait. scenes that Brendan shoots into his ass. Nobody Hold cares. On. It's not a big Listen, deal. So you're it, you have a graph that measures crowns. I didn't say crown. You, you said corona graph. Corona yeah. means crown. Whatever. It's not a big deal, dude. Oh, it is. Chrono. It is a big deal. There's dude, you were playing semantics it's not a big over deal. geocentric. It's a big deal for little minds. Wait little a minds, second. You're Hold on. About you don't idiot. think that there's a difference between time and a crown? It's a chronograph. Chrono. You still said it wrong. Do you have a speech matter. or a learning disability? How people pronounce words isn't the big deal. Oh my god! Absolutely you're not pronouncing it wrong. You're saying it, doesn't it wrong. Care. It Stop doesn't matter. To save face. It's a chronograph. You're a moron. It's a chronograph. Thank you. So now you can Thank say you. it right. Whatever. It doesn't now matter. Now that you've been corrected and called out, now you can finally say it right. Oh, you tiny little man! You got your tiny <laughs> little win, didn't you? You tiny little man. You got we've your been tiny little this, win. We've been winning this whole time. Oh, You've denied my. basic definitions of no. basic words this entire time. From the geocentrism, is, from calculation, from estimation, 
your map is wrong. Oh my god, your that whole life style is wrong. This. You make me fucking cringe. You said to look at the uh, the biblical cosmological um, side projection from the top down, and I pointed out that that map is wrong. You've got it all wrong. It's not the map of the Earth. Our map is correct. What map is that? The globe. Globe's not a map, you <laughs> moron. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Nobody's got a fucking globe in their glove box. They're not using a globe on the bridge of a fucking ship. There's no globe in the cockpit of a fucking airliner. It, it you are is. stupid. You are do. literally they, they fucking Brenda drives around in his imaginary right. car holding a globe, navigating to his uh to right. his, you know, it's, it's literally <laughs> mathematically projected on onto either oh, the flat screen. Oh, shut the fuck up. You're so it's, full of shit. Your eyes are projected brown, onto Brenda. the flat screen uh, of your computer right. or on you know your computer. Do you know why Brenda never got anywhere in life? Hey, your mic is navigating with a fucking globe. You're blowing out. You know, try to, you know, I, I know you want to. You want Look to at the chat. Brenda. They love me stinky, and they stinky, hate you. Stinky Cash, your microphone's breaking up really bad. It's like uh, bleeding That's because he's deep. That's because he's deep throating the mic. Maybe he's getting excited. Oh, 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 oh. Why do you always go to that sick kind of fucking shit? Oh, right like now? you haven't. Holy shit. <laughs> That's what you do, man. Like That's you all haven't. you're about. You're just, like your you fucking haven't. mind is, your mind is just oh, yeah. trapped that, that, in your that's fucking all me. drawing. It's not you. Your mind yeah, you're is a trapped in your drawing, so the globe, dude. So the globe is an accurate representation. No, it isn't. A map. Why does it say on the bottom of it that, uh, and I've got one. It fucking says it's not for uh, education. It's for uh, decoration purposes. You think that those are the only fucking globe main made, you fucking dude, moron? Dude, it, this is this. This came from in a fucking. You think school. that those were the only globes ever made, you fucking well, you moron? Got one that's, you got one that's not. Can you show yeah, me there, one that's there's, not? there's some that are made that are Where? that are more accurate. Where? Where? Just Google it. Google it. Yeah, sure. Just Google, now, just it. Google, 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 Google it. Just Google Google it. Google Earth. Google, 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 that ah, uh, dude, we enjoyed that so much because Google's yeah. like your god, man. You appeal to authority. Yeah. Just Google it. It's a, answers. it's a, it's a repository of a, a, of a lot of good information. It's a yeah. billion it's a dollar corporation, shit, too. It's a repository, all right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he can you say repository. He can say repository correctly, but he can't yeah, say I chronograph. Know that. I don't know nothing about no chronographs. It measures how much coronavirus you have in your blood. So is now it? that I've humiliated you and shown that your <laughs> your model of the of the flat Earth is wrong, I don't feel humiliated at all. I know I'm so embarrassed. My God, ouch! What Jeez. projection? What absolute projection? <laughs> Where's your prediction? Where's your prediction of the upcoming solar eclipse? What I predict our model predicts it perfectly. Eclipse, I predict that the solar eclipse is going to pass through Ohio, and I'm going to be in Springfield, Ohio, and it does on the 8th of April. There, how you like that? And I didn't even use the same on what? Fucking network. Based on that's why everybody's going there. Based on the <laughs> Soros cycle. Yep. Based on the, the Soros cycle, cycle is not used to predict eclipses. Yes, it, it absolutely is, is for is. thousands of years. It's not a it prediction, really anyways, you retard. It's a post diction. You do you understand pattern recognition? No. <laughs> do you know that predicting eclipses is simply observations and pattern recognition? It's basic mathematics. It's not eclipses based on any, it's not based on a helios. Never repeat themselves. Oh my god! Oh my god! They do. They're on a pattern. You fucking. They actually god. aren't. They're, they never repeat. What's up, Moon Bounce? Hey, <laughs> man! I have to come up here and balance the show out. Yeah, right. I hope y'all don't like hate me for it, but I have to balance the show out because, man, I've been listening. And it's like, man, come on! I mean, I like don't agree with Brenda a whole lot, but I gotta like. You know, you claim that um, 
mockery makes the world go round. But man, all I keep hearing is retard, stupid, moron. I got to tell you, man, this thing has come on here hostile, threatened uh, the channel, acted like a complete asshole every time that it's here. And I don't um, have to that's because of, uh, I give as good you know? as I get. When when you are, um, uh, that's how you start right out. Right now, that's how you start right out on the muscle. No, man. I didn't. I didn't start off that way. Right off on the muscle. No, I I didn't. No, when you're disrespectful, then I am. If you if you would like grow up, maybe a little bit. Well, you know, if I, you would actually would say forgot. something, maybe. everybody's grown up. Everybody's grown up. Let's just understand. Oh, everybody's like grown up. Understand that. Can't we? It's like that Rodney King thing, man. Can't we all get along? There's too much well, name calling. There's too much retardism. Too much morons. If that's the only way people can get their point across, is to call the other person a moron, a retard. You know, I'm sorry if you've explained something so simple to somebody four or five fucking times, and they're still, oh. oh. And it's like, holy shit, there's only one. Sob, sob. I have to do yeah. that to my 90-year-old mom, but I don't call her a retard. I have to do that to my 90-year-old mother, but I do not call her a retard. Your 90-year-old mother is sincere. Brenda well, it is sounds not. sounds like you're getting called out there, Dave. It sounds like you're getting called out, Dave. Okay, Brenda. No, it don't sound like nothing. It's just, man, like, man, it's like. What is going on? Well, when Dave and Don were on Jaronism, uh, the people in the chat were claiming that they were making Flat Earth look bad. Oh man, that's, that's what the people, that's what the Flat Earthers were saying. Well, that's so not, I would think that you would want feedback. That's not the feedback that I got from just watch people, it. But I've literally been reading the chat the whole time, and everybody's laughing. I'm not at you, talking Brenda. about this place. I'm talking about on Jaron's the other day. Uh, he's, right? he, first you thing, know, hey, so I think Dave that smoked you all the other day. Want to just what, what make a little the, bit of what was, to be the what was, uh, what, Can you point to something that I had said or whatever in that debate that would have made Flat Earth look bad? Well, the fact that you didn't bring in any evidence. I did. You were asked for evidence and you didn't bring it. I any. did. I no, did. Absolutely. Where's your measurement? Here's my. Here's my evidence. Where's your My measurement? evidence is that your globe is bullshit, and I can prove that it's bullshit. That's all I have that's to do. That's not evidence. Oh, yes, it is. No, when it you, you cannot, don't know anything. Brenda? The globe is the plot positive claim. That's no, uh, uh, it's not Yo -ho. evidence, Dave. Yo -ho. Dave, no, uh, -uh is not evidence. No, you're the one with the no, uh, -uh. <laughs> you're no. the one with the positive claim. You have a positive Both. claim of a globular like earth with a specific right. fucking size, a specific speed of rotation. A you have a positive claim. Too. Shut up, Brenda. I'm fucking talking. You <laughs> have a positive. Shut up, Brenda. I'm fucking talking. Okay. So your positive claim with specific dimensions and speeds no i don't see that i don't experience don't that care. i've never observed it therefore you have this positive claim which incorporates physical impossibilities right no, you from can't show that truth. yes i can dave you yes, have a positive claim yes you have a positive i can claim. i can i can dave, show you're not that. listening Dave, you're what? not listening. You have a positive claim. No, I don't. You, yes, you do. What, you claim the earth is flat. Claim? It's observably so. It's an observation. No, that's, that's a claim. That's, that's a an claim. That, that's an observation. It's No, it's a claim. That's an observation. No, it isn't. It's a claim. Yes, it is. You're telling me that I look and out and I don't see a level. It's the default claim? position, even if There's you believe no in default. the globe. Yes, There's because no of relativity. Position. Because of relativity, you're basically saying that even though the Earth's a globe and it's spinning and orbiting and tilting and wobbling, it feels flat and stationary. So it is the default position no. that the Earth is flat and stationary. You no, need no. to claim rotundity. You need to claim five different motions, no. and you can't do it. The default hey, position stinky. is you don't know. It, the default position is you don't know. You claim to know that it's flat. I observe a level stationary plane. You have specific claims of a globular earth with a specific diameter, a specific rotation, a specific orbit, 
specific distances, that is a positive claim that goes against my observed reality and my experiences. That's called therefore that is called a positive claim, Brenda. Yes. And if it, you claim yes, that the earth is flat, I am claiming that claim. the earth is what I observe. You That's claim that it is not question. as I observe. No, you it's claim that it is fallacy. not as I observe. Hey, it's so a logical fallacy. No, so let me ask Brenda. Brenda, Literally. have you observed the Earth spinning at a thousand miles an hour? Have you observed all the stuff that you're claiming actually exists? Have you observed it with your own mind, with your own eyes, with your own heart? Have you observed it? Yeah, I don't have an impoverished epistemology like you do. Okay, so that wasn't the question. Ha that was the gayest mind. answer I've ever heard. Have you ever observed the Earth spinning, or that, uh, or any of this? In anything? Uh, I, I don't. Than... Again, I don't have the impoverished epistemology that you have. So I... then, you have never observed what you claim to be true. Thank you. I That's know. I, I know for. that. I no, know. no. You are told this, but you I'm don't observe you. it. I'm going to tell you something. I know that. The Eiffel Tower is in Paris, France, and I've never been there, but I can know it. Well, I'll verify it for you. I've been there, and it is there. That's not verifying it for me. Well, That's yeah. called a false equivalency fallacy. No, it isn't. Yes, because people have been there. People have seen it, unfortunately. And How common you know folk, that? not just you... flying Freemason wizards, actual well, everyday people have seen yeah, Of course. Based on your epistemology, you can't say that. Oh my God! Unless there was a lot there, of people you there, can't know it, right? I gotta say, there was a lot of people there. Thousands of people see it every day. Have you ever for, been there, for... Stinky? Have you ever been to Paris, France? My parents have. So you haven't. My friends, you haven't. Thousands of people go there every day. So have, you do, do thousands Brenda, of people see the curve wait, 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 of the earth you every haven't. day? The Eiffel Tower. So what's the so measure? Brenda, the measure, Brenda, is, you you're making it? a false equivalency, which is a Brenda, logical fallacy. Concede. No, so you, you haven't been there, my so point. you can't you, know. Hold on. You just proved my point. Is that the only way that you really know this is because you were told this. No, we'll I'm not arguing. That. No, wait a second. Wait, no, 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 no. I'm, Dave, I'm still going. That was I'm, an internal I'm critique. My point. So we you only know, know you only know the Earth is a globe because you were told this. It's not because you observed it. That's false. It's not because oh, so you observed this. Where did when did you observe this? Uh, I don't have to observe things to know things. Well, wait a second. So who did observe it? Who did observe it? That's what I'm wondering. Uh, other people have. What Thousands people? of average people observe the curvature and motion of the Earth every single day, just like the Eiffel Tower. Um, other people have made observations. Right? Who? So your I was what I was doing. Who was, has what, left what, Earth to see the Earth? What I was doing was is what's called an internal critique. When you said, <laughs> when you said, <laughs> listen, listen. You, you need an internal to, critique, bro. You need to look internally bad, bad bro. Laugh too. Yes. When you said that you knew where that that the Eiffel Tower is in Paris, France, and you hadn't done it yourself. According to your own logic, no, you can't no, say that's that. a straw man. That's not and a, a false man. equivalency. Sure, it is. Yes, it is. Well, well, even if it didn't exist, and I'd only heard about it, I know that it could possibly exist because we build structures on the ground all the time. So it's not out of the realm of possibility at all. However, that's when it comes to the claim to of the globular fallacy. Earth, Brenda, again, when my mouth is talking, yours isn't. Okay. So we know that that's not out of the realm of possibility, even that if I'm mean it's real. It. Okay. All right. That even make if it's real. not, it's not impossible, is it? That doesn't make it real. Wait that's a second, Brenda. It's, it's, it does, I didn't ask you that. Yeah, so it's even an appeal if it to possibility real, fallacy. Even if it weren't real, it's absolutely possible because we know we have other structures that reach up into the sky. People see them all the time. There are various different shapes and architectural designs. Now, that being aside, as I was saying, you were told that the Earth is a globe and you believed it, okay? No, that's without not ever why I observe it. it without without any of your own observational experiences, 
telling you, yeah, I think I'm on a globe. Hey, that's exactly what they're saying. So, hey, I was right. No, no that's not that why was not it. your idea. It was given to you. No, it but wasn't. it goes against the observed reality that every person has. Well, the that's observed false. reality is that All we that feel no, the observed reality is that we feel no motion. Okay, that doesn't mean and it's not we moving. seem to have this vestibular system that reacts yeah, that to this mean thing it's not called moving. level. It, it reacts to this thing yeah, called level, level. means conforming okay. to the curvature well, of the Earth. <laughs> no, it doesn't say that. It and literally I can, does. I can no, say it again, bring Brenda. Up, it, it literally again? does. I can literally bring no, up the dictionary. It says that conforming. It, it says conforming to the surface of water on the Earth. Yes. Okay. Level means that curve. Doesn't say okay, curve. Let have it. Level it means curve. Say curve. Yeah. So get off of that shit right it, to start it, with. All right. Yeah. It, so the before you start entry literally says out, conforming Brenda, to the curve. Before you start of the freaking Earth. out. Before you start freaking out. I'm not finished. Right. So we we have this vestibular system. We experience a level Earth. We experience no motion. That's and all begging the question. Blame uh, you're losing your mind again. Can you think <laughs> you probably just hold on to your fucking shit for just a minute? Well, stop saying stupid shit. It's my show. I'll say whatever the fuck I want to, whether you yeah, like it or it's not. Stupid, then. It's well, stupid. I don't give a fuck about your opinion. You yeah, wear stop dresses. Stop begging the question. Stop you begging the question. You wear dresses. You're a man in a dress, and I'm worried about what your yeah. fucking opinion is. Yeah, stop give begging the question. Somebody has lost too many debates to Witsit and finally learned about logical facts. I humiliated Witsit. No, you didn't. He oh, humili no, humiliates you on a nightly really basis. Stop begging the question. Stop begging yourself. the question. I'm glad you've been watching him, though. You finally learned something. Jesus, criminally. So, right? in the as I've been trying to point out, the claim of a globe Earth goes against observable reality. Well, prove and it. Therefore, it has been told to you. Well, that's what you, you say. Did not that's not true. know this. You I were do know told it. this. How do you I know do. this? I do know it. How? Because it's logically consistent and reliable. Why is it logical? Why is it logical? To be it's a logically ball. consistent, consistent to what? To uh, to itself, to itself. That's the stupid. models. That's a, don't explain that. What you just said. It's it. Explain that dumb fucking statement you just said. Right. The models that we use to describe the Earth, we're not in a logically, model. are logically consistent and correspond to to the actual true measurements that we make. You don't have and measurements. Make, We've already been over yeah, we that. Do. No, yeah. you don't. Now you can you can no, deny. You don't. That what is the is the else your, hey, Brenda. Where'd you get the where'd the R value come from, Brenda? Uh, oh. people people uh, can make have been making measurements of the radius of the earth for thousands How? of Where years. Where are you getting the R value from? How do you measure the distance to Polaris? One question at a time. Yeah, let, okay, right? but I've been trying to get a word in for a while. The, I well, want to know where you got about it. it. Talk Where did you get the it. fucking radius of Earth from? From measurements. You measure what the measurement? curvature of the Earth. What, what, how do you measure a curvature? You do geodetic surveying. You can oh, so you count. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on a minute. So they did geodetic surveying to determine the Earth was a globe. I thought there was some guy with his fucking wells or some shit. Yeah, that was uh, 2,500 years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But okay, so... But so, but he went into this already with the presupposition of a of a sphere without any experience of one. He already went into this. Well, the whole he already thing had here, right? good. Re he already had good reason to believe. Why would he have good sphere? reason for that? Uh, because of the arguments of Aristotle and the observations of Aristotle. Yeah, but uh, there again, it was just an argument. Nobody had any observations. Yeah, of that's, that gives you arguments. Give you reasons to believe things. What? What? Uh, you know, somebody saying something is not evidence of no. fucking shit. Uh, an argument isn't just somebody saying something. It's it an argument. is, obviously. No, it obviously isn't. it is. It is it isn't because, just... because he was postulating something that went against observable reality. All right, can I no, cut his, in? His arguments were can based I cut on in? Yeah, let, let, Moon get, let Moon get a second. Can I cut in? Yes. It doesn't give you a reason to believe. It only gives you a reason to consider. That's it. That's all it does. No, that's not, that's not true. Arguments, if they're 
if they're well formed and and sound. Yeah, but you're claiming they're well formed. They yeah, only they give you a reason to consider, yeah, not so a reason to believe. No, good arguments give you reasons to believe. And you, but you're claiming it's a good argument. How yes, do you yes. claim it's a good argument? What uh, do you get to claim it's a good because based, argument? Because based on the premises, I can see that it, that the argument follows. What was the premise, and what were the points that were that made it so? Well, um, uh, Aristotle said that based on observations, right? They observed uh, lunar eclipses, and they observed the Earth's shadow on the Moon oh, over assume. many years. Just, to, just wait, Earth shadow. just wait, just wait. They, er, er, they observed Earth's shadow over many years, and they reasoned it was always curved. And the only shape that is always curved from every angle is a sphere. Therefore, it's likely that the Earth was a sphere. My turn. You had to assume that that was the Earth's. First of all, you had to assume it was a shadow crossing the lunar surface. Then you no, had to you assume. You can just that, see that it's a shadow. No, it, no, it could be a lot of things. <laughs> you you're assuming it's, it's a shadow. A you're assuming it's a shadow cast by an, an object. Then you're assuming it's a shadow cast by the Earth. So there's two assumptions yeah, there's built no, in there's there. There's nothing else in the sky. <sighs> you're assuming the Earth is in the sky. The moon is in the sky, so so is the Earth. No. The yes. Earth is not in this. The Earth, by by everything, the Earth is the Earth. It's absolutely not in the sky. There's a distance. The, the sky the is Earth the opposite and... of the Earth. There's distance between the Earth. Listen, and the moon, I right? know, I know. You believed level is curved, up is down, right. stationary That's is space, motion, male is female, Jew is Greek. I get it. You, you you believe in a bunch of nonsense. I get it. Right. So there's distance between the Earth and the Moon. That's space. How do you measure the distance? Uh, well, today we can measure it. You can use radio waves. You can right. ham radio operators can bounce. But, take, but, 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 but no, but, but, but no, but how would they have done it when it matters long before the, the radio waves? They would have had to make a measurement. How'd they do it? Well, you can use um, uh, take two different tape measures from right? different places. Right and and make trigonometric observations and no. calculate it from there. No. Calculate, cal yes. Calculated, not yes. Measured. If you calculate something, you know it. No. Yes. No. Yes. Calculations give you knowledge. The calculations actually say the Earth, the Moon is much smaller and much closer than what any nonsense. Okay, show me the calculations. You won't be able to, because you're a clown. Because I'm on an iPhone and I, I, there's no way for me to actually show you. Just verbally, just verbalize it. How know? can I verbi verbalate it? What is you that? What you said? Verb verbalate? Did I you just say verbalate? It. Verbalate it. Yeah. yeah. Did Go you ahead. just say verbalate? I said verbalize. So run away, run away, little man, oh run away. You're such a fucking child, Brenda. Run away. You really are. I can't believe you're actually. Brothers, you they said, used a sextant to calculate the you're distance of the moon. You're 66 years old and you, you act. Said calculations, you said calculations show the moon is a lot, lot closer. Go ahead. Show me those calculations. Do you realize they're, they're, they're out there, are, dude? The, the internet. Use, use Google. It's You show love me. Google. But you love Google. Well, I Google can't, I can't Google it for you. I can't Google, send you a link. I can't Google it for you. I can't do your research for you. I know Eric hmm. DeBay's got the information on the internet for over 10 years. Uh, so it's just a fucking YouTube video. That's what all you've oh got. Oh, my God. Right? Brenda, you are such a child. The YouTube video I cannot is believe You're intellectually you. dishonest. I you don't just lie to other man. people, but you lie to yourself. Bro. I can't believe that you're yeah, a it's grown just a YouTube man. Video. What does that mean? That a doesn't grown mean anything. man, 66 years old, acts yeah. as childish as right. you So do. you've got nothing. So, so far, you've got nothing. You've got everything, I Brenda. You, you, you don't even rule. own a car. Talk you about suck nothing. and we rule, dude. That's how it really is. No, you don't. Yeah, we do. We rule. No, you don't. Three awesome you humiliated dudes up flat here earth. And flat weirdo. earthers were humiliated by you, by you oh, and Dawn. Dawn and her and her uh, stolen what did I, power. What did I say that was humiliating? What did I come up with that was humiliating? Wait, well, stop, Dawn, stop, Dawn stop, stop, valor. stop, everyone stop. Did you just accuse Dawn of stolen valor? Yeah, how old is she? I don't know. I don't know how man. old she is. I'm not Dawn. Substantiate, Do you I'm not substantiate that claim. That's a big claim. So substantiate yeah. it. She claimed she claimed that she was in 
some top secret program for 15 years. She's barely 22. You think Dawn's you know 22 old years is? old? I think that's what she said. How old Dawn, she was. Dawn looks at least 45. Are you retarded? She's not 40. She, she Are you really retarded? Young. She looks really young so, then, but she's not 45. No, you, you just age that? terribly. Other people age well. You age terribly. Dawn is in her 40s, clearly. It's because you're evil, Brenda. It's because you're evil. It's It really is. It's because you're an unhappy, miserable person, well, and it's going to age. You got to boot him for that. You can't, you can't allow him to accuse a veteran of stolen valor oh, based yeah, on nothing. Let, let, let him have all the rope he needs, all the rope he needs. Okay, I think it is. But here's the problem, Brenda. I'm not Don. Okay. So now okay. I would like you to tell me what it was that I said that was wrong. I'm not Don. The fact that you didn't bring anything. I didn't. Yeah. You, you didn't mean to bring tell anything. me that you actually can demonstrate a way you were... that a, you mean to tell me that you can show me a, a, a way that a gas such as hydrogen or helium can form together into a mass so huge that its own weight or gravity pulls in on itself. How do you get a mass of gas to form anywhere? That's you pretty were, much something you right were, there. You were, you were tasked with bringing evidence for flat earth and you failed. I was not tasked with any That's such the whole thing. point of it. How no. can, how can uh -huh. any human, how can any human being on earth be so disconnected from reality that they look at Dawn and think she's 22 years old? She looks really young. I, dude, I that, you're a creep. Her. You're a creep if you can't tell the girl's age, dude. That is but weird. She doesn't look 40 Wait a second. She so, absolutely looks like she's in her 40s. She acts no, like she's she in her 40s. Oh my God, you are clueless. As, 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 I was, anyway. as I was trying to say, as I was trying to say before, okay, so you come with this positive claim of a globe, which no, dies. You have a burden. Brenda, 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 if you have to, put your fist in your mouth while I'm you talking. You have a burden. Okay, I'm proof. not done. I'm not. No, I don't. No, yes, I don't. Yes, you do. Your That's why you were fair no, flat earth. Your claim goes against my observed reality. Yeah, okay. there's, there's no and also thing. your claim goes against the science that you scream no, so loudly. Yes, no, it does. What you're doing oh, is called it does. It, the does it does. I will task you with providing me with one single gas law that takes gravity into account. Also, I would task you to show me an instance where a gas will gather together without being contained. None of those okay. have anything that to do with no, 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 no. You want to stop. scream fucking science. Nope. Stop, you want to scream science? You Use your have to on that stop. Shit. Where's your evidence, stop. Dave? Where's it your evidence? Doesn't, stop. It doesn't go against their science. Their science is what they're claiming is their proof is. It doesn't go against their science. So that's the tricky thing is to go, oh, it goes against your science. And it's like, no, it doesn't. See how she... See how quick Brenda goes, no, it doesn't, because their well, science that dictates anyway. that. No, no, there's because the science no is logical science and consistent. Behind, okay, there's no way that you can break these fundamental gas laws, man, ever, ever. So, okay? Right, so you they can't don't show a downward acceleration of air. I don't give a shit about Galileo rolling barrels down an incline. We're talking about a downward barrels. acceleration of air, a downward marbles. force of air. Due to gravity, there is no such thing. You want to point uh, to your denial. Brain. You're just denying science is all I you're am, doing. Really? Well, you tell me the yeah. science behind just tell me the science behind a ball of gas forming without any containment. Go it's ahead. Gravity, dude. Where how does gas have gravity? Show it me gas mass. having everything, gravity. Everything with mass has gravity. Show me gas having gravity. Yeah, I told you. I just told no, you. That's it has a mass. postulation. That's a postulation. I don't no, you believe. Can stop, stop. Show her that same thing as the three um, object law. Show her that thing that if, if the sun is losing so many masses a day, oh, if the hell. sun loses so much mass a day, how does all the planets stay in that orbit? If the sun loses that much mass a day, and and mass is attracted to mass. Show how that everything stays in orbit when the sun is losing that much mass a day. Why wouldn't it? Why wouldn't it, Moon? 
because all of your gravitational fucking numbers change when the mass of the object changes. Yeah, by how much? Well, it doesn't matter. It has to be yep, it precise. Does. Well, it's nonsense to begin with. Here's here's why, Brenda. Because you cannot demonstrate gas having gravity. You cannot demonstrate gas collecting. No, you did not. You cannot demonstrate gas collecting together for any reason than being contained. Go ahead. Yes, I can. The sun is is all hydrogen gas, practically. How how can you form? How does hydrogen form? How does hydrogen gas form into a mass? It forms into a star because of how, gravity. How does it come together? Because of gravity. Has perfect elastic collisions, Brenda. How does it, it matter. form together? Because of gravity. No, there's no gravity in gas. Yes, there is. No, there isn't. Prove that. Sob, sob. It doesn't matter whether she or Brenda claims that <laughs> mass attracts to mass. It's like because of the nuclear furnace. It burns off so much mass per hour. And yeah. if that happens, how does everything stay in orbit? Well, well, why wouldn't it stay in orbit, Moon? What would be the problem, even if, it, if it's moving? It because mass, it mass, mass, and mass attracts mass. And if it loses mass, it loses a tr- attraction. Yes, but how much? You're continuing all the time. A whole, yeah, all, every no, day. I asked for a number. How much? What well, I don't percent? know. That's your story. No, no, that's your claim. You just no, no, no. Claim. It's your story that there's a fucking thing, a ball of gas out there yeah. that's doing this shit. Uh, you can't, you cannot demonstrate any possible way that a gas can come together into a fucking mass to begin with. Um, you because claim of that this mass of gas has uh, a, a a gravity to it, but it's burning up, and the gravity is dependent on the mass. And if yeah. it's burning material, that means that it's losing mass. Yes, and it so is. If it loses mass, our whole orbit is dependent upon a certain mass yeah. of the sun and yes, a certain mass of the earth. And this is what puts us in that perfect little spot that we're at. Yeah. So if this thing is losing attraction day by day by day, year by yeah. year by year by year, it is. our orbit should it be is. coming bigger and bigger all the time. No. Should it? <clears throat> How, what's of your calculation? What's, show me the calculation that shows that the show me the are, calculation that has it where it's at right you just now, made Brenda. The claim. You, you wouldn't know if claim. I showed you the fucking calculation or not. Because show the me the concept, calculation. The whole idea dies on inception. Brenda. No, show me the calculation. Okay, well, after you show me a mass of gas forming together for any reason, it's called the sun. Yeah, that's not a mass of gas, obviously. Yes, it is. It's all. No, it's it virtually all that. hydrogen. It's Prove hydrogen. And it's held there Prove it. by Prove gravity. It. And Prove as, it. as you Prove said, it. and as you said, right, it's losing mass every second. That's yeah. because of your what your story claims. Yes, yes. Okay, we do claim I, don't, that. I don't. That's horseshit. So, well, no, uh, isn't it an argument? Prove to me. Prove, not speculate, not hypothesize. Prove to me that a mass of hydrogen can form together into a mass. Uh, uh, that it can. All I have to do is show you. Prove it. Show it. Show it. Get yeah. a mass of fucking gas that's, and get it to stay together. Get that's a, the sun. We're no, asking no, you no, to no, replicate no, the no, sun. No, no. You, that's your <laughs> claim. That's your claim of the sun. That's what? impossible. Your claim is impossible. You're using. What's you impossible? Understand? What's impossible? You're using the claim to subs- the claim to substantiate the claim. No, I'm not. Completely. Yeah. Sure, you are. No, I'm not. You're saying the sun is a ball of gas. We're telling you to prove a ball of gas can exist. And you're saying, well, the sun exists. Uh, yeah, I'd say that's fucking claim, circular. No, it's not. <laughs> what? Because his 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 claim was that prove to me that a ball of mass can can form. Right. Like in a oh, controlled yeah, experiment, like in a scaled gas. experiment. Gas. Yes. Prove. Yes. You said, show me. A a um a Make mass a ball of gas. Make Show me a, a mass of gas. gas. Give yeah. me a ball of gas. Brenda. Yeah, that's the sun. Show me in a gas. controlled, Brenda. scaled environment. No. Show me, Brenda. Show me. Brenda. Yes. Prove that 
all of that mass getting deleted from the sun keeps everything in orbit over years upon years upon years. Uh, I'm, That's it's not it. our moon. It's not our claim that the mass the sun is losing is what keeps the earth in orbit. That's not our claim. Well, how can it if it's losing mass? What do you think the answer is? If you had to guess, what do you think the what, answer is? It's sucking more hydrogen in or something? What do you think the answer is? Uh, the, the answer is that it's a cockamamie horseshit story. Well, maybe, but what no, do you think? No, not maybe, maybe definitely, because you cannot get yeah. a ball of gas to form under any conditions. But what if, if you're control. wrong, what do you think the real answer is? That is the real answer. It's no, no, you don't know that. Yes, I do. You asked me the question. Okay. Right, and I'm challenging you to... to Think outside of the bat box and imagine what imagine. what conditions imagine what conditions would obtain if it was in fact the case that in spite of I the got it I got it I got it it's dark matter no. it. dark energy <laughs> gravity parallax nope Google that's, that's, th those are all inc Google. incorrect Google. so let Google. me finish Google let me finish Google. With Google. The hypo hypothetical let me finish with the hypothesis. You said the sun loses a lot of mass. How can it keep the earth in orbit? Right. Yeah. And I challenged you to think outside of the box and imagine a way in which the sun could lose a lot of mass and yet still keep the earth in orbit. Dark energy. Can you think of a reason how that would work? Dark energy. Gravity. 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 Refraction. Gravity. Refraction. All wrong. Refract, All wrong. Collect, right? Yeah. Do you want, Gravity would you like me to uh, tell you why? Refractor gravel axe. <laughs> Are you interested in, no, in knowing? No, tell us. Answer? Yeah, sure, tell, tell us. 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 Grab a D's nuts, Brenda. <laughs> the answer is, it's such an infinitesimal uh, percentage of the total mass of the sun that it makes virtually no difference. Okay. But How many I times a, I had a bank account per hour? Let, so, let me, Master, wait, how many wait, tons wait. of the sun get I don't burnt know. off per hour? I so don't know. Me. I don't know. All right. So if I have a thousand dollars in the bank and I spend a penny every day, just a penny, right? That's more than Brenda actually has. So will that bank account diminish in its value if I do that every day? Each day that I spend another penny, does my bank account dwindle down? And it's no longer a thousand dollars anymore, right? Now it's down, say, to nine hundred dollars. We've gone for a while spending so, one penny a day, right? So now we're down to nine hundred dollars. And over the course of maybe ten years now, I've spent a penny a day, and my I, and I'm even less than a thousand dollars. There's going to be a point where that thousand dollars is going to end up being one dollar I, I agree i agree right. there, there will be a point there will be a point at there which the amount of mass lost by the sun will affect it greatly absolutely okay so now what i but need it's not to, now what, what we need to have though in order to have this sun in order to have this condition that you claim we have to have a mass of hydrogen come together now, gas particles having perfect elastic collisions will expand to fill the empty space. They will never collect together no, for no any law. reason. Brenda, no Brenda, that. what makes it not now? The size of the sun does. Yeah, but how, how do you know? In the first place, how does gas collect together well, it seems like you're changing it seems like you're changing the question so the original question was the sun loses so much mass every second i know that's how not can it keep, how can it about. keep the earth in orbit right so we're still on that right and the answer the sun loses 4.7 million tons of mass every single second and yet right. the earth's orbit is not affected and how can that be? It's because the sun is really big. How did it form together in the first place? It's I a mean, different question. Are you? I are know you, it's a different question, right? but it's still. Oh, are you it, conceding? It's, 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 like, it's, 
So Brenda, like no, it's crazy Tracy. because people will go, these nuts are really big, Brenda. These, the sun, these the sun nuts really are really big. big. The you have to really understand, big. you can't go because it's really big. Yes, I because can. Because if it's really big, no, if it's really big, we would be sucked into the sun. No, that's not how it, gravity works. Oh, fuck. It mass is. attracts mass. Yeah, that's why we're in orbit around the sun. All right, so with this mass attracting mass, show me a mass of fucking gas collecting together for any goddamn reason outside of containment, please. If that's this is the, what sun. the whole crux of your fucking argument comes on. The, sun, the sun is impossible because in a void, hydrogen gas particles are not going to ever come together for any well, reason. And if they do come prove together, it. they will collide with one another and go in opposite fucking directions. Uh, they uh, do uh, not collect together because gas molecules are not bonded to one another. Thank uh, you. Unless the gravity is There stronger. is no gravity without the mass. Do you not they understand that? They How do you mass. get the fucking mass to be in a mass in order to have any fucking gravity. You've not proven that gases have any All fucking matter. gravity. It does not have, uh, uh, they're not bonded molecules to one another. Hydrogen molecules are not bonded to one another. They have elastic collisions and they bounce off one another and go in opposite matter. directions. They do it not ever collect together for any reason outside of containment. Well, right, it's because so, I've been trying to get that fucking point across to you yeah, now for 20 just, goddamn minutes, yeah. and you keep going, the sun. Because you're wrong, right? No, so I'm not wrong. All until matter. you can prove me otherwise, until you can show me definitively gases coming together for any That's fucking reason whatsoever, you have an impossible claim. The sun. The sun. That's not an the answer. Sun That's comes a together stupid ass answer. Of gravity. That's a stupid fuck answer. No, that no, that's uh, a stupid isn't a response. Fuck answer. You get point right. to the sun again without yes. demonstrating an instance where you can show me a gas collecting together and staying together that's, for that's any an fucking reason. I will kick you off this fucking panel the next time right. you point to the fucking sun. Well, then don't Jupiter, kick Brenda off. Then Jupiter, or you know, if we can see stars. There again, born, speculation at the story. Cloud. It's a cool story, Brenda. No proof, nothing. Yeah, that's Bullshit. an example. That's an Bullshit. example. You no, asked for an it's, example. It's an example of you making another goddamn claim you cannot substantiate. That's, that's what you asked for. You asked for an example. You I made you all you did was bolster it with another Jupiter, Saturn, un unsubstantiated Neptune, Uranus. Claim. Another those are all gas giants. They're claim. all composed of mostly those gas. Those are all unsubstantiated claims. That's your claim. No, it's unsubstantiated claim. No, we haven't. It's substantiated we, what they're made out of. You don't never done nothing. So stop saying we. Uh, I don't have to do the things. Uh, you don't. You're can. not part of we. Yes, I am okay? part when of we. You say that shit. You say it the right way. Other people have said that because yes. we. You're not part of we. Okay, get that yes, out of your I head. Am. I'm no, part you're of not. Yes, You've I not am. done any of this fucking shit. No, you just you're just crying now. No, when I, have you ever when have you ever detected and analyzed a fucking planet, Brenda? Is this is this you conceding? Have you to ever the analyzed a motherfucking planet, Brenda? Is this you conceding to the former point? Have you ever met? Have you ever? Yeah, I'm going to take this a as a concession. Planet. No, you concession. Brenda, you need to man. stop it. So no. stop he analyzes movie. Uranus every freaking night. Stop this is a concession the, that the, the previous shit. point I was right about. No, That's, you don't have a point. You've not been yeah, right. I just one showed. Time. I just I showed you the reason right why is because the sun is really big. Miserable fucking existence. Wait, 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 wait. Because the sun is wait, really wait. big, and you concede. You're conceding that point. Well, I'm not conceding anything. Brenda's saying the sun is really big. Yes, it's really big. That's it. It's yes. just really yes. big. Yes. Now, Brenda, think about that. What does really big mean? Put it into an equation. Put it, it into a mathematical equation. No, put it into a mathematical equation that proves it's really big enough that it can lose tons and tons of mass and not Stupid. affect the orbit of the planets. Prove it. With a mathemat mathematical equation that not to say it's really big, prove it with a math mathematical equation How that it, it won't affect the, the um, 
the planets that are around it in the solar system. How, how big is the damn thing? The mass of the sun is 4.4 times no. 10 to the 30th pounds. How big is it? What's its diameter? It's something like, I don't know, a million well, miles. Figure it out. You got that mass. Across. You love your math and shit. Take that mass and convert it down you. so that you know the, the diameter. I just fo told you. It's 4.4 well, times 10 to the 30th pounds. When does it have to lose enough mass before it affects the orbit of the planets? In about 5 billion years. Now, come on. Give the equation. Five yeah, about, billion years. In about five billion years, the sun you show will the, expand you show your into math? a red mass. Star. Can you show your mass? Mass is attracted to mass. Yeah, Think about know. that. Mass is attracted to mass. And your claiming is 4.5 billion, billion with a B, is only when it will expand. Well, it will affect the orbit of any planets. Prove that. I said. I said that in about five billion years, right, okay. the sun will have lost enough mass that it will expand into a red giant and it's turn the Earth expand. into a crispy, crispy cinder. Why would it expand? Right, because the internal pressure will will exceed the the um, the downward pressure. Oh my god, downward. Hey, Brenda, downward. Brenda, do downward. you understand? No, wait, wait, wait. Brenda, do you understand those claims that you're making that you think and then when you claim that morons are the flat earthers? Do you understand anything of that those claims and the claims of the flat earthers are somewhere the same that they no, like cancel the out? But they, they cancel out. About? What are you talking that about? You're claiming in five point something million years or something that billion that um, then it affect the uh, orbit of the planets. Like, I'm how saying, do you know that? I'm saying that in five billion years, the sun will expand to the size no, of the Earth's orbit. That. I'm going to hold and, you and to that. If it don't happen, yeah, you just, just happen, hold your breath. Brenda, I'm coming hold back. If it doesn't happen, I'm holding you to that. Yeah, that's great. If it doesn't happen. Can I ask you a question here real quick? How the fuck do you know any of that shit? <laughs> oh, because uh, other people who are smarter than me uh, have figured it out. How do you, you know they're smarter than you? And how do you know they figured it out? Did you check their math? Yeah, no, it's, I, I, it's I, his priest of power. Can, uh, I, Quit thinking that reliable. people are smarter than it. you. Stop talking over. Oh, people. sorry. Sorry, Saul. Yeah, but they're reliable. Brenda, quit thinking that people are smarter than you. Quit thinking that people well, are smarter than you. I don't think everybody is, but I, I just, uh, I'm, I'm humble, and I acknowledge when people are smarter than me. M Mike, so, Mike, MC Tune is smarter than me. Craig, is Austin Mike, Witsit smarter than you? No. You're a fucking liar. Wait a second. You base your intelligence on whose information you regurgitate? Is that what I'm getting here? It sounds no, like that, it. That, that's what you do. It, it sounds exactly MC like it. MC Tune is smarter than Brenda. Absolutely. My dog yes. is smarter than Brenda. That's fine. So <laughs> MC Tune, he has a degree in uh, uh, at, he's electrical engineering or, or computer science or something. Uh, uh, Craig has a degree in nuclear physics. That means I don't. That I, I call bullshit. Brenda, you don't even bullshit. know what MC Tune is smarter than you in. Do you what? understand that you just said that? I'm not what sure what say? MC Tune is smarter than me in. Yes, but he's smarter than me in something. Yes. Yeah, he knows more than I do. So does Craig. So does Sovereign. Just say that. No, Sovereign is, is as dumb as I, they come. Really? Yeah, Boot you em. can't explain to me Boot how... It. You don't understand you, grade wait school. Wait a second. You, you, can't, you, cannot, you cannot demonstrate a gas forming together into a mass. You can't I, I demonstrate you gravity affecting a gas. I've told you, you all these things before. Nothing. You just nothing. Not not you could. 
the, the nothing. And I call bullshit on Craig's nuclear yeah. physics. Just bullshit saying bullshit. Is, you know. Just saying bullshit. Just indicates I'm just you know, it, how low dude, IQ you the are. Dude might have been a mop hand. You know, um, I don't know. He probably was on a nuclear submarine. As far as being yeah. a nuclear physicist, nah. I don't. Was, I'm not buying was it. In, he was in. Um, he was in the Her Majesty's Navy. I don't give a fuck. I was in the United States Army. Does that make me a nuclear yeah, physicist? Yeah, but you swapped. No. With that. You just say you, Her you Majesty's just Navy. Her Aren't you Majesty. American, Brenda? Are you one of those Anglophiles, man? Yo, no. Brenda, aren't you American? Yes. Then why the fuck did you just say Her Majesty's Navy? Isn't that how you would say it? You're a fucking No, I'd, say, I'd call it the British Navy. Whatever. Who cares? Well, I don't never see Her Majesty out there fighting a fucking war. I don't refer to another country's queen as Her Majesty. We should no. fucking tie you from the end of a rope, you fucking traitor. Jesus, stinky. God, God damn it, man. Hold on to your fucking emotions, everybody. Jesus. Well, he's basically, you know, a child. I mean, that's, that's no, all. No, Brenda, you're the last one needs to be doing that. You're like 66 really? going on 12. Really? Come on. You think so? Or you I've you been, literally I've been did spank you that. You're, I've been you spanking your shiny your butt of this whole time. You base, you base your intelligence on the information, the red information cheeks. you regurgitate. And no, this is why you, you continuously do, use we. When you're not part of we, you've made no accomplishments. You've done none of these discoveries. You've done none of these analyzations. You've done no I don't have uh, to. observations or anything. You just glom on to people. You're, you're trying to be smart through proxy is what it is. You rely no, on someone telling you. No, you rely on being told. You're not capable no, of learning. No, no, you're not capable of learning. You're only capable of, of memorization. You can't. You're the one that oh, just yes, goes, nah, I am very everything. capable of learning. Very capable. No, you can't. Very capable. This is why I have a wide variety of skills, Brenda. No, you I don't. I have a wide variety of skills. This is because I do learn things. Okay? I do learn things. And I don't what need to claim? be told things to learn things. You see? You uh, need to be told tells things. You that if you rely you, truth, you rely on your perception of the no, person giving you the information. No, I don't. You give an unwarranted trust How in is it authoritative academia. Okay? How is it now, unwarranted? We just showed earlier how both McToon and uh and FTFE were full of shit tonight. You didn't on show the that whole at thing all. about that. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. No, you didn't. Because we went over how does the Zamboni work, man. We showed how the Zamboni works. And you know what? You know what it uses to level? You know what it uses to level on that ice? You want to know? A, A laser. laser. And that's yeah. the depth, right? That's yeah, the depth, yeah, isn't yeah. it? Laser. Is it, it Yep, lasers on that measures, cold ice with an yeah, object carrying cold water and cold snow. Oh does my it measure god, the depth of the ice does it measure the depth of the ice? Why would you measure the depth of the ice? You don't need to if you've got level, even. you don't need to have le depth to know to make something even. Does the laser on you the you only need to have level? You only need to have. Level. Where's the laser? You, realize that it was, you know, you ever seen a swimming pool get frozen or even a lake get frozen? You notice how the surface of the ice is level, but underneath yeah, of it, level is means conforming not. to the curve. Underneath of it, it's not. Isn't that something? So, what it is under the ice is fuck all to what the condition of the surface of it is, correct? Yes. Uh, very often, yeah, on lakes. Yeah, sure. uh, all the time, all the time. No, the you time. don't know that. No, no, you no. The all, bottom. Did you make the all the conditions of the bottom do not have any effect on the surface? You can't say all the time unless you've yes. personally done all the yes, measurements. I can say all the time. No, I can you can't. confidently. I can. You confidently say that people say, can't know things unless they personally I, measure them. I you haven't personally measured. Confidently, I can no, say you can't. confidently. I guess no, I you can. can't. You I say you can't know that. something unless you first. I know you are, but what am I? I'm Robert Year Glue. Come on, back up to the fucking adult age here, Brenda. I know it's hard for you, right? So you can claim stay is, up a little bit. See if you can rise up just a little bit and not be a child. Try so it. your claim, your claim is that unless you can't know anything unless you personally do it, and you haven't personally that's measured all, 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 all that. That's not what I said at all. I said literally you what you just said. You rely on being told shit. Everything you think you know is sure. stuff you've been told. There's nothing wrong with that. 
Yeah, there is. Absolutely. No, there isn't. Oh, yeah. I'm told so, that I'm told that uh, the, the tower. Listen, the this is how salesmen work. Do you understand how a salesman works? A salesman sells himself, and then he sells the product. You understand? Yeah, yeah. This is why you're caught up in a cult of personality. You're trying to be smart through what proxy. You use the term we constantly, constantly. When you've not really done any of this, only all you've I don't done have is to. read about it. And your perception, That's your standard. That's your not my perception, standard. Your perception of the person that gave you the information is what guides you as to whether or not it's true. Not true. Uh, truly That's looking not at true. the information, so not dissecting the information. You're just you gaslighting. Just go by what someone told you. That's what you do. All you're doing is gaslighting. You've proven that. You've proven you're just that. just gaslighting. Okay. I'm gaslighting. Yeah, that's all you do is gaslight. Yeah, that's it. That's what I'm doing. All right. Yeah. Sure so okay. uh, none of that is true. Uh, you know, okay. I don't yeah, just blindly is. accept what other people tell me. You that's obviously you do. do. You obviously I'm do. I'm beautiful. Wait, you wait. Know, uh, Brenda. Whether it's Brenda. Logical, Brenda. consistent. And Brenda. Logical. Why do you do what you do? And how do you do it? So I do the things I do because an I enjoy unhappy, it. an unhappy, divorced, I'm not unhappy. middle aged. You gaslighted man. again. This is no, just you are. You're very you mid, Brenda, you you're very mid. Mid. You tell other people how they feel. Brenda. That's just gaslighting. Brenda, Brenda, it shows in your looks. You look awful. Nope, that's you. You're that's haggard. your interpretation. You're stop, stop, stop. Please stop berating Brenda. Just yeah, let it out. That's all he does. That's all he does. Because he's no, a child. Why I'm not. You I'm not. This is what Brenda you is all he does is he, no, he, he's Brenda just, is he's just an triggered. evil creature. And he has to defend Brenda himself. is an evil creature. No, okay? I'm just a smarter demonically than you. possessed creature. No, I'm just smarter than you. No, you're a demonically possessed creature, Brenda. No, I just know more than no, you. No, you are a demonically possessed creature. What like makes you like a cat playing with What makes you think you know more? Than everybody else. I don't think I know more than everybody else. You just said I know more than everybody else knows here. That's a lie. I didn't say that. I said I know more than Dave does. No, okay. You know. What makes you think you it's know stinky. more than Dave does? What makes because you know Dave has you demonstrated know? his ignorance because Dave demonstrates his ignorance every time he debates somebody? No, yeah, but what makes what you know? No, 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 wait, wait, no, wait, wait, wait no. Don't bring Dave into it. What makes That's you the, the know? What I originally started with, right? The way no. that I know that I'm I'm I know more than somebody else is if the other person displays their ignorance. What was I ignorant? Well, about how that? do you know they're ignorant? Wait, no, no, no. They no, say no, no he knows they're ignorant because they display their ignorance. It's another no. circular argument. Yeah, yeah. No, it's not circular. That's Holy that's you gaslighting God. again. That's what you did telling I say me what my argument is. Brenda, you can't tell me. Brenda, what did I say that was ignorant? Well, you don't understand any of the physical laws. You don't understand. I don't. Gravity. What physical you law don't, don't I understand? What physical law don't I understand? Uh, Newton's first law, for one. For, really? Okay. What don't I understand about that? Uh, do objects uh, continue to move unless they are acted upon by force or not? No. No. Yeah, that's your ignorance. Yeah. No. That's that's a postulation. There's no proof. Another postulation. Wait, I have that's some, that's wait, a law. Wait, Dave, that's a law. Dave, it's let an me observation interject. that's observed always. Let me interject. Oh, oh, let oh, me interject. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Then please let me interject. interject. Please, please. Please, please. 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 Please let me interject. No, she I'm not said. going to let you interject. God damn it. So if what you say is true. I'll bring you back up in a minute, Moon. But if what you say is true, then that means that the gas would fly out into space. The particles, there's nothing acting upon them. You've not, you're not given any demonstrable evidence of gravity affecting gas particles at all. So based on what you're saying, those gas particles will continue out into space. Uh, if gravity didn't exist, you would be right. But gravity no, does exist. No, no, you haven't proven gravity. And you yes, certainly have. haven't proven Humans gravity have for, affecting for a gas. Years. You have not proven gravity affecting a gas. Yeah, that's just all. more displays of your ignorance. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. Pro then where's your proof of gravity affecting a gas? Galileo demonstrated that there's... No, you're not. Rolling. Rolling, are barrels gas, Brenda? He didn't roll barrels. Are, well, whatever he rolled. Did he roll gas down a hill? He rolled, I don't know what it was. Maybe it was Was glass. it gas? 
Dave, just let me finish. Was it yes? Dave, when you ask a question, let me finish. Uh, I don't know what they were. No answer. Did he roll fucking gas down an incline or not? No, of course not. Okay, then what the fuck has that got to do with what we're talking about? He rolled uh, different masses down an incline. I don't give a fuck what he rolled down a hill. Did he roll air down the hill? No, he didn't. Okay, so he didn't roll air down the hill. So that's out. We're not talking about fucking that's objects wrong. That's that not are heavier out. than air, are that's we? Not We're not talking because... about objects heavier than air, are we? We're talking about the air itself. Can you demonstrate or prove a downward acceleration of air due to gravity or show gravity affecting yeah. a gas in any way? Yes. Okay, yes. go ahead. Yes. You take a scuba canister and you put it on a scale and it will have weight. It's contained. It's, 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 doesn't it's matter. A, it, yes, it does. Yes, it does. This is matter. you being. This is you just being ignorant again. If the if the pressure inside the tank is the same as outside the tank, what will it weigh? Uh, it will. You'll just be weighing the the weight of the canister. Okay. There the you go. Tank. Oh man! So right. no downward acceleration of air. No, that doesn't follow logically. Sure, it does. No, it doesn't. It absolutely does. Absolutely, it doesn't. It right? does. Can you so show tank, an outward acceleration of air? You can't the have a the tank. If, Brenda, 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 if you, do you not understand, you cannot have a volume of air outside of containment. That's you. You need to prove no, that. No, that's reality. No, it, no, you. That's yeah. your claim. No, prove that's it. reality, Brenda. No, that's your claim. Prove it. Okay. Well. Um. Uh, yeah, you can't. Dirt, yeah, dirt, I can. Dirt, 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 I don't dirt, have dirt. to prove a negative, by the way, Brenda. I don't have to prove a negative. You claim that a physical impossibility is possible. It's you have to demonstrate impossible. this. Demonstrate a downward acceleration of air due to gravity. I just did. No, you, you didn't. You told me you about Galileo dropping fucking... No, you have to have a contained volume, don't you? You have to have a container for water to weigh it on a scale, too. That doesn't there mean... There you go. There you that go. Doesn't, that there doesn't you mean go. That exactly. Water. Now that brings us to the problem of the tides. You're treating it as though the molecules so are bonded. That shows that they have weight. Not. That doesn't shows that they have weight. Only in a contained volume. That doesn't under, show that. Under, under pressure. That's false. No, it's not. It, it's literally false. You just explained that. Right. So the you fact just explain it. So now if I have an object on a scale, so you can inside, bully you can bully your way, but that's not going to change inside anything, of a vacuum chamber. So you can bully you can bully you can bully your way, but that's not going to change anything. Yeah, the fact it is which is everything. It shows if that I, if I have a cup, is, your claim is bahui. That's what it claims. If I have a cup, means. if I have a cup and I pour water into it, that mm-hmm. shows that water has weight. Uh, right. That that amount of water, a volume yes. of water, yeah. And if I have that same cup, and I can pour a very heavy gas into it, and I can do oh. that, and it will show weight. Oh, Lord. is it a contained volume though, right? Yeah. So what you have to demonstrate though is a downward acceleration of the air that we're in. Do you have a downward acceleration of this air? Can you show That's it? That's the definition of weight. Weight is the acceleration due wait, to gravity. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. So can you show me where there's a downward force of air on us? I just did. No, there's not. I, I don't measure this downward force of air out here. Where is that? Oh, uh, That's air pressure. No. That air pressure is due to displacement, my friend, not nope. due to weight. That's that's more of your ignorance showing. No, it's not. Placement no, isn't it's the not. Force. So a barometer will work sideways. It'll work on its back. It won't. No, the traditional yes. barometer won't. Yes, they, because displacement, it, it's based on displacement of the medium. Displacement isn't a force. Displacement of the medium it's is not the a pressure. Force. And you we not have a approximately, yes, displacement is a force. No, it isn't. It's a volume. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, yes, it is. Displacement is a volume. Oh, not yes, a force. it is. Oh, yes, it is, Brenda. If you have a full tub of water and you step into that tub, something forces that water to come out of the yeah. tub. Your, what your, is your, it body, out? your ah, body applied a force to it. Displacement. Yeah, displacement, the displacement is not a placement of the water by your body caused the water to yield to your body. And guess what? 
it exerted pressure against your body as well, too, because that water wants yeah, to be pressure where is your a body force, is but at. Displacement that, is not that, a force. Water it's wants to be where your body is at, you see. Children's and grade so school the 14, level science. The 14.7 pounds per square inch of air pressure, which is not a constant, I might add. It's no, approximately, it's it, it changes daily. It changes all the time throughout yes, the day. Yes, it proves gravity. Okay, wait a second. So the 14 whatever PSI is the pounds per square inch that you're feeling due to displacement. This is on no, every square inch of your body. It is not a downward force of air. No, Otherwise, all you feel pressure. more pressure laying down than you it's, do standing up. No, that's so, it's atmospheric pressure. It's pressure. It's not. A, yeah. What is Atmos I, made from? There's no such thing as Atmos. There it's isn't words that you made up, isn't it? There is atmospheric pressure. The atmospheric okay. What pressure. what is what is the atmosphere made of? It's gases. Gases. Okay. Shut the fuck up now. You just proved my Why? point. You got pedantic over atmospheric pressure and gas point. pressure. And if the goddamn atmosphere no, is made atmospheric of gas, it's a goddamn gas, gas pressure. pressure, isn't it? No, it's not the same. Yes, it is. Because it has so, a different cause. Oh, is it? Yes, it has a different it cause. It's a different cause. Atmospheric well, pressure is caused. Weight? Where's the downward weight I'm supposed to feel from the air then? It's all around you. It's all around me? How can I feel weight sideways? Um. The, it's all around you. It's pressing on your top of your head, on the sides, all around you. Yeah, just because I'm displacing it. It wants to be where my body is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's displacement. It's not gravity. It's displacement, displacement is not a force. It's Obviously, a it is. Then what, forced, no, it then what forced the water out of the tub? Um, your body did. Why would what did my body do to the water to cause it to go it's out? Because, because the water and your I body displaced it. The water in your body because can't. Because I occupy. displaced it. So when you ask questions, you fucking child, let the other person talk. You, you just explained child. with a million words what I just said with one. No, I it's, displaced it's because your the body medium. and the water can't occupy the same points. So the water had to go to child. another point, which means it was displaced. In other words, moved That's, from one location to another. And the, not a force. So the displacement is what forced the water to go out. No, it is yes. it's not a force. It's not. Well, what right. was what was the force that made the water go out then? The size of your body, the volume of your body. Right. Right. It forced mm -hmm. the air. It forced the water to move aside it. because because. Water and your body can't occupy the same place. So I displaced the water. Yes. Right. So the force you was applied displacement. a force. You applied a force. My to it. displacement of you the water. Kinetic my energy. My displacement to it. of the water forced it out of the tub. Very good. You, because you are a solid, right? So therefore, right. you your body mm -hmm. exerted a force on the water. Right. Displacement. No, displacement isn't a force. Of course it is. Obviously no, it is because without my body present where that water would be, it wouldn't have been displaced and it wouldn't have moved. That's affirming right? the consequence. So then when it moves, that's not a, that's not was because do you know what the word displace means? That's that's affirming the consequence. Do you know what the word fallacy. displace means? Do you know what the word means? Right? It means that something has been moved out of the way. It means it from one place to yeah. another. That right. There was a right. force applied to it, but right. displacement is not what a force. force. What was the force? Um, in the case of your body, it's probably just the intermolecular forces of your body holding it together, preventing the water from occupying the same place that your body is at. So I displaced the water. Yes. Yes. Yeah. You applied a what force to said. the water. What I just said. No, no, you claim yes. that displacement is a force. It's not. Well, then what was the force that caused the I water? I just to told move? you, you fucking moron. I displaced it with my no. body. I yes, just told you, you just what it was. described displacement. It's the intermolecular forces. Words. Those All are not displacement. molecular forces. You Shut the fuck up. Now you're making shit up, Brenda. Stop it. It's the intermolecular forces that the hold your body together. Intermolecular forces. Digress, please. Yeah. 
those are please those are, break that down bonds. intermolecular forces please explain yes. that to me yes your body is held together by um intermolecular bonds chemical mm -hmm. bonds mm -hmm. that's how it holds you together i understand that so what what's yeah. that th th so that's what made the water move uh yes because they don't permit the water to uh, take the same point in space that you're occupying so i had to displace the water that's right that's right well, you applied that's what a force I just said. So that, that force. Would, so displacement was the force, wasn't no, it? No, that's not that doesn't follow. Displacement is the does. force. Of course the it force does. Is the, inter, the force is the intermolecular you bonds. Just you got fucking done moron. Saying, Brenda, that by me displacing the water force. Are intermolecular water. bonds displacement? No, they're not. No, they're just what prevents yeah, intermolecular from bonds mixing are not. With, yes, you just admitted that displacement is not a force. You admitted that the no, intermolecular bonds are the force on Brenda, the water. Brenda, you're losing your mind here, honey. Get a grip. Really? A grip. Yeah. I'm Get the one. Yes. I'm the one. Get a grip. So you yeah. just said, because of my molecular bonds, makes yes. me a solid object yes. that won't mix with the water. Yes. And so therefore, my presence in the water displaced the water. Yes. Okay, yes. thank you. That's and exactly what I said. displacement is not a force. That's, displacement well, is then, not what the was force. The, what was the force? The, the bonds, the chemical bonds. No, no. Yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes. No, how, how, how? Cry harder, cry harder, how? just go no. -uh. Oh, Brenda, Brenda, you're full of shit because you're, you I, know it's displacement. You don't want to admit it's displacement and you keep saying displacement, just getting more stupid with it. Explaining why I displace the water. Yeah. That's not an answer. Yes, it is. That's not a force. The things that yes, hold me is. together is not a force that the, makes the, bonds, the water go out. It's the my chemical bonds are literally of force. The water, Brenda. The Brenda chemical you're bonds. Stupid. You're wrong. Well, the chemical again. bonds that hold you're your wrong, body together again. is literally wrong, a force. Wrong. Wrong. One hundred percent wrong. No, the chemical no, bonds are, are literally a force. One hundred percent wrong. When you Brenda. break those bonds, Brenda, energy Brenda, is it, you displace the water. Okay, yes, you're wrong. You do displace I've the grown water. tired of you. I don't want you here anymore. I'm tired of you. Go away now. Thank you. Wow. So what is she thinking that just by saying displacement using other words that are not saying displacement, but describing displacement? What the fuck? Man, where do these people go? Where do they come from? We're crying out loud. You still there taking back Eden? Moon bounce? Either one of you? We lost Stinky Cash. Maybe his phone died. Hey, I'm still here. But it's freaking me out because, like, does Brenda want to be your wife or what? <laughs> I mean, what the fuck is she saying? I'm, I'm says it was displacement forced the water out. No, no, the molecular bonds of your body forced it out. How? Well, because you can't occupy the same space as the water, so the water had to move. You mean it was displaced? Well, no, that wasn't a force, though. Well, well then what was the force? They cannot fucking accept that shit. I don't understand it, man. Yeah, and they don't seem to want to consider the alternative explanation either. No, not even for a second. And that thing says it's smart. Get the fuck out of here with that. Uh, yeah, so hi there, Moon. Uh, the reason I jumped on Soul is because I wanted to share some videos that I found online for the laser level oh, yeah. ice, laser leveling system. So I shared a YouTube link where they use, where they demonstrate exactly uh, some of the tools that they use to make sure that it is level level yeah. ice laser thing i see yeah it. yeah let me get it so yeah. feel free to check it out i sent uh, some links to jaren as well on so Telegram. the whole is the whole thing is only what three minutes and 36 seconds yeah so the it. second video and if you get to minute two and 27 seconds you'll see the equipment that they use it's a nice visual there Oh, okay, I see it. I see it. I see it. Let me get. It. Yeah, I thought you'd like it, or I thought I thought we could review it. 
Yeah, wasn't it McToon and them were saying that there was no um can't use a laser on the ice because of yeah. the refractive index and what'd you say one twenty seven? Yeah, uh, two two minutes twenty seven seconds. Yeah, there two we go. All right, there. I see right there. We got sound. Oh, wow. Yeah, for high stakes hockey, I'm sure they're going to need flat ice. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah. And it's good to see that they actually use lasers technology, despite what FTFE stated earlier. Yeah, he's talking about somebody who filled up some, carved out some snow and poured, you know, let the garden hose run in there and let it freeze overnight. Well, yeah, it's going to kind of taper off at the edges maybe, but it certainly isn't going to be fucking curved. That's for sure. Yeah, yeah. And I was reading about the Zamboni. It looks like there's many patents just for that Zamboni, at least 15. Mm -hmm. So when they add the laser technology, there's a few more patents. Yeah, there's a wow authorized distributor. Please contact. That's an ad for them, huh? What's this other one that we had? Is that the, that ain't the same one, is it? Oh yeah, it's the same one. Okay, yeah, and I shared also a link to their website where it talks about how they try to they actually eliminate. Where is it here? It uh, eliminates the variable results achieved by different operators. Oh yeah, look here. Yeah. Let me pull that up. Hold on. Let me stop this screen. I'm going to close it down here in just a minute. Um, so we're going on four hours. <laughs> wow. Long time. Laser focused precision ice resurfacing. Introducing the level ice laser leveling system. Automated precision blade control provides consistently level ice and significant savings of energy, water, and time. Well, isn't that special? So I guess they do use lasers. How about that, McTune? Yeah. Bastard. So great find today. So thank you for pointing that out and finding that for us. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's that's some stuff you got to look into. And that guy, you know, he did have a little bit of a language barrier, I think. I don't think he realized he was eating up his time. I noticed that, know? yeah. Um, The man is disintegrating before our eyes. Who's that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Brenna is proof of entropy, right? Yeah, I mean, it's just like, there's just uh, that kind of shit. I couldn't believe it. that thing was up here telling me, um, no, it was not displacement, and then goes ahead and describes displacement. I'm sitting here going, what yeah. are you even talking about, man? So what forced the water out then? If it wasn't displacement, what force was present, Right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and what about mass attracting mass? Because there are types of mass that will repel each other, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, but I mean, this first off, th that would have to start with an observation, wouldn't it? Wouldn't somebody have to actually witness things and go, hey, you know? Great point. Them two, them two big things over there. I swear to God, they're getting closer to each other. I'm going to keep a measurement. Yeah, by golly, I'm, I'm noticing that big objects want to draw towards one another let's develop yeah, right. an experiment to see if this is true no that wasn't even what step none one. of that oh my God. they skip step one yes. skip the observation yes and and the whole idea you know and if you claim the mass of the air is attracted to the mass of the earth i notice you don't have any problems picking up objects and dropping them and going oh gravity <laughs> Right? Well, show me some fucking air dropping then. Yeah. You know, show me this downward force. I'm in this air. I should be able to feel a downward force of it on me, right? Yeah, yeah. I don't. Gravity doesn't seem to affect it the way temperature does. No. 
No. And this whole idea of it that's just going to collect together in a ball for some reason, that's retarded. Yeah. I mean, nobody has ever witnessed that ever for any reason. Yeah, that's true. You know, that's just an assumption made. Um, it's it's fairy tales, story yeah, book fairy tales for children. It really is. And as we just witnessed, a 65, 66 year old man in a dress that comes on and acts like a fucking literal 12 year old, you know? I mean, wow. Yeah. And it tries to project that it's, uh, we're under a delusion, perhaps. I got to say, it was kind of funny though. We kept going, Google, 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 Google. <laughs> oh, Google, yeah, slash Vanguard. Oh my God. Yes, I know. It's like, holy crap. That's why I'm very skeptical of online resources and shit. If I get onto something, man, then I want to start looking at some paper and ink. I yeah. want to see some writings because we know what the Ministry of Truth has done to online references. You know, oh, yeah. look how many people actually rely on fucking Wikipedia for Christ's sake. Yeah, still. Yeah. I like what uh, Ken Hoven called it Wikipedia. Wikipedia. Yeah, yeah. I wonder if Brenda has seen the the Nat Geo and the PBS exposés that Jaron has been pointing out. Oh, uh, what are they about? Oh, yeah. Remember the, the videos that we showed Max and Nick, the professor? Yeah, yeah. The professor of physics? Yeah, yeah. It's so funny. Actually, I have a quote from that video that we were sharing. This is what he said, the the professor of physics, just before we you were to sign out. He said, stated, one of the problems with, this, with the science is that we do a very bad job of explaining it. You know, we do stupid stuff like this where we're doctoring videos to make it look good because it's too hard to do the experiment so that's that's pretty interesting to have a professor of physics stating that they're doctoring videos so at least well, I, have to, I have to point out too though that, that there's another one that reverts to a very um sophic level a, a, a very immature mental level at a it very quickly very oh, quickly yeah. Um, absolutely and I, I this is a pattern that i've noticed that once that cog disc they start getting all pissed off you make a point that they can't back out of and automatically they just start acting like a little insolent 12 year old you know very it's true. like Whoa. very true i don't know I've, I've even seen this from christian globe defenders yeah like like i'll meet christian globe defenders on modern day debate and then when they start hearing their point of view i'll i'll ask him instantly i want to because i want to find out what type of christian i'm dealing with so i'll right. ask him can you name the 10 commandments in order and the majority of the time it's no i've even i've even met jaron hosted a, a debate once and there was a self-proclaimed greatest living biblical scholar who was an ex-pastor or something along those lines of 40 plus years so i sent in a super chat and i asked him can you name the 10 commandments in order it takes 30 seconds and he, he said no so, I mean, this is the type of uh, people we're meeting online. Even the Christians, they, they don't believe the Bible, many of them. So, but yeah, but great stuff tonight, Saul. Thank you so much for everything you do. You're amazing. Shit, I didn't even realize I was uh, muted there for a second. Shit. I didn't want oh, yeah, yeah. bong hits ripping out through the galaxy, you know? <laughs> what a blessing. Yeah, right. Um, thank you so much um well um flatsoids perspective and i are gonna probably get together here soon and um take on another team on jaronism i think the oh. new format's pretty good man i really yeah. do yeah yeah i think <laughs> your input helped as well for sure yeah it does people got to realize when you're on that you're on a timer don't yeah. waste all your time searching for shit have your ducks in a row man Oh, have yeah. your stuff ready. Well so stated. that's uh we we ended up, I think Dawn wasn't used to it, and she was eating up a lot of our times hunting stuff down and that kind of thing. And I was like, Well, that's all right, that's all right. I'm just yeah. really kind of test driving this um format, is what Absolutely. I was doing. So. I'm sure she'll uh, she'll learn from sure. watching it over. Sure. 
Yeah, so that's so uh yeah and brenda likes to come up here and and right off the bat be a fucking asshole you know right off the bat and i'll tolerate it up to a point but you know i even have my limits with it you know oh yeah um, me too yeah you have to draw the line somewhere otherwise it's just it's a black hole of just but in, in reality i think it's a great thing i mean this is part this is what it right boils down to man um demonic totally demonic man yeah, yeah this whole thing it's a, it's a it's an inversion of reality reinforced with gaslighting um and these and people they, that are really hating on this idea of flat earth they hate on it i mean they just hate it yeah um they don't know jack shit but they'll scream and holler and yell like brenda and yeah. most uh, these people man they're just miserable um unhappy fucking demonic people man yeah, and it shows. It shows they look unhealthy. They look uh, haggard, upset. Who's that one guy? PhD Tony. That dude looks like he needs to go in the corner and fart real good or something, man. Yeah, you raised such a great point. You know, when you, I remember one time I raised the demonic point to Mick Toon, and ever since that question, because I, I had a direct question to him and it related to Satan, and from that moment on, from the debate when he was debating, I think it was. Flatzoid. Flatzoid was smiling. He had a genuine smile. Mm -hmm. And then McToon, it was like he lost it. He, he didn't have that that joy in them any, any longer. No, so, and you can tell the only time they ever seem like they are happy or they're having any joy is when they're uh, ridiculing someone else or something, you know? That's the repeating, only time. Absolutely. Or repeating like a fact from the globe, like, oh, 93 million miles away. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they proved it when they because they were told they were smart for memorizing that dumb oh, shit. See, right? that's that's where it comes down from. And when they when they, they can't concede that this is nonsense, because then it's like you taking away their smartness. Yes, yeah. You see, they're not really smart. They just remembered a bunch of dumb shit that they were told. And yeah. it's like, wait a minute. Yeah, you that's know, what I was trying to point out to to Brenda. I was like, look, man. Your claim goes against all observed reality and experience. Yeah. Okay? And your senses or his senses. Their yeah. senses. I mean, nobody's ever seen somebody turn into a chicken in their life. Yeah. And so and if I came along one day and I said, hey, man, guess what? I can turn into a chicken. <laughs> right. In all of recorded history of 6,000 plus years. Yeah. Yeah. So who's got to prove that I can turn into a chicken? Me or you? <laughs> Oh, yeah. You see, that's the whole thing right there, because your first thing is, no, oh, I never heard nobody turn it into a fucking chicken before. I want to see it. Prove it. Right. And even if I come to you with evidence and say, look, I, I got some feathers. I show you some chicken feathers. See, that's from the last time I became a chicken. So that's evidence. And look, I can go like this. See, feathers and this. Is that enough evidence for you? Right. And this is what they're doing with the globe. Same thing. Same thing. Speaking of the chicken, did you hear that a supercomputer supposedly discovered that the shell, the egg, uh, the chicken came first? No, I didn't hear that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it was in about 2017 or it might be. I did a video on it. 2014, perhaps. Supercomputer discovered that something to do with one of the enzymes is only formed within the egg. It's uh, the chicken itself. So, right. Oh, there's Thomas Drury. Thomas Drury is a retard from Facebook. This guy oh, is yeah, totally right. retarded. Thomas, hit the link, please. Come up. I, I, yeah. I want you to dazzle us with your brilliance. I really do. He's one of those paid Facebook trolls, you know? Yeah. Um, goes around, says the same bullshit script all the time. He's really quite a hoot. Um, yeah. If you guys yeah. ever run across him on Facebook, block him immediately. He's fucking stupid. <laughs> yeah, time is precious. Time is priceless. Yeah. Yep. But yeah, I asked him about in the chat if if gravity is a force, and he stated yes. So. Oh fuck! He doesn't even know what his own shit is. Man. <laughs> wow, wow. <laughs> I don't have a mic on my headphones. Picking one up tomorrow. Well, get your broke ass to the store and get some equipment and shit. You're going to run your fucking mouth, come up and do it in person. Jesus Christ. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Cowards. 
He, he won't get no microphone tomorrow. He won't, and he damn sure won't show himself on camera. He damn sure won't show himself on camera. They never want to show themselves on camera for nothing, man. Yeah, ever. That's true. Yeah. That's a great point. Yeah, yeah. I've done it all. I, I debate on Christian channels as much as possible. My target audience is the Christian pastor. I'm trying to help them see biblical cosmology. So, well, see if you can get them to see these freaking Mandela effects, man. This is what they've been waiting for. Yeah. It's yeah. prophesized in Amos and in and in uh, Daniel. Um, it's all over the place, man, and it's it's obvious now. It's gotten to the point that it's fucking obvious. Oh, yeah. And these people are just going, oh, no, it's a psyop. And that goes right down to what I said when I was a kid. I told that Bible school teacher, I says, how do you know that the devil didn't disguise himself as this church? Mm -hmm. And now here I am all these years later, and I was like, fucking hey, that's exactly what's happened. Yeah, yeah, you. it's true, because we could just look at what happened at the papacy and how long the cover-ups have been going on there. And, and now they teach opposite of what the Bible teaches, evolution, Big Bang. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's the dumbest shit you ever got, ever saw that, that evolution thing. I was, I was a proponent of that at one time, but yeah. you know, I still, then I found out, I was like, Oh my God, man, you mean, Oh, this one was a fake. They find out that it was somebody who just glued a bunch of monkey parts together. Oh, yeah. And you know, I mean, finding all these things were fakes and shit. And I'm like, man, if you got to lie to make a point, you don't have a point. That's all yeah. there is to it. Yeah. Yeah. Well stated. Yeah, Ken Hoven really helped me in Ken Ham, uh, the lies in the textbook lecture. Mm -hmm. After I, I watched that maybe like over a dozen times, and I ended up meeting through Facebook uh, a professor of physics. I, I reached out to her because she was attractive, and I thought she would be great for Flat Earth. So I messaged her, and she's like, oh, don't even get me started. I'm a biology professor and that graduated. Uh, I'm a professor of biology. So I, I got into the details. She said she graduated with honors. So I, I debated her about evolution. And about a week later, she agreed about creation. So, <laughs> But when I pointed out Flat Earth, then she she got triggered. The name called. Yeah, yeah. was so funny. Listen, that, the programming of that shit is deep. And it's one of the first things they blow at you. You're not real. You don't realize it, but it is. It's yeah. one of the first things they blow at you. They oh, really yeah. do. And tell you how smart you are about it you know that's and it, to a little kid that means a lot and yeah. it embeds itself and that's why i think that once you destroy that or you challenge it that's why they revert to that age <laughs> i really oh, do I think. wow great point yeah 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 yeah, yeah. but anyway sure. i'm gonna wrap it up um any last words for us sign out here uh no just thanks again and uh, everyone listening i hope you had fun tonight thank you just uh, soul and i hope you all get a chance to study the 10 commandments and uh Absolutely. thank you all right thanks a lot Eden. thanks a lot thank all right well i'm gonna wrap it up here and like we always like to say the lord loves a working man don't trust whitey see your doctor and get rid of him he'll probably kill you you all have a good night tonight all right or morning or whatever the fuck it is <laughs>